open as you have stepped through behind the pipe organ. You've entered into a small chamber, the most notable feature of which, of course, is the specter of Harmony standing there in the center. Uh, even as you observe Harmony's uh, appearance, you realize that this room is also full of mirrors. Uh, and when I say full of mirrors, I mean every single wall is covered in mirrors. They are attached to the walls. They are piled up against the mirrors on the walls. Uh, they are all around you, and it takes you very little time to realize that what you see in the mirrors is yourself in a form of excruciating death of various varieties. In one mirror, you might see yourself burned uh, down to the bone. In another, you might see yourself impaled. In another, you might see yourself drowned or hanging. Uh, whatever you see in this room is quite unpleasant to behold. But with that, uh, you have found your friend. Can we, like... Does she look different? Like, can we just tell that she's, like, dead? Yes. Uh, Harmony appears in, in, much as Harmony did in life, say, for a se semi-translucent appearance and sort of a gray affect. Um. Can I... Huh. <laughs> uh, is, is there any evidence that it actually is Harmony, though? Well, Harmony... Because I feel like Winley would very much be like, what is this tomfoolery of Strahd trying to... Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Harmony, you are, I mean, you see Doc kind of come up and stick a hand through you. <laughs> uh, Harmony, probably as you guys enter the room, doesn't take much notice of you. She's probably like, she um, is certainly like staring around the room. Uh, she appears as agitated, likely, as you've ever seen her, which would most probably be evidenced in, like, her body language being extremely, like, rigid and, like, uh, her tail just swishing a mile a minute in distress. Um, but when Doc approaches and, like, attempts to stick a hand through her, she'll, like, recoil away kind of instinctively and then, like, seem to take you all in for the first time and be, and, uh, what crosses her well, I mean her face when she turns to regard you is kind of animalistic panic and when she sees you it like morphs into there's recognition and then like confusion and then uh sadness like um where she like kind of regards doc and then all of you in turn and so then they're visible you said there's a visible difference for them that Harmony's, like, translucent and mm -hmm. spiritual. Yep. Can Harmony tell a difference? Like, does she... Does, yeah. Do they appear different to her? No. Every, the, the world looks as it is. Okay. Um, and she'll, like, she'll, like, stare at them and she'll be like, what? Doc? She'll turn to each of you and turn and... Ash? Winley? What? Mina? Sonny? What? Where? What? Where are we? Um. Winley is very suspicious and will come up to <clears throat> Harmony and say something along the lines of, you know, you, you have the, the physical shape of our friend, but, you know, in this place, who knows what this might be. And Harmony will immediately go, what is this place? Where are we? Um, Winley will say, I'll tell, I'll tell you everything if you can prove you are Harmony. You got a religion check of uh, an at 20. Do, have I ever heard of this happening before? Or is there and, any kind of precedent? And I would be doing an arcana check for the same. Do I have any other way of knowing that this might be Harmony? I mean, from, from the religious standpoint, you are fully familiar with the whole range and gamut of ghosts, specters, and other uh, kind of hauntings and versions of undead that can occur in, the, in just the regular world. Um, this specific version is not necessarily peaking your, your memory of like, oh, this exactly is this. Uh, in terms of Doc's perception, you know, Doc's aware that this could be any range of magic from just a plain illusion to necromancy to something divine. Well, Doc doesn't quite share Winley's paranoia, so Doc would be like, "Like, look, there is every possibility that this could be a illusion or something, but it seems polite to assume otherwise for now." So, hmm, uh, how you feeling there? <laughs> yeah, uh, 
Ashes is probably like Harmony. Is is that really you? What what's the last thing you remember? Uh, Harmony will look at Doc and uh, Ash, and she. This is sort of like a her to read her face. It's like I mean, there's still like some just kind of blind panic and fear in there, but there's like um, uh, she's also like. Like she, it's like she's having trouble processing what you're saying for a moment there, but she seems to like look at you and consider it and um say and look up at Ash and say the bones what happened? We got them back. Don't Ooh, worry. This is awkward. Down is safe. We restored them to the altar and it returned the protection of the, to the town. Well the church we don't know about the town to be fair uh harmony kind of um she she seems to take that in for a moment and then looks up at ash and i guess around to the rest of the party but mainly at ash and says and those things they're not dead but we kicked their ass yeah. and we're gonna deal with them sometime uh, at, they're not dead. Harmony, like, kind of recoils in on herself, like, spiritual arms kind of, like, wrap around herself, uh, and she, um, kind of releases a pained whimper and says, I know they're not dead. I can still feel their fangs. Oh, that's unpleasant. What? They're... <laughs> we're trying to help you, Harmony. Yeah, we're working we're on here. It. We're here in the castle trying to find something for you so we can help you. Harmony will, um... Uh, she still seems kind of like hunched in on herself, but something seems to spark in her head, and she kind of... Does she walk or like float or like... Walks. Okay. She like rushes up to Ash. Well, not rushes. She like kind of lunges a little toward Ash and just... she. she she motions as though she would, like, trying to, like, grab Ash by, like, the lapels or the cloak or something like that. But obviously, presumably, her hands go through. Yeah. And she kind of, like, looks Ash in the eyes pleadingly. There's some, there's a whole range of emotions on there. And she says, Ash, tell me, what does Bahamut say happens when we die? I mean, there's a lot of different things. A lot of people um, will just go up to the great heavenly plane. You know, I'll uh, probably give a little bit of spiel about what I know about Bahamut's version of he heaven or what other <laughs> astral planes might be, you know, kind of thing. Uh, very, very, you know, smart about it that my player and me don't know too right. much about D&D heaven. Uh, well, when you, like, mentioned something about the soul moving on to whatever afterlife, uh, Harmony will release a little, like, shriek of laughter, uh, or, like, involuntarily. It's like a mad sort of, uh, giggle and just say, it's a lie! <laughs> Do you I, know? <laughs> I don't think it's a lie, Harmony, but I wouldn't put it past this place to do something weird to, to the spirit. I doubt that it's easy to cross over to the plains like you're supposed to here. Uh... And she um, kind of looks around at each member of the party in turn, sort of like taking in their, you know, regarding them or something, and kind of then folds in on herself again and says, All my life, I comforted myself that I lost so many people who were close to me. And I told myself, they may be gone, but at least they're not suffering anymore. And it's not true. Harmony, Harmony, please, you have to listen to me. We're in a place that, that doesn't follow the normal rules. Those people, those people are safe. I promise you. On all my powers, I promise you. Like, let's... And we are going to help you. You are not going to be stuck here like this. One way or another, we'll either get you back or we'll make sure that you're comfortable. That you'll be reunited okay, with you're... those you love. You're only mostly dead. We'll see about uh, 
undeadifying you. Harmony. I promise you, if I do nothing else in this fight, we will help you. Harmony uh, kind of buries her face in her hands and um, seems to like take some shuddering, gasping breaths despite the lack of need for air um, and just sort of uh, says through muffled hands like, how long has it been? Like less than a day. Right? Yeah. It's like 12 less, hours or something like that. Yeah. Less than 24 uh, I mean, hours. I like like eight, 18 or so. Fair enough. <clears throat> what time is it right now? It's like 8 or 9 o'clock. She like, <clears throat> her head whips out of her hands and looks at Doc. You... Oh. Uh... could have been it was a moment that was eternal uh all i just Being ripped apart, Doc. <laughs> well, let's get you so you're not being haunted by the yeah. uh, event of your death anymore. What's up? I probably, <clears throat> Ash probably has like, not, maybe, and she's not like openly crying, but she looks like she might be on the verge of it, and she reaches out towards Harmony and just whispers i'm sorry um harmony will kind of whip around to ash and uh uh just say so the bones they they did something I didn't. Yes. I didn't die for nothing. You did not die for nothing. You didn't die for nothing. Those were the bones we were after, and they restored the protection of the town. Well, I saw it physically banish the vampire from the church when we restored the bone. Uh, Harmony will kind of um. Her voice takes on a very bitter tinge, uh, uh, and we'll say that's some small comfort. I was holding them, you know. Yes. When it happened. For all the good their protection did as me. Far, as far as I know, your blood is still soaking that sack that we put on that altar. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that makes Harmony feel so much Please, please don't actually say that. <laughs> don't say that. Sorry. All right, so um, Winley fully believes Harmony's story and is like, okay, cool. Let's go. Okay, cool sucks. Um, done. Let's, and let's then, rectify that. Yeah, <laughs> right. Like we, I mean, we could sit here and talk about how sad this is, or we can figure out a way to save her. So Winley will indicate. Okay, you know what? I believe you. I believe you're actually Harmony. And then we'll uh, kind of walk down here next to Mina, and say to Mina, which way do you think we should go? So looking down this hallway uh, or this corridor, uh, running east to west here. Uh, the hallway is just choked with cobwebs. Nothing monstrous or magical, just clearly has not been trodden in in probably decades. Um, as far as to the west, uh, it appears to be a sort of archer's uh, turret post. Uh, there's a high domed ceiling uh, in that room. There are frescoes that adorn the ceiling, but they are impossible to make out. They've faded with centuries of age. Uh, that said, there are some tall, thin arrow slits looking up to the yard, about four inches wide, about two, two feet high or so, at about chest height. <laughs> It, it, uh, from the picture, it looks like there's really nothing in there. No, no, like obvious furniture or trap doors or anything. Correct. <clears throat> I don't feel the need to step foot into a room that I don't see anything in. Yeah. Uh, so I say down the hallway, I suppose. Uh, I will take a quick glance up to the big dome ceiling just to see if there's anything hanging from the top. Uh, no, nothing, nothing other than just sort of the faded frescoes that were there. Uh, yeah. So that said, we'll go ahead and start at the top here with Winley, then. Uh, and Harmony... Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll wait for my turn. I should just roll initiative, I guess, if yep. I can do that as a ghost. 
Let's see if your initiative is higher than mine. Uh, and yes, you can all kind of rally at this intersection okay. if you'd like. Thank you. Can I roll initiative? It's, we're about to find out, friends. Dead sure bards roll no initiative. Your deck is higher it. than mine, so you're actually first. Harmony? Huzzah. We haven't done anything to look for traps or anything, so just Mino you know, would maybe point that out. Yep. Also, uh, just just briefly briefly note, if you want to be stealthy or that sort of thing, you can just within your movement. If, you, if you're being stealthy, please treat your movement as more restricted based on that. Uh, just to reflect the pace of slower slower speed. No dash actions under the auspices of stealth. You can dash <laughs> under stealth. It just means your max speed is your normal single move speed. Does my do my footfalls make any noise? No. Okay. Is she like clearing cobwebs as she walks, or is she no. just like she's Clear. not physically there? Basically, can she, can she? I assume she can't pass through walls and such. Cannot. Okay. Is it like a creepy breeze when she does pass through like a wisp of cobweb? Yeah, I was say, did I feel anything when I... breeze all like no. creepy-like? No, nothing? Okay. No shiver down my spine as I did that. Oh, I'm sure you got one from yourself. Well, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Go for it, Harmony. What does oh, ghostly uh, you say? Well, now that the party seems to be like resolving to like move out, Harmony seems to like be taking in her surroundings for the first time, and just kind of look around and say to nobody in particular, well, where are we? This is, this is different. I was pulled out of the void. And she shudders. Uh, and moments before you all, where are we? Uh, I would say, yeah, Winley will just tell Harmony we're in, we're, we're dinner guests, we're in the so. home of Strahd. Um, he said that there is potentially a way to save you within these walls. Um, mm. So that that's why we're here. He gave us the option to leave. We came here of our own accord. We have stayed because we have chosen to. And hopefully we can find something that will help us return you to your physical self. Harmony stares at Winley agog and just kind of says, you believed him? Well, he did not guarantee our safety while we were here. We're kind of venturing forward at our own risk. Uh, uh, Winley, Winley will add to what Ash is saying. <laughs> Strahd has been alive for so long. I think he would enjoy toying with us more than lying to us. I mean, Porkino so, was dose, but yeah. Or, or, or both. <laughs> but, to lie to us you, at this point. yeah, exactly. Like, he, he's he been alive for, you know, we assume hundreds of years. And I just feel like because he's virtually immortal as far as we can tell, um, he really has no reason to lie to us. Particularly since he gave us the option of leaving. If he wanted to just see us wander around and die... He wouldn't have I mean, honestly, we given had, up We had plenty option. of opportunity to do that not at this castle. Oh, yeah, fair. that too. <laughs> uh, well, Harmony will kind of listen to Winley's explanation and draw a couple of um, shuddering breaths uh, and just kind of look at all of you. And um, she seems a bit at a loss for words, obviously uncharacteristic of her. And... Uh, will kind of seem to, like, think for a moment and then say, I appreciate the risk you're taking for me. All I would say is... I wouldn't wish what... What I found beyond the veil on even the most loathsome creature I've ever encountered. So, I don't know that you know how much you're risking for me. And I guess I would just say, I'm not worth it. So if it comes down to it, Get out with your lives. Duly noted. Winley will also, because Harmony seems to feel like 
not guilty, but like, you know, she's not worth it. Uh, Winley will also say, there's a lot to learn in this castle. Um, you know, this is not only our best lead for finding a way of restoring you, but we also, you know, we, we think that the leader of the, um, werewolves might be here and, you know, we could find information about Strahd that could help us, you know, understand this place better. Um, I mean, so. ideally we find his coffin. That would be pretty good. Yeah, e- exactly. Like, Although, Winley's just trying to alleviate Harmony's feeling like we're here solely because of her and that, like, she's not worth it and whatever. Just like, we're here for other reasons, but we could potentially help bring you back with something Ash, we find here. Ash flat out says that I wouldn't leave her behind, but I've already failed her once and I'm not going to fail her again. Uh, Harmony will kind of... She seems to, like, shy away from that sentiment. Just, like, she has trouble meeting Ash's eyes after she says that. Uh, and, uh, we'll just kind of say... She, more to herself than anything else, like... <clears throat> too many people I care about have died because of me. I don't think knowing now what... But just be careful. Fully intend to. Don't worry. We're professionals. <laughs> <laughs> I hope Doc actually says that. Ever. <laughs> and TPK. And yeah. Like, like, look, we were already talking about just you? by being here. I think you might as well make it official. Be careful, shall we move on from the creepy cobwebby hallway and, you know, get the show on the road? Hell yeah. Yes, for sure. Uh, Harmony's hanging to the back. She's not like, she's still very much in a way, so I'm not taking any and movement or anything on my To be mind. clear, Brent said that in a sarcastic way. Doc would say it in a fond way. Like, <laughs> like kind of, like, trying to get a little bit of harmony is, like, yeah, old energy yeah, yeah. back. Uh, <laughs> she, she needs a moment to process <laughs> that's, that. that. That's fair. If she, par- if she parses that poorly, then fair enough. That's oh totally valid. Um, Winley actually will go into the uh, little archer room here. Okay. Um, I would like to look out one of the windows and try to figure out, you know, what direction is this? Mm. Could we climb down if we had to? How high up are we? Anything that could... Are we still on yeah. ground floor? Yeah, you're, you're on the yeah. ground floor. Okay. You're looking out at the front courtyard where the carriage came in, looking through that archer slit right there. Okay. Nothing uh, of note out the window. Like, this is, yeah, those are not an escape, uh, escape route, I assume. No, no, no. Uh, is there anything of note in the courtyard that wasn't there previously? Has anything changed or the carriage creepier? seems to have been taken off? Okay. Uh, it's not just parked out there anymore, but no, nothing's happening out there. Uh, it is dark and appears to be raining outside. Now. And, okay. and you said as we came in that the bridge was kind of rick- the drawbridge was kind of rickety, right? Yep, couldn't uh, have walked across safely. I think is quite quite dangerous to do so. Okay. Yes. All right, and then um, while I'm in here, I'll just do a quick investigation of this room and see if there's anything worth seeing. And sorry, did you say we could uh, possibly climb through the windows or not? Uh, no, he they're, said they're like they're, they're two, two inches. Two inches wide. Okay, got yeah. it, got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sorry. Um, so you can and... shoot, shoot out of them, though. Oh, yeah. Uh, searching this room, you find nothing. Uh, there's not even, like, holders for uh, for qu- uh, quivers or anything in here. This room has clearly not been in use for, again, probably centuries. Not said to okay. be used for purpose, then, essentially. Yeah. All right, cool. So after I check out the room, I'll just rejoin the party, and I have enough movement to do so. Uh, Sunny. Okay. Sunny is going to trot down this hallway... Oh, actually, can we, um, quick admin, not to interrupt you, Jake, um, does someone want to play cartographer so we can keep track of where we have been, where we are going, and a good escape route? I don't have any, I looked for graph paper and I couldn't find any, but I, I could draw like a rough. I say, I lack the tools. I, I mean, I could just take screenshots as we go. That was kind of my plan, was that trying seems, to screen shots. That um, seems efficient. Okay. okay. Just right before we got moved to different map, take a screenshot of what we already have. Okay, and cool. As long as a couple of us are planning on doing that, so we have... I have no idea how to do that on a Mac, so that's all you. Command shift 4. <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry, Jake. No, no, you're good. Uh, so Sunny Ruff, uh, runs up there and is just kind of sniffing around, looking... Uh, seeing what you can see, 
and the bottom of some stairs looks like. So actually, this is a stairwell running both up and down. To the left, uh, the stairs descend. Uh, there's right. a, it's a very cool sort of humid uh, air coming from that direction. Uh, and then stairs heading up. Uh, there's no light sources coming from either direction. Okay. Um, yeah, and then that's probably... I mean, he ran up and made a perception check. That's probably... Okay. Ash. Ash. All right, I'll probably go up to Sunny. Let me move. See how far that is. Uh, Sunny looks like he pretty much used his full move. I'm going to use a full move to get up to the stairs here and kind of peer down. Okay, go ahead and make a perception. Yeah. <clears throat> perception. Okay. Uh, you don't glean really anything that uh, that Sunny hadn't. Uh, again, it is uh, just kind of dark and humid uh, on the downslope, and uh, again, kind of uh, just a maybe lighter or cleaner air uh, on the upslope, uh, which is on the right side versus the left side. You know, I, I kind of uh, you know turn back and just report what I found to the team, and then ask up or down. I'm kind of leaning more towards down. Seems like dungeons might Man. be down there. We might find. The werewolf down there, but up might be the way we need to go to find the cure for harmony. I'm not sure. I I'm feeling down as well. Okay. Well, that was my full movement, so that's it for me on okay. this turn. Mina. Uh, okay. So that's as far as I can get with one move. Um, I'm thinking I'll just move up so double moving just to kind of be right next to the spiral uh, i'll say you don't need to be too concerned with like skills versus actions and that sort of thing more more so just restricting your movement to a reasonable amount for yeah yeah so that's that's a double move for me um i mean i don't i, I guess I'll, I'll if i can draw out a perception check i will sure. i don't think i'm going to see anything new but Always looking. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh. Sounds good. Sounds you know, good. The, the only thing Mina would detect here, other th that it may seem sort of obvious given the circumstances, but this stairwell has also not been used. Uh, it is just as sort of dust and cobweb covered going both directions uh, as the this uh, passage is. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's me. Okay. Doc. Okay, double move on over. Cool. That's all I have because I have short stubby legs. Yeah, that happens. Harmony. Uh, Harmony with a uh, load of options, of course, uh, is going to... Uh, where? What direction are we headed in? Oh, that way. I see. Sorry. Uh, I am, I'm, And I do... I still have my same movement restrictions. Yep. Like in terms of... Okay. Cool. Let's see how that goes. Right. Nope, nope. I need to do a wait. Is that the, what's the waypoint? Like a right click? Or, oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, that's 60 feet. Uh, Harmony kind of like walks down the hallway uh, silently, seem to like kind of like be staring around, still trying to like gather her bearings. Um, She probably will, since presumably she noticed Doc's hand pass through her. Uh, and her attempts to, like, touch any of the other party members also, like, went through them. She'll, like, stick her hand out curiously to, like, touch, like, the surface of the wall. Uh, does she feel anything? She actually does. Uh, notably, she doesn't feel the texture of the wall. It doesn't feel like stone to her. It feels like a solid, frictionless surface. Fascinating. Um, uh, so, and she'll, like, is the rest of the party, like, creeping along, or are they just kind of, like, Walking and looking and stuff. I was just walking. Docking is, yeah. Okay. Let's say Doc is making no particular yeah, no one's effort of being stealth. stealthy. Uh, Harmony will kind of like, certainly not conversationally like she would normally just to fill the silence, but just kind of like, in an attempt to like satisfy her own confusion and curiosity, she'll just kind of say to, again to nobody in specific, just, you said Strahd invited you here? 
Invited I, might be a bit. I <laughs> summoned. Think... Summoned, yeah, <laughs> that's a good word for it. Yeah. And Harmony, and I don't know if I'd need to roll anything for this, Dan. Did Harmony feel any, like, did she hear or feel anything when she was called from the void to the mirror room? Did There wasn't, like, a voice in her head. There wasn't, like, a sensation of something, like, grabbing her or... Only sort of the elapse in the perpetual torment of being devoured alive. Great. Great. Okay. Uh, then, yeah, she'll just kind of um, look around and just say, well, yeah, she'll just seem to be thinking about that, and that'll be her turn. Okay. Winley. Uh, Winley will catch up with the group. Um, hey, look, stairs. Okay. Uh, so I'll sort of pa- pause an issue here for a moment for you all to discuss whether you want to go up or down. I think the uh, see, consensus so far is down. That's but. what it sounded like, and I yeah. mean, honestly, it's a coin toss, so. Okay. Yeah, Winley's fine with down. Uh, doesn't matter. Doc, Doc has more I, options I, to get out if we go up, though, because, you know, feather I fall. I could but... flip a coin whether or not I'm venting Brent or not. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Uh, so the party party setting down. I'm just going to stack all of you real quick so I can move you more easily. Do you hear me bitching about that? <laughs> Okay. Uh, so you should uh, all have appeared pro- again close to the bottom of the map. Um, oh, it didn't and be standing at the base of over. the stairwell. Yep. Alright, uh, and with that, since when you were playing catch up, uh, then it is going to be sunny. Okay. Uh, um... This, uh, for context, you seem to have descended about maybe 40 feet or so before you reached this landing. Uh, this is a 10-foot wide arc corridor, which is cold and moist. Uh, the cold does seem to emanate from a open arch, uh, open archway in the left wall there, uh, just ahead of Sunny on the left. Okay, so Sunny is going to make a stealth check, and then he'll move half speed, which is going to put him about where he is right now. Um, not that I know we're not splitting up into stealthy and not, but I figure the first person, whoever's taking point, aka Sunny, should probably at least try not to be immediately notice okay and he's he's doing all right for a big uh big old wolf um but he's trying anyway so he's he's rocking a 13 stealth and that'll put him moving actually you can move five more feet because his speed's 40 um does he see anything interesting from there or notice anything interesting from there uh no just that the cold again is emanating from that left passage okay uh, and yeah, that's Sunny's turn. Okay, Ash. Okay, I will also try and move a little close, uh, stealthier. Um, granted, this is a disadvantage because of armor and stuff, but no, no, uh, uh, oof. Yeah, I don't know why that rolled it with advantage, but we'll just take the lower roll anyway. No, it highlighted the lower roll. Oh, it did. Okay, so it did it automatically. Cool, it did do it right. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, Trying to go around the corner here, see what my elven eyes see. Oh, Ash is an elf? Nope. <laughs> His uh, elven eyes see nothing. <laughs> you know, he stole some from the last elf he killed, so they don't see anything anymore. He killed any elves yet? Looking down this uh, passage to the west, Ash, you see sickly yellow lichen covering the ceiling of a cold, damp, 10 foot wide passage running east and west. Opening off both sides of this passage are 10 foot square alcoves that appear to contain rotting cots, rags, and skeletal remains of castle guards. A deathly silence fills this hall. Right. I, I'm pretty sure I did this at the very, very, very end of last session, but just so it's stated out loud, um, I did cast light on my amulet, so I have that as a light source. Yeah, and so my, my default on the lighting for you guys is I assume you have a torch or light spell because they have the same characteristics if you don't have dark vision, or your vision's based on dark vision if you have dark vision. Does Harmony still uh, have and dark so vision? this is the door to my right? Correct. Okay. I'm going to take a few steps down this passage, but I don't want to get too far from the group. Just kind of see what's in these first little two little alcoves. Uh, looking at these cots, these appear to maybe have been stretchers uh, for the wounded or injured, perhaps. Uh, they look more to be of that sort of nature. Uh, there is a cor- uh, skeletal corpse laying on each one. Okay, cool. And with that, I'm going gonna, gonna, to... And... Go ahead. I was say that that's going to bring us to Mina. Yeah, I was about to say, it's it's done. Needed for a second there. Um, 
Mina is going to... Hello. And with, I mean, Mina kind of notices how, I'm, I'm sure she notices how Sunny and Ash were not particularly stealthy. Uh, so she's just going to kind of walk up behind them uh, and go up next to this strange slab that I think is a door. Yes, it is. Is it a, what kind of door is this? Uh, the door is a heavy iron door with inscriptions of uh, what look like soldiers on horseback uh, running around the edges. Can I make a quick perception check just to listen at the door? Yep. All right. Um, there we go. Uh, you don't hear anything from the other side of the door other than the faint crackle of what sounds like perhaps torches uh, or fire of some variety. Uh, you do, however, get sort of uh, kind of the hairs on the back of your neck standing up. You just have a, sort of a sense of unease from behind this door. Okay. Uh, noted. That's probably my turn. Okay. Doc. Does Mina say anything? Uh, well... Ten. Uh, probably not yet, but she turns, she'll, I mean, she'll probably turn and just give the approaching members of the party kind of a, you know, raised eyebrow, a curious look, uh, and, I mean, she's standing right next to the door, so kind of indicating what's right, in, what's right next to her. But other than that, she's it not going to say anything. a spooky well. door. Okay. Yeah. That's 15. Uh, notably, also, I mean, I didn't see a stealth roll. Doc, are you being st sneaky, or are you sort of clomping up behind Ash? I'm clomping, because okay. I noticed that Ash is also clomping, despite her efforts not to clomp. <laughs> so yeah, that, I figured that, that the clomp well. bell has been rung here. Fair enough. <laughs> Can't fail stealth rolls if you don't make any stealth rolls. I'm sure there's a professional eye roll from Mina at the, uh, the clomping. <laughs> um, anyway, that was my first yeah. move, yeah. and you said there were... Uh, so I can kind of see the ash here. So these first couple alcoves you said had corpses in them? Yep, uh, there are skeletal remains laying on old, uh, ancient cots. We might want to squish the skulls. Just coup de gras the skulls. Okay, well, I don't have the action to do that, but I'll at least stand by to squash corpse skulls. Actually, well, well, as I'm standing over it, is there anything I can tell that how they died or anything like that? Or? I mean, they're, they're just skeletons. I mean, point, sure, so but... No, there's okay. no, like, crushed skulls. Gotcha. Okay. No. All right. Harmony. Uh, well, Harmony will not clump, but will just kind of... Ooh! <laughs> oh, hang on. My thing's doing weird. Uh, there we go. 15... See where I'm going. Hold on just a moment. That's 15 feet. Uh, and then she's just gonna booga booga. Uh, that's 15 plus 20 is 35. Uh, Harney is going to, since she doesn't seem to be making much noise, and she's sort of distractedly moving, like she's not, she's not odd. In real life, Harmony was very much the, or attempted to be the consummate stealthy professional in terms of, like, you know, checking corners and stuff. Here, she just seems to sort of distractedly be almost, like, wandering a little bit. So, let's see, that was 35 to get there, so I have another 25. So, I will move to here. Anything in particular? I, she's, like, looking around. She's not, like, um... But, like, she's not, like, moving. She's not trying to move, like, stealthily. She seems to sort of be still a bit dazed. Sure. Uh, just kind of looking in the, the various uh, alcoves yep. side to side, there appears to be a cot with a skeleton on, in every alcove. Okay. All right. Uh, Winley. Five, ten. Um, Winley is going to cast Detect Magic. Just to see what I can I wonder see. If there's any magic in Castle Ravenloft. I'm hoping that the whole castle doesn't glow. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the whole castle is glowing. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of magic is fine. glowing? With? 
a lot. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's the necromantic, but the necromantic can... divination, abjuration, illusion. Jesus, so just but like, like a rainbow. But like magic. specific things still ping within your thirty feet, yeah. right? Yes. And okay. I'll say to that extent. I mean, the, the walls are vaguely glowing. Yeah, mainly I'm looking for like. If there are other objects outside of the castle itself. Yeah. Hey, what's harmony? <laughs> Is harmony glowing? Necromantic, yes. I would imagine. <laughs> Correct. No, it's illusion. Um, so, oh, fuck. The castle itself is probably a huge ruin, and uh, he's just making it look like it's full castle. Yeah, so, you know, I, as I walk past these, like, skulls and whatever, or these skeletons, I'll be checking for... You know, if anything is glowing there, or if anything is glowing, okay. you know, anywhere. Are you um, investigating the, the alcoves, or are you just looking down the hall here? Well, I took an action, so I can't take a double move. And that's as far as I can get with one move. I also would, um, looking down, I assume this is a door Mina is standing by. Mm-hmm. Um, I would like to just briefly check out the door, she got the just heat. visually, and see. She got the heebie-jeebies at the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I kind of give you a, I kind of give you a wary eye when you come over. Like, okay, uh, Winley's just checking to see if these doors are like airtight. Could a mouse sneak underneath, oh <laughs> for uh, example, if it, I needed to make a quick escape? Airtight, no. Could a mouse sneak under? Also, no. Okay. That's it. Sunny. Uh, does it, Ash is carrying a light? Correct. Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. The wolves not have Because otherwise, person? I would be. No. Oh, me. As well. Uh. Uh, Sunny will run up next to. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, there. As Sunny reaches that point, you all hear a, uh, a clacking rattle around the room as the skeletons of the cots sit up. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, and with that, we will get fresh initiatives. Now, I do have two uses of Channel Divinity now, so... Well, these are just... If we think it's worth me trying to turn these guys, I certainly can. Or we can try and save that. I'm good with either. I think we should see if they look tough first. So what point did Sunny get to? Okay, never mind. No, this is are the... these oblivion skeletons or Morrowind skeletons? Be the only Which kind do you dislike the most? <laughs> yeah. yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> let me go ahead and bring these on to map. Can they be Skyrim skeletons? Because those were pushovers. <laughs> Again, whichever version you like the least. Keep that optimism, uh, buddy. <laughs> Mina, you have the initiative. Okay. There, well, we Mina actually did pretty good that time. <laughs> Mina sees this guy over here. Yeah, that would kind of suck, wouldn't it? She'll step up uh, just behind this this wall there, and uh, first shot, we'll go with non-sharpshooter, but it's an undead, so I get to do some extra damage. Hopefully, I have advantage because they haven't gone yet. Correct. I am reminded of why clerics usually carry hammers at this point. Solid hit. Uh, Alright, and in hindsight, I totally should have sharpshootered that one too. So that's nine damage. I, I, it should all be calculated in there. Um, great. <clears throat> no, yeah, I rolled a one. Perfect. Um, okay, and then, yeah, sharpshooter on the bonus action shot. Okay. And these are just regular bolts, so are they. Do I seem to be doing. I mean, the first, advantage or... for, I mean, first shot just sma- uh, smashes into the uh, ribs of it, and the second shot just puts a hole through its skull and it collapses. Sweet. Okay, uh, that's me. All right, Sunny. Unless, uh, sorry, is Sunny... <laughs> is not no, he's not adjacent to anything. Okay, yeah, turn over. Okay. Oh, it is Sunny's next. Nice. Okay, so Sunny will step over to this skeleton and proceed to try to rip its throat out. Which is an interesting attempt for a thing with no flesh. Yes, always. Um, is a ten a hit? Uh, Sunny kind of like grabs onto one of its legs and chomps down, but it's just bones and doesn't seem to have much of an effect. Mm, sad day. Uh, okay, that's it. Doc. I'm mixing things up. I'm going to punch it. <laughs> punch it. That is a hit. Uh, 
I you... r- rattle the thing thoroughly. Okay. Well, I get two attacks now. Well, for a while now, I just haven't really used it because spells, but, you know. You smash this thing into fragments. Neat. So it's 22 or less HP. <laughs> Anything else, Doc? Um, um, kind of move over here to hold ye oldie line, I guess. Okay. Uh, Harmony, uh, violence has erupted around you. Yeah, uh, Harmony... In, is this one of them? Yep. Okay. Uh, Harmony probably, like, instinctively reaches for vicious mockery, you know, just honed uh, battle abilities. What happens when she tries to reach mentally to wherever she goes for her magic? Uh, nothing's there. Oh, that's distressing. Uh, Harmony will kind of, as, like, hearing the sounds of violence erupt and seeing the the thing with teeth uh, climb up off its cot above her all kind of like start going no 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 and is going to uh, double move uh, let's see how far can I get that's 30 and then there's a wall there it just ran straight into a wall Wah! well I'm a ghost so you know <laughs> uh, then actually then let's see are there undead oh yep they're here they're here uh so, so all the alcoves is what I'm hearing. Yes. Good to and know. he's going to double back and just say... Uh, well, one less now. Yes. Uh, and just kind of... Two less, I think. Kind of, as she kind of staggers back toward the group, she'll just kind of say something like, They're everywhere! Uh, oh, that's not a good thing to hear your ghostly friend <laughs> say. Uh, she seems distressed, and that's going to be hardly At turn. least she didn't turn around and say, We're here. <laughs> Ash. Yay! All right, I'm gonna move. Hey, look, a skeleton! And I'm going to oh, attack. It. I was gonna. Oh, okay. Where are you going? Oh, I was kind of figuring we'd just hold the line on the hall here, but okay, you do you, man. Oh, I mean, I, I can do that. I mean, it's, it's done. It's Doc fine. We'll that. we'll make it work. If I understood that, that's kind of what Doc was doing. I'll. Do I mean, that. Doc might. Yeah, Doc probably like set himself defensively at the hall yeah, there. I'm gonna set myself defensively next to Doc and wait for not like mecha- to come not mechanically I'll, doing I'll a dodge action, action or anything. anything that comes into my threatened area. Okay. Uh, well, something's gonna come into your threatened area immediately. So go ahead and make that attack. Alrighty then. Um, <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Uh, you swing feebly at this thing, and it uh, somehow managed to, uh, for a skeleton, nimbly knock your sword aside. That's disappointing. Yep. Uh, and these two, two charging up to you, swing at each of you respectively. Uh, however, their sword, you are both able to kind of block their swords. Okay, uh, the three, uh, sorry, the six in the back uh, seem to draw upon short bows uh, and shoot at you as well. Okay, the one that attacked uh, Tom, does a ten hit? No. Okay, good to know. Um, Doc, you take a arrow for eight. Okay. Ash, you take an arrow for five and another arrow for six. Uh, and Doc, you take a another arrow for eight. And with that, it is Winley. Okay. Um, Winley will step forward, and can I get a DC 16 Constitution saving throw from that fellow? Fails. A poison spray. He will take 18 poison damage. Okay. It seems to have no effect on him. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Well. <laughs> Trying to not use spells at the moment and can't get a melee rage. Anything so. else? Mina. Nope, that's it. Mina. All right. Mina will round the corner here. Oh, wow. That line is closer than I thought. Every, uh, everywhere might be, a bit of a, might be a bit strong, but it's not inaccurate either. <laughs> Uh, sure, sure. Uh, Even death. Well, Harmony still has standards. Oh, yeah. I definitely thought people were up closer to Sunny. Uh, whoops. Uh, but hey, that was that was his bad. Uh, going all the way up there. Um, okay, well, I'll shoot this one right in front of Doc here. Okay. Sharpshooter. No more advantage, sad day. Uh, you but still hey, that's good. Shoot it through the head and it collapses. Sweet. Okay, so All it's... right. Turns and uh, I guess I'll try to uh, pick off one of these backline ones. Okay. Yeah, that'd be Show good. Show the love. Uh, and sharpshooter again. 
you dump that one as well. Wait. Yeah. Fortunately, that doesn't help us triangulate the health anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and Sunny will bite the one next to him. Change your tactics. And make so this coordinated really, but I'm still going to be bitter about it. Nope, that's a miss. Uh, but then he's going to bite again because it's his turn. And let's see. Well, not much better. He's no. struggling in there, but he's got some health. Just dragging on this one's leg, really. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then, yeah, that's that's Sunny. Okay, Doc. If Doc could take a step forward so when Link could get in melee range, I'd be awesome. Sure. Thanks, dude. <laughs> um, I'm going to punch the one directly in front of me. I'm going to leave the one in front of Ash for Ash. Tracks. Actually, no, I'm going to do one on the one in front of Ash and one on the one in front of me, and not the diagonal one. So the one in front of Ash is this attack. Okay. Hits, uh, rattles it, but it's still standing. Sure. And then another one for the one in front of moi. The one standing on top uh, of Harmony? Yeah, yeah, that one. Hits. Uh, I just have to move you, Harmony, to uh, do things to it. Uh, it, too, is rattled, but it's still standing. Sure. A breeze blows in, okay. and you just find yourself stuff. floating. Uh, bonus action to give myself uh, the temp HP. Okay. Harmony. Um, can Harmony... So, Harmony's currently occupying the same space as a skeleton, so that answers the question I was going to ask as far as can I pass through their squares. Yes, you can. Okay. Uh, and it doesn't seem to even notice Harmony? Yeah, like it's totally it... ignoring you. Great. Comforting. Make a persuasion check to make them think that you're more of a target. Uh, I don't know. Can can... a dead person persuade a skeleton? (laughs) That is the question. A question for the philosophers. Uh, What can I do that's in character yet still somewhat useful? Uh, The answer is not much. Uh, Harmony is going to continue to flee. Uh... Probably just kind of as she passes through or by each of you, you can kind of hear her going with increased uh, 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 fear. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, and she probably makes it. Let's see. To here and then up to the door Mina was at. Yeah. I'm going to say that was only 30 feet, so I technically mm-hmm. still have an action. Um, In terms of like, if she like... The door feels the same way, like the frictionless mm-hmm. surface, so she yep. can't. So she probably like fumbles at the like doorknob, just not kind of in a, in a blind panic, not even like realizing Mina's, uh, you know, warning from it before. She can't like mm-hmm. affect the doorknob in any way, can't nope. she? Can I make a perception check, see if she can make out anything beyond it? Sure. Okay. Great. Uh, other than maybe the faint sound of, of fire? No. Oh, fire. Great. I love fire. I think we knew that one, actually. Uh, is there light coming out from under the door? No. Uh, uh, Harmony is probably just, like, scrabbling at the doorknob and, like, can't get it. It's like, no, no, no! <laughs> okay. Ash. Alright, but I'm going to attempt to redeem myself. Just when I thought you couldn't get any. Man, I hit. one. And you cut this one down. Yay! I step forward, and that's me. So we're looking at twelve HP. Uh, they continue to uh, the two the two uh, that you've gotten up close to here drop their bows and pull out short swords sure, sure. Uh, and swing at each of you respectively. Ash, you take a hit for four. And that one will take a sweet sweet attack of opportunity, of course. So. A hit. It's a twenty-six hit. Sure does. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is the nim- this is the nimble skeleton. Yep. <laughs> uh, and then the three uh, of the three in the back, uh, the two furthest away from Sunny, uh, will take shots at each of you respectively. Oof. Uh, you both take four. Okay. Uh, and the one close to Sunny will drop its bow and draw its sword and take a stab at Sunny uh, for nothing. Uh, with that, it is Winley's turn. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I'm no longer in melee range again. That's cool. Sorry. Nope, it's fine. <laughs> uh, so the one in front of Ash. You can, you can move through Ash. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't want to take an attack of opportunity, though. You wouldn't. You it's would. when you leave there. If oh, you... but you would from either, from yeah, the I, opposite side. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, so can I get a, another DC 16 con save from that guy? Okay. Fails. 
You will be taking two thrust <laughs> damage and have disadvantage on his next attack. Okay, he looks like slightly that. more brittle. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else with him? No, that's it. Mina. Okay, uh, Mina is going to shoot... Um, this one, sharpshooter. And... Uh, no, I don't think a 10 is low enough. Goes a little, just, enough, rather. just skims yeah. off the top of its skull. Alright, well, she'll fire another one off. Oof. Oof. Okay, well, can't work every time. Uh, and then Sonny will, he's gonna ultimately end up fighting twice at that one. Okay. So I'll do both of those. First bite. Hits. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and the skeleton is pulled down, so you get advantage on the second bite. Come on, Sonny. Uh, Unfortunately, he's not able to not able to seal the deal, but uh, definitely yeah. roughed it up when it when it finally came down. Uh, and uh, sorry, uh, Mina is just going to step five feet up on her turn, but that's sure. it. Sure, Doc. Uh, punchy, punchy. I'm going to do one on each of the ones, so one attack each. Okay. Uh, top one is that. You smash it. Um, in that case, I would actually fill forward and punch. Okay. So which one is Sunny on here? Oh, that one. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, I'll just take advantage of that and do uh, attack on the downed one. Because it would be rude to not take what is offered. Okay. And you just curb stop it. Neat. All right. Anything else, Doc? I'll uh, be it. Hermione. Oh, right. Sorry. I was distracted by the dog. Um, <laughs> Very well, distracting. Well, upon finding no... So there's just, like, a wall down here, right? There wasn't any... Yep. didn't appear to be any way forward. Nope. Solid wall. Okay. Uh, Harmony will um, run... Upon realizing that her ghostly hands can't turn knobs, will uh, kind of flee back this way. That's 30. I'll make, and kind of like, she's not like huddling in the corner here, but like seeing the stairs up and knowing what's back up there. Uh, I'm going to make another perception check if that's okay, just to see if the, I mean, this is me as a player wanting to uh, hear if like the noise of this battle has, mm -hmm. seems to be attracting anything down the stairs. Sure. Harmony's probably just like in a panic, like trying to find a way out and seeing if there's anything up there. So here's another okay. perception check. Um, Harmony does not hear anything coming that way. Although notably, when, as Harmony is looking back down the passage and up the stairs, Harmony realizes that the state, like her view of the stairs, is like fading. Like they, you know, uh, maybe another five feet up the steps, and there's nothing that she can see. Like just blackness, or yeah. like a wall, or like reality itself is just sort of fading away from her. Great, love that. Oh, I think that's that tether from with the. No, parade. reality's <laughs> fading for all of us. No. I mean, Ash in hell in this place. You never know, right? <laughs> Alright, taking a swing. Swing, Claire, Claire, Claire. Man, that doesn't roll off the I'm gonna have to refresh my old 20. It's not behaving very well. Good and boy, you son. cut this one down. And I will I will stub forward forward here. Okay. Uh, the two last two skeletons here drop their bows, draw swords, and both of them take a slash at you, Ash. Uh, okay, well, the you, one attack. You, you parry one, but the other gets through and stabs you for eight. Okay, well, the one attacking that's adjacent to me is going to take that sweet, sweet attack of opportunity. You give it a solid punch to the side of the head. Neat. Actually, is that the one that hit him? The one closest to you? Yes. Um, in that case, would my taunt effect... Like, I, I know we talked about the order of operations there, but the taunt effect on the Thunder Gauntlets, would that apply for that attack or just the next one if he survives to his it next would turn? would be the next. Okay, fair enough. The one also hadn't been hit by you. The attack triggers the the reaction that the attack right. completes. Right, the attack so has already happened. happened. Okay. I got you. All right, uh, Winley. Uh, Winley will come forward. How beat up is this one looking? Uh, I mean, Doc just smacked it pretty hard. All right, Winley's going to try out this fancy spear. And Doc, I mean, notably, you're literally just like yeah. punching yeah. and breaking right. them. <laughs> well, the fancy spear did not do well for me. Unfortunately not. No. Would have taken those temp HP, though. Right. Anything else, Willie? No, that's it. Okay, Mina. All right, 
gonna step forward and try to do something about these two. Uh, sharpshooter. Uh, and this is on the closer one to me, yeah? Okay. There we go. Dump him. <laughs> and the remaining, another sharpshooter. Oof. Oh. Okay. Uh, Sunny will go after him. And he gets advantage on these because of his uh, friend Ash standing there next to him. Yay, back to gooks. Yep, that's right. So, first coordinated strike thingy. Okay, there's 11. Solid hit. And let's see. Uh, it is pulled to the ground. Okay, uh, so then on his turn, Sonny will go for the throat. Gets it by the spine and just shakes it to death. Sweet. Uh, and he still has movement. Well, Sonny's going to hang out there. No, his that... movement was what started this, so he'll, he'll chill for a second. It's also the end, end of the battle here, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll carry through with this initiative order until your next encounter. Uh, so okay, that... well, that's it for Sonny, though. Yeah. Duck. Okay, um, so we are. Have we decided we're not checking out the door? We don't have any other ways to go. Oh, is the, so this is a dead end over yeah. here? Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to uh, take a minute to look around this tomb more now that we've cleared it? Uh, also, selfishly, that would give me a minute to gather ammo. Yeah, sure. Um, can I just do like a, I don't know, perception check to. Investigation. Investigation. Right, to... Maybe can, these dead soldiers can, had. Them. Can, can me can could could could, sorry, I'm thinking my worst. Harmony, give the help action on that since you like. Yes. Okay, I will give the help action Sweet. since I have seen all. Oh, well, good, because my roll was not great. Okay, that's why I really better. Searching the room, you find sort of the tattered remains of what may have once been bandages, perhaps uh, pots that had ointments or poultices. Uh, however, they have clearly rotted away with time sure. and age. Uh, that said, these skeletons did all, all ten, ten of them have short bows and short swords, as well as quivers with uh, about, respectively, an average of 19 arrows each. Okay. Uh, can, har presumably Harmony also can't physically interact. Like, if she, like, curiously kind of reaches down to grab, like, a short sword, presumably. Goes right through. Yep. But Harmony's able to kind of, like, look and be like, oh, th right there, hey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, how heavily are we combat looting here, guys? Nah, I'm, I mean, if there's I don't think obvious do. pouches of gold or jewelry. Yeah, um, yeah I mean, we, those, yeah. But We're not just I chucking we every weapon in the bag of holding. We're not going to Skyrim this thing, no. And Mina, when, we... uh, when we're all kind of standing together, debriefing that a little bit, uh, after gathering ammo, she'll, she'll mention, yeah, I got kind of a weird vibe from that door back there. I don't know if we want to go ahead and check that out or... But I just thought I'd, I'd throw that out there. Uh, well, our only other option is to try and go up. Uh, Harmony will kind of be, like, staring up the stairs, and I'll just be like, can we go up? Like, so, so I does my investigation cover my movement as well? Or yes. Okay, so then I'm done in that case. Okay. Uh, Harmony will basically just kind of, like, ask, like, Ash... Or, you know, whoever's not, like, digging around through the corpses. Uh, she'll just kind of call out, like, Hash, are you seeing this? I'm seeing what? Uh, she's staring up the stairs, seeming uh, confused. Oh, yeah. Um, on my turn, I'll go back. And it looks like I'm next anyway. So yep. I'll go back and I'll kind of look up the stairs. Do I see the stairs disappearing behind us? No, the stairs are there, and as Ash comes to you, Harmony, the stairs seem to rematerialize. Uh, Harmony will kind of, like, look over at Ash, and then back up the stairs, and just, uh, uh, will kind of, like, say to, her, say to, uh, say to Ash, uh, it appears my presence here is tied to all of you, so, um, I'm. I'm. Can only go so far from any of you. Even if I did try to flee. So, um, do you like describe the darkness that you saw, like encroaching? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, she'll just kind of say like, uh, and she'll kind of like start walking back up the stairs, just kind of like to test the limits of this. I mean, it's not my turn, so mm -hmm. I guess I should wait. She'll, but she'll say like, it just. just she'll just kind of like tell Ash like, yeah, it was just. Nothing. 
Yeah, I'll just caution you. I'll be like, stick stick close, friend. I don't want to leave, lose you to the darkness. Uh, everyone should check out Zoom, by the way. We have a guest. Okay. Uh, and with that, sorry, skeletons are dead. Winley. Um, I apologize. I took him out. Where did everybody go? Back to the stairs? Just Ash and Harmony. We're still exploring the, 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 um, the room a little bit and discussing okay, cool. whether or not we want to go back up or if we want to go through Spooky Door. Okay. I mean, I, I kind of feel like we should at least take a look in the room on the other side of the Spooky Door. Okay. Not yeah, uh, Winley will just look in into each alcove and see if there's anything. Doc searched the whole room. Yeah, Doc did an investigation. Yeah, I did it once over and got he, a pretty solid He also doesn't there. have detect magic, so I'm just checking. There is no magic in this okay, room great. other than the, other than the room. Yeah. <laughs> right, and then Winley will head back over to uh, where the door is. Okay. I think I'd get to about there. Okay. Uh, Meaner, you're over by the door. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make a stealth check because now I will try to actually be sneaky uh, as, I, as I poke this door. Okay, well, that's pretty much in line with the rest of the day. Yeah. Uh, but she'll, she, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just, is, uh, can I, is there a way I can just sort of ease the door open yeah, and check in here just a little bit? Yeah. Okay, then I do so. Okay. And take it open inside. Uh, pulling open the door, you find that this is a horrific uh, chamber, as you can see. Uh, the floors, oh. uh, walls, yeah. ceiling, the entire room is decorated in what appear to be human bones. Uh, the tape, even the table itself, seems to be made out of rows of inlaid femurs. Uh, this entire chamber uh, it occupies not only the table and chair sitting center, as well as the candelabra made of human skulls, uh, but also uh, had, is home to several piles uh, of various uh, assorted kind of body parts. Um, that said, there are doors uh, on the there is a door on the north side of the room, as well as a door on the e double door on the east side of the room. Um. Okay. Well, <laughs> just a bathroom, guys. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty chilling, but. Nothing happened when I opened the door, and Mina knows enough to know, I mean, if anything was going to trap her, she feels like it would have happened when she opened it initially, so she'll open it a little more so that the others, if anyone else is standing near there. Okay. Um, no, guess, yeah. One other no feature of note is that over the large uh, double doors on the east side, there is a enormous dragon skull mounted up on the wall. Well, this is where we lose Doc. I mean, uh, not to break turn order too much, but can we, like, gather here and discuss this? Or, or do I need to, like, no. wait for if, others' turns? To... If, it, if everybody wants to do that, then yes. Yeah. Or, or maybe not right next to the door, but I'll, I'll kind of ease the door closed. And, and if we want to meet, like, over here, so we're not right next to the, like, thousand sort of skeletons room. Or we can just... Go for it, but uh, I I would actually would in character point out that like we fought a few skeletons out here, so clearly undeath is on the table. That is a lot more skeletons mm -hmm. worth of bones in there. Yeah, but I don't. And a I, Ash would point out that those are arranged in such a way that they are probably not going to animate. Look, I don't want to fight a s table skeleton. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna step into the room then, and this will I'll finish my turn just by like making an actual. Can I just make an actual perception check, just looking around for any intriguing details? Sure. Beyond <laughs> beyond the obvious, I guess. Um, there we go. Uh, I mean, beyond what you've observed, it is noteworthy that this room, unlike the prior passages, is not dusty and cobweb-filled. This room appears to actually get quite a decent amount of traffic, uh, and the skulls are immaculately clean. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's much better. Um, all right, and then Sunny will... Uh, Sunny feels kind of bad for triggering that last fight, so he's just going to go sniff around <laughs> 5, 10... Because I haven't gotten a look at these alcoves, and then that's that's all he's going to do, and then he'll use the rest of his movement to trot back over here. Okay. Doc. So, 
both the player and the character are both mm -mm, mm -mm, no <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> Um, I mean, if we want, we can go back up. And yeah, my up. vote pretty vehemently is to go back up. I mean, if we're, if we're just having a conversation about it really quick, Winley will just kind of say, if we avoid everything creepy, we're not going to explore any of this castle. We should have just left. Just like kind of as a point, like we're going to find creepy shit everywhere. Should we at least check it out? I kind of feel like we found something here. Like, I think we should... Okay, fine. Well, like, necromancy is pretty close to, uh, to, you know, bringing people back to dead. Fifteen. Uh, sorry, what's this thing? A pile of bones. Like a heaping, a heaping five or six foot tall pile of bones. Oh, he On top of the fact that the floor is covered in bones, the walls are covered in bones. I call this the bone room. I mean, it's the Hall of Bones if you uh, looked at the handout. The Bone Zone, please, and thank oh, you. Oh, God. <laughs> um, no. I guess I'll... Can I, like, investigate the pile of skulls to make sure there's not something uh, going to jump out and try to murder the shit out of us? Sure. Not initiative. Sorry. I do not like the tone of that shore. <laughs> Dan's very good at the... Uh, That's fine. One uh, word answers that have a lot of meaning yeah. uh, looking through this pile closest to you you do not find anything other than a disturbing amount of bones all humanoid you said quite neat okay well I still have a little bit of movement so I guess I'll inch forward a bit here and yeah. so nothing else save for the creepy fucking table and chairs so far okay harmony uh, well, Harmony will, uh, reluctantly follow the party into the bone zone. Uh, uh let's see. Um, that's 50 feet. So as she kind of walks in, she'll kind of, like, recoil. Uh, but, like, well, she'll, like, kind of shudder. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to move that much. Um, that was 50 right here, so. Uh, but she'll kind of, like, You're standing on the table. Oh. Well, I'm a ghost, so. Yeah. <laughs> Harmony starts table dancing. Um, no, she doesn't. They're uh, also now standing on Doc. Hi, Doc. What's up? Okay, that's 40, then. Move in increments, man. <laughs> I know, I'm trying to just get to a place where I can... I'm sorry, I was walking into the room, and as she kind of, like, walks in and shudders, uh, she um, uh, kind of looks around and looks back at the party and says, Are my bones... Among his collection? Uh, no. Not as far as we know. Safe. Your bones are safe. Harmony, as you walk into this room, uh, you hear the sound of whispering voices uh, in the room, uh, as if every single sc uh, skull is trying to whisper something to you. Uh, what are they saying? Do I need to roll a perception check? You can't really make it out. Oh, great. Uh, I can try to speak with dead. I'm pretty sure I prepared that. Does it seem friendly? Uh, it's whispers. Okay. Whispery, uh, whisper, whispers. Uh, Harmony kind of like as she after she finishes her bones question like cock her head and like as though she's like hearing voices and like look around and be like what, 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 what do you want? Uh, and that'll be her turn. Okay. Ash. All right. I'm gonna join everyone in the bone zone. <laughs> Damn. <it>. Lily <laughs> is deeply uncomfortable with calling it the bone zone. <laughs> I mean, it's accurate, but that doesn't mean I'm happy about it. Right. Well, that was 40. Let's see. Can I make it over to those doors with a double move? Yeah. I'm going to end my turn here. I'm just going to kind of listen up this door. Okay. Uh, make a perception check. Do core sheet perception normal. You very vaguely, somewhere past down this door, hear the sound of what sounds like a woman crying. Okay. I kind of relay that to the group. I'm sure it's fine. Totally normal. Lindley. Um, I, too, will come into the bone room. Bone zone, please. The room of bones. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. And... You know, also continue to look around. I'll take the uh, the left side here. That's the end of my movement. But uh, 
anything shiny and magical in any of the piles of bones that I can see. Uh, no, not that you can see. Uh, notably, though, your dagger is sort of humming. I'm sure it's fine. Winley is very disturbed by this. <laughs> yeah. And she will, she will kind of pull the dagger out and just kind of look at it. That's it. Sorry. Um, okay. Um, Mina will. Let me. Uh, kind of run up to the other side of that door. That's one move for her. Uh, and I mean, what's just my quick. Uh, read of Ash's feeling about this door. Like, Ash, are you indicating anything about the door? I, I indicated that I could hear brief, you know, si uh, uh, distant weeping. Okay. Uh, I'll do the same thing that I did down here and just try to, if I, if possible, unless it's locked, but just try to, like, ease the door open or, or pull it open just a little bit just to see what's beyond here. Okay. Uh, peeking through that door, uh, you are looking into a long hall. Uh, this hall stands in somewhat deadly silence. There are heavy beams supporting a sagging 10-foot-high ceiling, uh, and a low fog clings to the floor, perhaps a f uh, about three, in three feet high or so. Uh, across, the, uh, across the far side of the chamber, you can see what looks like uh, kind of a set of bars uh, into a wider chamber, uh, and you can see the vague shadow of a hunched figure uh, holding a lantern walking uh, on the other side of the bars. Uh, you can now also hear the sound of weeping coming from this door to the south. Okay, I'll let the door close in front of me and I'll relay, like, all of that. Okay. I'm super sorry. What did you see from that door? I was distracted. Uh, there's a long, uh, kind of creepy hallway that's, uh, big, uh, and has doors on either side. The sound of the woman crying is coming from the door to the south. The first door to the south, there's only one door on the south wall, so that's it. Uh, and at the end of this long hall, there are these bars and, uh, like, a big hunched figure with what looks like a lantern, like, walking around on the other side of those bars. Uh, it looks like it's a strange corridor. It, I don't, I, it sounds cliche to say, but I just, like, don't trust it. For mapping purposes, can I stick my token through just to see it? Ash can look through the door if Ash wants to look through the door. Okay. I'll do that on my turn, I guess. Okay. Uh, Sunny. Sunny. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I will... Rather, Sunny will run up to join us, and uh, against his instincts, he will not grab a bone to, to gnaw on. He'll... We'll just kind of uh, pull up the, the rear uh, currently. Okay. Doc. Okay. Well, I guess I'll come up to the door in case we decide to ring that particular bell. And I'll chill at the door here. Okay. Are you taking a peek or anything or just standing on this side of it? Um, I'll stand on this side of it. Okay. Harmony. Uh, so the voices that Harmony can hear from the skulls, you can't make out anything specific. Is it coming from a specific direction or just kind of all around? All her? around. Okay. So Every she... single skull in the room seems like it's whispering. Okay. Uh, well, she will approach the closest one. Okay. And I don't know if I need to move even to do that. Nope. Uh, and just kind of like reach out for it and say, What? Uh, as, so, as soon as kind of Harmony tries to sort of engage with the skull, Harmony is uh, presented with a vision of a man on the road uh, being dragged by a rope uh, from the back of a horse uh, while a man on the horse laughs uh, as he is dragged to death. Uh, and she, like, recoils and, like, snaps back and shudders. Um, obviously she's, like, gonna need some time to process that, but... Uh, uh, did anything about the man on the horse, his laugh, anything seem familiar to her? Vaguely. Okay. Uh, Harmony will kind of like, uh, I'm going to move, but just, she's kind of like staggers in a sort of fleeing sort of, let's see, that's five, ten. And did, did, did that skull go silent or can, is the whispering no, just still sort of? still whispering. Okay. Uh, 
And she'll kind of like, let's see, that's ten. Uh, did that take up my action? Yes. Okay. Uh, she'll kind of like run up here, that's 30 feet, and just kind of like, she seems to be like flinching away from pretty much all the bones as she like kind of approaches the rest of the party, and they could probably hear her as she like kind of like wraps her arms around herself and just say, so much death. Okay. Ash. I guess I will peek the hallway. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and, go ahead and move to do so. Uh, again, the hallway is uh, you know, about 50 or 60 feet long. You can see uh, sort of uh, bars uh, at the far end of the hallway and a hunched figure with a lantern at the far end there uh, moving about. The floor is covered in fog about three feet deep. Uh, you can hear the weeping coming from the door to the south, as well as you can see do- uh, several doors on the north side of the room. Okay. Um, and I guess I'll just come stick my head back in, and I'm going to move up to this other door up north here. Okay. And I'm going to peek that one, I guess. That can happen on your next turn. Okay. Winley. Um, uh, Winley is going to go to the north door and have a little listen. Okay. Perception check. Yep. Uh, you hear nothing on the other side. Is it locked? It is not locked. All right. Winley will peek this door. Okay. Boop. Uh, this hallway, sorry, I gotta, gotta flip back here, uh, appears to be a room in shambles. Uh, there's scattered furniture lying in heaps near the walls. Uh, broken bones lie scattered amongst crumpled and crushed plate armor. Shields and swords jut from the walls as if driven into them by tremendous force. Uh, there are two doors standing opposite one another uh, at the center of the north wall, and a dark archway leads out through the east wall. Great. Sounds like a crush trap. Let's not go in there. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Winley will relay that to everyone else. Creepy room. Lots of issues. Anything glowing and magical in that room no. that she could see. No. Okay. As much as I would like to try to salvage some of that plate armor and repurpose it, it seems no. unwise. Okay. Mina. Uh, have we... I don't think we've run just a general investigation on like this table... Yet, have we? Not on the table, no. I checked okay. out one of the bone piles and didn't find anything, but that's about it. Alright, I'll take my turn to investigate the, just the table, walking around it if I can, and just kind of uh, looking at it. What does it look like it's been used for? Does it have any strange compartments or additional features that I'm not noticing on a initial uh, look over? So here we go, here's an investigation. Sweet. Okay. Uh, looking at the table, there doesn't appear to be anything uh, special about it other than its incredibly macabre construction. However, as Mina kind of uh, perhaps kind of paces the edge of the table and examines it, she begins to hear whispers coming from the skulls. Okay. Uh, at any particular place or? All of the skulls. We probably shouldn't linger in this room. Guys, the skulls are whispering to me. Uh, I don't know if this would be an off-turn thing, but Harmony, as soon as Mina says that, we'll we'll whirl around and say, DON'T! Alright. Um, okay, and then, yeah, that's probably Mina. Okay, Sonny? It's my reaction. Sonny will jog over there, and noticing Mina kind of tensing up is gonna... Stay next to her, and that's his turn. Sonny has full-blown, like, hair on the back, up, uh, hackles going. Like, the, the, the Sonny dog vibe is not good. How's, uh, how's this hallway looking? Uh, Winley will tell you guys what she saw. You know, pieces of broken armor on the ground, weapons that appear to have been shoved very forcefully into the walls, another set of doors straight ahead, and an archway leading down what appears to be a hallway to the east. That does not sound great. <laughs> I didn't see any, like, n- n- nasty, destroyed stuff this way. Maybe let's go this way? Oh, well, Doc, you're up. Yeah, sorry. Out of turn. Sorry. All right, so it's my... Happen. I would say, um... <laughs> so, I don't want to go to the, cr- the crush trap. Um, so I guess we want to go in this room, then, is what we're landing on? Sounds like. Awesome. Winley has no preference of which creepy room we go into next. Well, I guess I'll trigger the encounter in the uh, next room over here. So you said there was... I, I haven't actually been in there yet, so I'll... Go ahead and peek. Do my room... Do my move here. And you said there was... 
someone in the in down there. Yep. Okay, and I'm just gonna kind of I'm just gonna kind of get in the room here. And sorry, why are we pinging that door? Uh, weeping is coming from this door. The woman weeping. The crying lady. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Doc, as a note, your head is barely above fog level here. The uh, fog awesome. is three feet deep across this floor. Don't breathe the fog. Mm -hmm. Well, not all I can do about that. I'm just going to kind of duck in the room and just kind of hold a defensive posture here so everyone can get in behind me. Okay. Well, notably, nobody leaps out and attacks you. Yay. He's all around. Uh, you can now also hear the weeping coming from the door to the sure. floor. Harmony. Uh, Harmony will, wherever Mina is... Where is Mina? Directly above Harmony. She oh. blends in pretty well. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I didn't see her. Uh, Harmony will, like, again, attempt to, like, grab Mina by the lapels and, again, not successfully do so. And she will say, do not speak to the skulls. <laughs> is it any kind of language that, are they speaking in a language? Uh, the skulls. It is indistinct whispering. Uh, but I guess my question would be, does Harmony's interaction with one of the skulls change her perception of the voices at all? No. Like, okay. So she can't, like, see if there's a familiar one in no. there anywhere. Okay. In fact, even the one that she reached out for originally is just lost in the yep. amount of skulls. Okay. Uh, if, I mean, if, if Mina can respond, she'll be like, yeah, I, I really want to get out of here. Uh, and on that note, Harmony will uh, kind of turn, see Doc has opened the door, and uh, head through. Uh, let's see, that's 15 feet. How far did Doc go? You're standing on him. Hi, Doc. What's up? <laughs> you could uh, say, what's up, Doc? Uh, I could. Will I? Please don't. Uh, was talking to me, that, that's a free action, right? Yes. Okay, so... I'm sorry if I triggered this encounter, but I am a ghost. That's so, fair. Uh, uh, <laughs> I so am I'm a ghost, take so it's another, not my problem. I'm going to take another the 30 encounter. feet of movement okay. here. And just kind of, she's, just, she's just trying to get out of the bone room and get away from the voices. And if that triggers something, I apologize. But Nothing uh, seems to happen. Okay. Ash. All right. So if I just poke my head into this room to get a clear picture of it for my mapping purposes, is that okay before yeah. I jog so, I mean, down? You, could, you can just like peek, be peeking through the door. Okay. I just didn't want to act, move my token through and then get reprimanded for moving my token nope. where I shouldn't nope. or get crushed immediately because you claim I walked into a room. Because I just want to get a good picture of what this room looks like before we move on so we know what we're coming back to. Okay, that's all I want. And then I will do just a 30-foot movement. I'll call that an action. I'll do a 30-foot movement back to the team down here. Okay. Am I standing on anyone? Doesn't look like it. Cool. <laughs> People just keep standing on Doc. It's He's used to it by now, honestly. It's a lot of fog. Yeah. Happens to us all, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Okay. And Winley. Winley will pop through the door and see what she can see before she decides what direction to go. Uh, so this door to the south was Crying Lady. Uh, correct. Yes. All right. Uh, Winley will... Listen outside of this door to the north. Okay. Uh, there does not appear to be any sound coming from behind it. Okay. Uh, cool. cool. Yep, I see your question. Yep, sorry. Um, anything else of note in this hallway? Uh, no. Okay. Okay. Um, I think I have a little movement left, so I'll move up to this door. Any okay. noises from behind that door? Make a look from check. Sure. I don't know why it rolled twice. We'll take the first. Okay. Uh, you hear a faint bubbling sound from behind the door. Uh, Winley will relay that to the rest of the team. All right. And that's my turn. Mina. All right. Mina's going to slip through the door and jog right up to this door right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and peek the crying lady door. Okay. You can go ahead and, and token, token peek here. Uh, this is a narrow, cobweb-filled passage, uh, about ten feet wide or so. At the end of the hall, you can see a staircase, uh, both leading up and down, similar to the one that you came down in the first place. Uh, and you see a woman uh, kind of cur curled up against the wall, uh, close to the staircase. Uh, her head is in her hands. Uh, she's wearing a fine auburn gown, 
uh, and he's openly sobbing into her hands. Sorry, I was joking that I'm backing away from that very quickly. Um, and yeah, easing the door back uh, closed. Uh, and uh, yeah, I don't really want to like talk right outside this door, so um, I suppose I'll, I'll just kind of move right back next to Ash and Doc and just, you know, quietly explain that. And Winley's right there, so I'm guessing she can probably hear too. Yeah, when, uh, when Mina, if Mina, like, moves away from the door, uh, Winley will quietly whisper to everyone uh, that she can see the edge of somebody at the end of this hallway. That's and by the, that, I mean I can see the edge of a token. Yeah, the figure yeah, with the lantern we, I described. We, okay. There's a guy, like, pacing. Okay, okay, you know. cool. I mean, Winley wasn't at the door when that was described, so she wouldn't have seen it. Okay. Um, Sonny will join us in here, and, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of uh, hang out right there. Okay. Doc. Uh, all right, so we don't have any strong opinions on what uh, trap we want to trigger here. I don't think anyone has checked out this third door. The one at the end there? Yeah. Well, I also don't know how close we want to get yeah. to Lantern Boy. Yeah. Say, if we could go into the, the room that you didn't hear anything one, the, the first one here, to our left. We also have the second room, which is Bubbly Room. We could check out what the bubbly sound. Yeah, I'm for... Bubbly over crying lady or lantern guy. Oh. Okay. Well, in that case, I would have gone to this door, and yes, I'll peek the spooky quiet door instead. Can I peek, token peek with it? Yep. Okay. Uh, this is a perhaps bedroom of sorts in a great sense of disarray. Like, uh, did a bomb go off in here? Yeah, to some extent, or just a person <laughs> who has no concept of what clean and organized is. Uh, there is a essentially smashed uh, bed with a mattress sort of just laying over the top of it. Uh, there are bits of refuse and scrap, uh, various pieces of junk uh, piled in the corners and whatnot. Uh, however, this room does seem to be in use, uh, at least at some sometimes, uh, given that it is, despite being incredibly messy, not dust covered or cobweb covered. And Doc, that was that first door that you peeked? Yeah, it was uh, this room here. Four by four, so it extend, extends out that way. But, um, I mean, if if it's not visibly occupied, I'll guess I'll do a quick investigation of the room. It's invisibly occupied. Mm, well, we're gonna find out. Not with an eight, though. <laughs> Can't give a help action on that. I don't yeah, think. Yes, yeah, not likely. Uh, you do not find much in this room. Fair enough. I'll bet you're doing this somewhat hastily. Of course. Harmony, uh, you can see a, fi uh, a figure now much more clearly at the end of the hall uh, with the lantern. He is sort of pacing uh, back and forth in front of a bunch of large, what might be uh, wine barrels or whiskey barrels. They're all up on kind of stands and props. Uh, but the man uh, hunched figure looks like this. Uh, he has the body of a man, but has some clearly bestial and monstrous features. He has webbed uh, more kind of uh, bird feet. Uh, his face has some kind of canine features, and he is uh, quite well hunched over, uh, wearing rags and carrying what seems to be a number of accoutrements. Not uh, in a backpack or anything, but so much just like roped around parts of his body and uh, the, the sort of hump and hunch that he has. Um, Harmony, and I apologize in advance if this kicks anything off, mm -hmm. uh, is going to approach. Uh, she's going to walk... This is 30, so she'll walk up to the bars. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't make any noise when she moves. Can he see her? Does it seem like he can see her? He seems quite distracted with what he's doing at the okay. moment, uh, which seems to just be sort of muttering to himself as he uh, examines the wine barrels. Okay. Uh, a, a uh, I guess, object interaction to, like, reach... Can Harmony, like... Obviously, I mean, there's space between the bars, so a physical arm could pass through it, but does Harmony mm -hmm. think she could go through the bars if she, like kind of presses against it no okay uh harmony will kind of i guess can i make like a perception check just to glean like either what i mean you said they appeared from a distance to be wine barrels mm -hmm. now that i'm up close can i make a perception check either like what he wants with them or like what's going on in here Is make there an insight check. oh an insight okay 
Not good at that, but uh, uh, perhaps in death Harmony will be more insightful than she was in life. <laughs> Uh. Nope, not particularly. Uh, hard to say. He seems to be going through some version of perhaps an inventory examination, but by a means and method that makes no rational sense to Harmony. Okay. Uh, well, uh, she's... And, and so she's not far enough away for it, like this to be like fading into non-existence from the rest of the party. Um, presumably. No. She can, okay. Yeah. Uh, but she'll, okay, as a free action, she'll kind of, like, call out softly so that only he could hear her and just say, hello? And, you know, it'll wait for his turn to see if he reacts at all. Okay. Uh, he does not respond to, okay. to Harmony's voice. Ash. Okay, I'm going to, uh, again, trying to make sure I know every, every room detail-wise, I'm going to poke my head in this first room just to look around. This is the bedroom. I mean, I could have just given you it's a 4x4 fucked up room. He wants the screenshots. Yeah, Yeah, that's I'm grabbing screenshots so we can have a good map. I'm going to label them later. (laughs) At the very least, you can see why I said, oh, did a bomb go off in here? Yeah, yeah, bomb (laughs) bomb room. Um, And Doc knows about bombs. It's true. No, I I, I I speak as a profession. in this room as well, and then that will be my turn. Okay, creepy, creepy, awesome. Okay, Finley. Um, Winley is going to move down and listen outside of this door. Okay. The similar uh, kind of bubbling sound is emanating from behind. Great, great. Winley's going to peek in. Okay. (laughs) Peek. Uh, peeking inside, uh, this room appears to be the kitchen, uh, despite the floors being covered in sort of stains of perhaps past slaughters or messes. Uh, there are a number of tables with various pots, pans, and accoutrements. Uh, a large cauldron uh, with a decent kind of sweet smell emanating from it uh, is bubbling in the center of the room over a fire. Uh, this appears to be a fully functioning kitchen. Anything magical? No. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Winley will leave. And um, tell everyone that these two doors lead to the same room and that it is a kitchen. Okay. Mina. Um, okay. Uh, kind of looks like good. going down into the uh, crying woman room is our only way forward. I, I guess so, but I'll also mention, and Ash saw this too, that there's just a staircase beyond that, so if I mean, if we want to go back and go up, I guess this... Or it this, looked like it might go up or down, but yeah. It, it does. It, uh, I think Dan said it goes, it's both, right? Uh, the staircase past the woman goes both up and down, yes. Yeah. Is so, the woman, like, restrained in any way? No, she's just, like, I think she was just, like, curled in the fetal position by the wall, just, like, sobbing. Hmm. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, what are we, can we... Uh, is there sorry, is there anything like, that indicates that she's hostile in any way? I, I mean, she's, she's not doing bad. anything she's hostile. Tell me, I'm just bad. hearing the Left 4 Dead witch music. <laughs> I, I mean, absolutely, but I don't feel like I'm just going to walk up to her and shoot her in the head with my crossbow, well, you know? Yeah. But there's yeah. an achievement for it. Yeah, so. I think that, like... <laughs> Windley would at least suggest trying to talk to her. Like, maybe she's a captive of Strahd. Maybe we can help her. We have no idea what her deal is. Now, does her crying have a familiar Mad Mary-ish <laughs> wail to it? No. Oh, damn! Uh, or we try to talk to the Lantern Man. Hey, could be the missing daughter. That's literally, what, literally what he was just saying, yep. Gertruda. Um, well, I guess... I feel like we're at the point where we need to either turn back or talk to one of these people. So uh, I'm going to defer to uh, Mina will hold her action and, uh, you know, so that she can take a reaction to shoot at any enemy that comes into her vision. Uh, but that's that's what she'll do on her turn. Okay. Uh, and then Sonny will similarly, he'll run over here and he'll ready an action to attack anything that comes through this door. Okay. Doc. Um, I guess we're triggering Crying Lady. 
Do we want Harmony to still do the talking? Or do you think uh, the talking ghost might be not... very yeah, the, the like lost child or something? So that was this this that was this door, this one on the right? Or south? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's twenty five. Oh yeah, that's definitely a friendly token right there. Uh, um okay, I guess I'll trigger it. Um ma'am are, are you okay? <laughs> Uh, the, we, the, the sobbing sort of uh, subsides a little bit, uh, and she kind of pulls her, her head away from her hands. Uh, she is uh, appears to be a human woman. Uh, she's wearing kind of a, a masquerade or ball, a kind of ball mask. Um, her hair is done up. She appears to be a noble woman in, in all of her finery, uh, and she sort of kind of looks up to Doc. The the fog has not like fallen into this this passage, sure. uh, so it's actually kind of clear in front of him. Uh, she she sort of looks up. Hello, who's there? Oh yeah, this is definitely a trap. <laughs> I'm uh, one of the guests of the Lord of this place. Um, are you okay? Uh, 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 I'm all right. I, I, I think I'm all right. Who, who are you? I am rolling an insight check. Is who I am. <laughs> Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Doc thinks this is the most honest woman he's ever you, met. You tell her everything about yourself. Doc, save her. You must save her. Huh? She's a crying woman. And I'm sorry, what was the question one more time? Who are you? Who yeah. are you? Uh, my name is Doc. I'm not from around here. Oh. Well, my, na- my name's Valenta. What are you doing down here, Valenta? Hiding from him. Uh, man, the player and the yep, <laughs> yep, wrong crying woman. Uh, why are I mean? I feel like there are several obvious reasons you could be hiding from him, but what what are yours at the moment? It's horrible. Tracks. Yeah, I was saying <laughs> that that also tracks. <laughs> Um, is there anything we can... I, I, I can do. Is there anything I can do to help? Uh, she, she kind of gets up and, and kind of finally stands up uh, up off the floor. Uh, kind of kind of wipes wipes in her cheeks, although the mask sort of I was makes it say. a bit of perhaps a, a moot point. Um, I, I, don't, I don't know. Is, is there any way you could perhaps help me out of here? Uh, damn you two on the insight. Damn you we straight can't tell down. you which way is out. Oh, Ash, are you, are you, like, coming in and joining this conversation? I mean, so far I've made a point of acting like I'm alone, although I'm certain that the rest of you haven't been quiet enough for me to really make an argument that I'm alone. But... She seems distracted. I would like to point out that I'm pretty sure we know where that staircase goes up to. Do, Do we? we? Yes. How? Yes, that, that, will, that will go to the first floor. We actually saw that going into the dining room. It was a hallway directly. Uh, um, oh, yeah, it was across from the dining room. Of the dining room, yeah. I don't know where it goes down, obviously, but we know where it goes up. Um, okay, well, I, I think those stairs kind of indicates past. Those, those might go back up to the main level, and we might be able to get out from there. I, I came down from that way. That, that that elf, uh, Rahaden, he he was saying such nasty things. Well, the one with the whip. Do you know the deal with his whisper? Like, like immediately gets distracted by the. Oh, what's the deal with the whispers? Do you know what's up with the whispers? That's just weird. <laughs> they're horrifying, aren't they? His voices. Yeah, they're real creepy. What are they? <laughs> I, I don't know. Oh damn. <laughs> Doc loses That's interest. That's <laughs> Okay, well, she's clearly not in the mood to give a history lesson, even if, uh... She... Um... Okay, so you're saying... So is Rah- Rah- is Rawhide up there now? Rawhide? He, he was at least a few minutes ago. I, I don't think he came down with me. I haven't seen him. Now, this person she's referencing, is that the, uh, uh, the co- that coachman? Yeah, the that coachman. guy. Okay, that's what I thought. Just want to make sure I, I was keeping track of people. Uh, 
Okay. Um, well, if... Yeah, and he's clearly some kind of servant, so we probably don't want to go out that way if I believe her and that he's up there. So we might want to... So we might want to go back the way we came then and back up those stairs. Her stairs also Did we down. ask her if she knows anything about, like, the castle or like, where Strahd might, for example, keep... Like, are you... Yeah, I'd ask, so, like, do you live here? Like... She nods. I, I've been here for several years. Do you know where any werewolves are? <laughs> <laughs> Are you joining the conversation? I say, can the say, rest of us all go in at this yeah. point? Okay. So w- Winley will go in as well and, and I'd like to join the, the conversation. Here, but yes. Same. Uh, on the going in part. Yep, you went the completely wrong way, Tom. I said I was going to peek the kitchen real fast and then I was going to join the conversation. Okay. And I'm standing on a dock. Sorry, Doc. You're inside me. Yikes. Uh, <laughs> Harmony, are you doubling back? You are starting to sort of lose your vision of this room. Um, what is it? So, like, does Harmony feel, like, a pull? Like, does she feel like she'll, like, get yanked backwards, like, physically if uh, her, her, she pushes the distance between her and the party? Or does she feel more like the void pulling? More the void. Okay. Um, well, seeing as how the guy... Uh, uh, doesn't seem to notice her at all or respond to her. Uh, I'll make a quick perception check if I can. The staircase, obviously things mm-hmm. are like fading away, so I don't know if that'll do me any good. Mm-hmm. Could I still hear beyond it, or is it just non-existence? No, non-existence. Okay. So, the staircase, presumably I can't get very far up with... You can barely see the first couple steps at this Great. point. Great, okay. Harmony is has satisfied her curiosity that non-party members don't seem to be able or at least this guy doesn't seem to be able to hear her so she will indeed uh flee back that's 50 and then i think her last 10 to get into the room uh, i think just kind of role play wise like right before you got back i get a little panicky because i look around and realize you're not here and i remembered you telling me that blackness happens if you get too far away and so i'm like just about to like go back and try and find you when you kind of Back. And Harmony probably like stumbles into the room a bit desperately and uh, seems to like shudder uh, as like reality sort of restores itself and uh, will kind of look at Ash and hiss like, stay close. I was just about to say the same thing to you. <laughs> um, does the woman, obviously like people are engaging her in conversation and I don't know how she's reacted to the rest of the party entering, but does she seem to notice Harmony? Uh, not in particular. Okay. Maybe ghosts are a common occurrence. Yeah, yeah, they're not an uncommon it. occurrence, at the very least. <laughs> uh, when when they will ask the lady if she chose to come here. She said she's been mm-hmm. here for a couple years. You know, did she choose to come here, and can she leave if she wants to? Uh, she shakes her head. No. He, he took me from the village years ago. I've been his prisoner ever since. Well, you said your name was Valenta? Yes. Uh, which village did you come from? From Velaki. Have we heard this name? Uh, make a check. Sure. Is it Galenta or Volenta? Vol. With, with a v. v. Vol. V. Jesus. Uh, okay. Straight, like, intelligence what? Just straight intelligence check. Okay. Uh, no, this name is not familiar to you. When Lay will kind of ask the rest of the party, have we ever heard this name before? We've been in Falaki for a I'll little make a while. Intelligence check, but See if someone else can make a check and someone take some guidance, whoever. Oh, her, yeah. Give it to me. I also got a 22 on insight to see if she was lying. Uh, she is not lying. Yeah, Harmony. Some guidance on okay. top of that. D4. Okay. Do I have disadvantage on these or are they normal? No. Okay. So that's a hot 24 on my flat intelligence. Check. You do not recall anybody named Valenta Fair enough. in the village. Um, Winley is very much of the opinion that if we can help her, we should. If we can help get her out of here. And uh, Harmony will kind of like, um, not, you know, Harmony kind of stumbled into the room and she'll kind of like, you know, on her turn, if we're like sort of going simultaneously, we'll kind of like walk toward her and, like, seem to, like, sort of extend a hand, but mainly just trying to gauge if, like, anyone else can see her. She does not respond to Harmony approaching. Okay. Um, then, 
Harmony will sort of, like, look at the rest of the party. Oh, well, presumably somebody addresses her as Valenta, so Harmony will realize that it's... She'll have an inkling of remembrance of Gertruda, and then realize it's not her. And, uh, we'll... Yeah, sorry, we can... We're, we're still sort of... But Harmony will kind of, like, since the woman can't see or hear her, will kind of, when she has a chance, walk over to the staircase and make another perception check, if that's all right. Go ahead. Okay. And sorry for acting out of turn. Just uh, wanted to see if she could see me hear me anything all these people to roll persuasion checks on and <laughs> uh, perception. harmony cannot see anything around the corners of the staircase does it feel like she should be able like to? it's the black void oh okay she... it's, it's becoming apparent that harmony can't see anything that the party can't see okay it makes me a little useless as a scout. Uh, <laughs> well, it's almost like... But Harmony will kind of, like, recoil again and stagger backwards and just sort of... Um, but yeah. So. Uh, Winley will ask the lady like, why she was brought here. He took me. He, he fed on me. He still does. Great. Great. Winley now very much wants to help her. And we'll say that to the rest of the party. Like, I mean, I, I'm fine with her tagging along. You know, we, we might be able to get her out of here and save her from a, a terrible fate. Anyone else say anything? Do yeah, anything? Yeah, I mean, Mia yeah, will ask. Well, first of all, she'll say, yes, you should come with us. Uh, and she'll call Sonny forward and say, Sonny will do his best. Uh, this is Sonny. Uh, he'll do his best to uh, uh, look out for you while you're traveling with us. But please be careful. We're. We don't have a way out, by the way. So, like, we're you're welcome to come with us, but we don't have like a clear path out. Um, but I'll offer his services as as your protector while we're traveling. Um. So if she's from here, I would actually ask. What the hell? You miss hundred percent of shots you don't take. Uh, we're here looking for some kind of uh, restorative, like resurrection type magic. Do you know where anything like that might be if you've been living here? Also, werewolves. Yeah, does Ash actually ask that or say that? I'll, I'll, I won't say werewolves. I'm also saying we're also looking for potential prisoners. Um, she she sort of gives a bit of a frown. Well, he he keeps most of his things uh, up upstairs in the in in the rooms in the the bed chambers and study and whatnot. But uh, prisoners are are usually downstairs in the dungeons. Kind of in, like kind of doggled, like gestured down like down the stairs. Yeah, she nods. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Willie Winley will also, at this point, ask her, kind of suggesting to the party and her, um, would it be better for you to stay here and we could grab you on our way out, or do you want to come with us into the dungeons and kind of just tell her like we're not leaving immediately. We have other things we have to do here. If you can stay in this room, we you know could try to come get you on our way out yep. or come with us. I, I think I'd rather come with you. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. We, we saw a room um, just back there a little bit and they kind of gesture back towards the bone room uh, and kind of north-ish uh, on the map and just be like, do you know if it's safe to go into that room with all the armor pieces and swords embedded places and stuff? Um, I, I haven't been in there in quite some time. Uh, I, I, I think so. Okay. Cool. Uh, Should we check it out before we go down? I mean, do we want to risk the crush room? No. (laughs) But Doc does for the armor. Is our our top priority is to get Harmony back, right? Like, I mean, we have other goals in this castle, but don't we want to find the thing that will resurrect Harmony? Isn't that, you know, number one? Yeah, so we need to go up, I think, for that. I think that yeah, I feel like Werewolf is very yeah. close to that priority list though, since yeah, since we need to get those kids out. I'm pretty sure that that would help us greatly in that front, and I know that was top on our list of things to do before coming here. Um, and so, well, my my goal is to really to get Harmony back, and that would be great. Yes, that's definitely a valuable uh, goal, but uh, I'm thinking we should head back up. Same. Um, speaking as a player. We probably, I mean, even if we find a way to bring Harmony back, 
we don't have a way out yet, so shouldn't that be priority number one? Well, since Harmony's really body up, isn't even here. Up is good for that, yeah. Up is good for that, too, because it's going to take us back to the entry hall. Um, I would also want to ask, what's with the mask? Oh. Um, she she um, kind of put, puts a hand to it. He hurt me once. Ah, uh, so it's a, it's a Phantom of the Opera type deal. Should we maybe, like, look at her face? You know, just to make sure that she's, like, alive and normal. See how, uh, Saying fang- this as a player. See how like, fangy she is on a scale of 1 yeah, to 10. Yeah, yeah, like, is, is she really a person? What do you mean by hurt you? Doc, you're walking up there. Uh, I mean, I saw other people were approaching, so yeah, I'll come up to the top of the stairs here. Okay, as you take a step forward, uh, she suddenly, uh, gives a smile and takes a step back, and you all hear a very loud mechanical click. Yeah. Uh, Portcullises fall on both the north and south side of the room that you're in, and a moment later you are being whooshed upwards as the floor uh, seems to shoot upwards in a elevator-like fashion. You are all carried uh, over the it. next ten seconds or so up about 200 feet oh, fuck. Uh, and find yourselves uh, still in essentially the, the box of the hallway that you were in previously, save for the portcullis on both sides. Curse your son, but inevitable betrayal. Is she still standing there? No, she was outside of the forklift. Wait, so she stepped out of the room, and the room turned into the Tower of Terror? She ste- took a step back, and everything in between her and you, or right between her and you, came portcullis, portcullis closed behind you, and the entire ro- hallway that you were in just went up. Oh, including her? Not including Sorry. her. No. So. Yeah. So did she like when you say step back? Does like she step into an alcove that we didn't see before? That's like in that hallway, or no? Like, she like literally stepped back like a step like right here. further down oh, the hallway. The yeah. Okay. Yep. Like, gotcha. Right gotcha. Yeah. Great. We love that. Yep. Sounds about right. And so you said we went like two hundred feet up. Yep. So just for the sake of where we are, spatially, we are now about one hundred and sixty feet from ground level because we came down forty feet now have gone up 200. Oh, yep. uh, but that said, you are all still in sort of the, the same hallway kind of uh, box or chamber, as it were. Well, I appreciate her not splitting the party, at least. Sure. <laughs> I suppose down at this point now? The, the next time the we see her, are killing her, right? Well, sorry? I was asking if the portcullises were, were still They're there. They're still there. I mean, you are, yep. you are in a, essentially a, uh, just a, a, a box. essentially a, hall, a hallway-shaped box. I guess I will try... Um, what would be north I'd see if I could try and raise them up just do a flat strength check see if they'll budge at all okay. and Harmony you just made a perception check uh, you can have uh, some guidance and a help action on that Ash yeah I'll help I'd help anybody think, as well I think that was to look down the stairs uh, back when yeah. I was okay but it was sure. nothing uh, so you are you can kind of mm-hmm. move the pork a little bit notably on the other side of the bars is just stone wall it's not, there's not a door or something on the other side so oh, the other okay. side as well yes oh, okay well I'll do a uh, investigation check I say any magic in this room yes uh, and with that actually make a constitution save everyone as a uh, hiss of gas fills the room including me and not you constitution what's wrong guys <laughs> <laughs> Everything seems fun to me. <laughs> Doing hot. Oh, wow. Fuck so far, so good. All right, Mina, don't fuck I was, it up. I uh, was about to say I use inspiration if this fails, but I think I might be good. What about Sunny? Yeah, I'm rolling it. All right. Uh, everybody but Mina uh, is able to resist uh, the sudden fi- feeling of slumberiness uh, that, uh, that uh, kind of fills the room. Mina, you pass right the fuck out. Sure. Awesome. Can I try and catch her? Yes. She's right next to me. Yes, you can. Dexterity, just no. I mean, she can just do when she do, she doesn't like literally like drop drop. I mean, she just sort of I stumbles. Catch my friend Mina. Mm-hmm. Okay. If we like slap her face, does she wake up? Yes. When they will wake her up. Okay. As gently yeah. as possible. I'm not gonna like a punch her in the face. <laughs> <laughs> just, just backhands. <laughs> All right. Um. Are we? I assume we're still acting in initiative order then. Mm-hmm. So. So you said that yes, there was magic in the room. Yes. It was the hissing of the oh, okay. of, of okay. some sort of magical gas. But nothing else. No. Since uh, Harmony... Any... Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, you go ahead. No, I was just going to say, looking at the ceiling, does anything look... Make a perception check. Sure. Uh, and Harmony will give Doc a help on his investigation check that he's assumedly going to do yes, around here. here. Okay. 
Uh, Winley, you see what looks to be a trap door uh, set into the ceiling made out of stone. Any indication of how to open it? There's no door. There's no handles or anything on it. Winley will point that out. Push. I could try and push at it. Yeah, how tall are the ceilings? Uh, It's about eight feet. So I can reach it because I'm about seven feet. So I'll, I'll push on it. Okay. Almost one way's little T Rex arms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, giving giving it a push, uh, it does seem to kind of lift up okay. uh, without too much issue. Uh, and there does appear to be a room above. Push it open and be like, guys, look yeah. what I found. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drag everybody in together here, real quick, so I can go ahead and move you to yonder new places. Gay new places. And a ghost climb. Now, are you willing to give us a floor number, or do we just kind of have to guess on floor numbers at this point? <laughs> no floor numbers for you. There wasn't a bell. There wasn't a bell there, hop. A Ding. Like <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, we also have no idea like how many feet there are between floors. I mean, Dan said that earlier. So even if we like try to triangulate how many floors might be between us and ground level, there's really no way of knowing. Quite end up. I'll just mark this as question mark floor for now. I guess. Okay. Uh, popping through the trapdoor, you seem to have arrived uh, at some sort of landing, uh, to which there is a staircase leading both up and a staircase leading down, as well as a door on the west side of the room when you're looking through. Should we have poofed somewhere? Uh, that sure would help, wouldn't it? I say, I'm still in the same room. <laughs> yeah, um, in this uh, in this particular chamber, uh, a couple of things are apparent. There's a very fine rug covering the floor on the south mm-hmm. side of the chamber, uh, and looking on the north side, uh, you are, Winley, probably uh, kind of immediately startled for a moment. Uh, there is a incredibly lifelike and realistic portrait of what might uh, appear to be a human Strahd uh, from before his vampiric days on the northern wall looking down at you uh, hmm. as you're looking up out of the trap door. Was he a handsome man? I mean, you, you decide for yourself. Right yeah. <laughs> Solid seven, I'd say. He at least has some pretty cool looking armor. Yeah, I want that um, armor, man. Hell of a widow's peak there. Winley will listen outside this door, uh, <laughs> since she was the first one in there. Okay. Come on. Eh, I probably don't hear anything. Uh, on the other side, no. You do hear uh, what sounds perhaps like rain on glass. Uh, it's sort of the, the pitter patter of uh, water hitting glass. Oop, I did. Interesting. Sorry, I'm All right. getting um, upset from people. Yeah, I'll peek through the door. Okay. Uh, looking through this peek, door, peek. you are looking into a, uh, a fairly nice-looking sort of lounge. Uh, there is a crack of lightning and thunder, uh, and kind of the uh, tower you seem to be in groans for a moment. Uh, looking across the room, the light illuminates a uh, what appears to be sort of a perhaps tea room. Uh, there's a bookcase uh, kind of on the east wall next to the door there, uh, as well as uh, several kind of plush uh, chairs uh, sitting next to large windows looking out to the west. Uh, lounging in one of the chairs closer to the bookcase and with the door, uh, with its back to the door, uh, you're standing next to, there appears to be a man sitting uh, looking out the windows. Can I go ahead and move myself into that room? Yeah. Right, so I tried to move just on the other side of the door and it keeps like bouncing me back, so. Yeah, it's a weird, weird square layout here. I was noticing that too. Uh, do I recognize the man? Does he notice me? He does not notice you. Uh, he is a fairly attractive man in noble's attire, uh, who's kind of looking boredly at the rain hitting the window. Does he look like a vampire? Uh, he doesn't not look like a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> great, great. All right, um, I assume at this point everyone is kind of, like, clambered into the room, so Winley will, um, relay what is through there. Yep, there there's a guy in there, it looks like a tea room kind of study area. Does this, it, it could Winley have seen what appears to be probably a door down there? Yes. Okay. There, there is another door at the uh, south end of this room. So take our chances with the man or pick a direction. It appears that we're in one of the towers, basically. Yes. You, you are quite clearly in the towers. You can just looking, kind of glancing through the windows on the far side. You can see kind of the top of the walls of uh, Ravenloft uh, kind of below. And this guy doesn't kind of realize that we're here or Correct. hasn't acknowledged yeah, us he, as he didn't notice when Winley popped her head in there. Correct. Are we going into the room or? I think that's what we're trying to decide. Do we go into the room and take our chances with the man or do we just pick a staircase and go? I, I think we should go in. Maybe he can give us information. Or maybe he can trigger another trap. Or maybe he eats our faces, you know. Yeah. 
Alright, in the in the room? Yep. Let's go in. Alright, uh, Winley would like to go in last. Take up the rear. And I definitely don't necessarily want to stand where I'm standing, but... I was gonna say, I'm... the tiles seem a bit janky here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Apologies for, for it's scale. Not your fault, it's no. just, yeah, is what it is. Okay. Um... Coming into the room, uh, let's say, is anybody making any attempts to be sneaky here, or are you all just sort of kind of kind of traipsing in? Uh, uh, go ahead, Jake. Sorry. I just was gonna say no, not being sneaky. Yeah, I'm, I'm not being sneaky, but I, I can't put my token here. But I'm kind of standing like in the doorway. Okay. Um, the man kind of uh, kind of looks looks back and and uh, gives you all a smile. He clearly sort of displays thanks as, as he does so. Oh, goodness, guests. Please, please, come in. Come in. Oof. He, he kind of stretches as if he might have been sitting here for uh, a little bit longer than one would healthily sit uh, sit in a chair uh, and kind of gives himself a bit of a stretch and, and stands up and looks back at all of you. Oh, my, my, where did you all come from? Did you just come up the elevator? Is that the, uh, the banging I just heard? Hmm? Yeah, um, sorry, what was her name? The, 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 uh, Valenta. Valenta. Yeah, Valenta, uh, Sent us up. <laughs> Sent us up. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Nasty bitch. Not very nice of it, really. Um, just as a note, and sorry to interrupt, uh, as soon as he smiles and displays fangs, uh, Harmony gives a shrieking no and lunges back through the door into the room. <laughs> he does not seem to notice that that happens. Right. <laughs> but Harmony just gets the f nopes the fuck out of that room. Yeah, that's fair. Just like ghostily pushes past Willie. Really. Yeah, because <laughs> again, like just... Winley standing in the doorway. Yeah. I mean, he sees you all sort of gathered around the entrance there and, and kind of takes a, a step back. Oh, please, please, come in. Make yourselves comfortable. Can I get you anything? We have, uh, I think, brandy, whiskey, wine, wine, of course, wine. Uh, and he sort of, sort of, as he's saying, that walks over to uh, the table over by the chairs by the windows. Uh, it seems to be sort of indicating the, um, uh, there's a, a kind of a drink cart there between them. Who are you? Oh, my name's Escher. Uh, you can call me Escher, I guess. I don't know what else, you, what else you would call me. Goodness, it's been a while since I talked to someone. Um, mm, well, uh, and, and who are you? Who are you, please? Uh, again, make yourselves comfortable. And he, he gestures to the uh, to the various chairs about the room. Uh, uh, I'm fine here. Uh, <laughs> we are visiting the castle, and Lord Zarovich has given us leave to give ourselves a bit of a tour. Uh, what can you tell us about this room? About the room. Uh, the room? What about the room? <laughs> well, you seem to be... It's just you in here. So what brought you to lounging in this particular spot? It's one of the few places that actually feels like you could live in it. I mean, you've seen the rest of the place. Dreadful, dreadful, mm -hmm. dreary. Not particularly nice. He's not wrong. <laughs> But I don't know. I, I, this feels like a place I would have been when I was still alive, you know. Nice, comfortable chairs, drinks, although they're kind of wasted on me now. Um, but still, you know, we, we all find our little corners. Uh, I mean, if you man, ran into Valenta uh, down there in the crypts, I'm sure that uh, was more her taste. I guess we all have our own uh, affects from life. Mm -hmm. Winley will yeah. ask him, is uh, Valenta also not alive? Oh, goodness, no. No, she's been dead for... Mm, Probably, I think, 200 years now, maybe? Sure. She said a couple years. <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, does the master of the castle keep anything of interest in this particular chamber that you know of? Oh, interest in this chamber? No, no. This is Other uh, than you, of course. Oh, well, thank you. And he, he, he gives, <laughs> uh, gives me a, a very like flattered smile. Mm, no, not here. His treasury is somewhere down on the floor below. I've never really bothered to poke around it. I mean, what good is gold, right? Um, I mean... <laughs> uh, to think. What about through that door and kind of point past him? Oh, what's uh, there? Uh, guest room. Uh, bedroom, I suppose. Um, comfortable couches. I mean, take a poke around if you like. Uh, I mean, can I roll an insight check on him saying I was the treasury is going to go down? The fat lot of good it did me on... <laughs> uh, with uh, Valenta, but yeah, I'd love to inside as well. Sure. Uh, it does not seem to be lying. Seems to be seems pretty pretty open. He seems too apathetic to really lie yeah, about like stuff. Uh, Winley will also quickly scan the room for any magic. Okay. 
I should be getting so, close. Doc will, Doc will politely take a decanter of something, kind of uh, offer it, like, at Winley to, like, eh, this, this, this okay? Like, this gonna kill me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, none of the, the food seems to be magical. Anything else just looking around the room? No. Uh, there are a number of books on the on the bookcase, but none of them are glowing or anything of the sort. Uh, your detect magic is about to wear off yeah, as well. Yeah, I figured. Uh, Winley will say to Doc, looks good to me. It just takes a polite sip of something, then. Uh, when, with, with Winley will ask him to poke around. I'm going to poke my head into the room, the guest room that he said. Okay. Uh, poking your head in there, a large bed is sitting in the center of the room. It has a four uh, four poster style with a black canopy trimmed with gold tassels. Uh, there are several com- comfortable divians uh, or divans uh, kind of on the south side of the room, uh, and there's a banded door on the uh, e- uh, on the east wall. A banded door, like, you know, uh, like a wooden door with band? a wooden door with <laughs> bands across it. Cool. Looking out the window, what is this that Winley is seeing? Rooftop. Yes. Uh, so looking out there, you were looking across the roof uh, of what you'd probably recognize to be kind of the front of the castle. Um, you can see the gates kind of fur- uh, further out here, well, well out to the west. Okay. So if I hold on to all of my spell slots, this is playing like escape plan like J because I have feather fall. So like it's like I acknowledge that it's not ideal, but it is an escape plan if it comes Notably, right down. Notably, the roof if we could. The the roof yeah. the roof here out of the windows by the way is about thirty feet below you. Sure. Oh, that's not even that bad. Um, right. after looking out the window, Winley will ask Escher. Is that what you said his name yes. was? Mm-hmm. Um, ask him uh, where do the stairs up lead? Well, the, the roof. Uh, at least if you want to take them up that way. Although, he kind of points to the windows. Dreadful storm out there. I wouldn't recommend it. Not to mention the gargoyles do get a bit testy with trespassers. Mm, good to know. Thanks for that. So what, so what brings, well, brought you here? Ooh, what brought me here? Goodness. No, uh, my friends and I were off on merry adventures and uh, seemed to have wandered too far. Uh, suffice to say, we found ourselves here uh, 300-ish, uh, one loses track, but uh, 300 years or so ago, um, came across uh, Lord Lord Grumpy Pants, and, uh, well, I'm the one who got to live out of everyone, or live. Uh, Lord Grumpy Pants. <laughs> um, Is that his official title? Is as far as I is concerned, <laughs> apparently. Uh, Winley will then ask him, she'll say... You said the treasury was down. Is there a way out of here? Uh, he, he nods. Well, I mean, insofar as if you just take the stairs there, you could take them all the what? way down. What floor are we on? Uh, <laughs> what floor are we on? And he, he kind of... Depending on which room you were in, this might be the fourth or the fifth. It sort of depends on the way you came up and how you're counting we were, your floors. We were one floor down from the main floor. Yeah. We're in basement level one. So are you just a glorified trophy then? or if Glorified would be overstating it, well, darling. I'm enough. glorious, don't get me wrong. But uh, no, suffice to say, uh, I am simply here to uh, festoon the environs. Mm. I like this guy. I look, I'm, I'm disappointed I that he's going to have to kill us at some point. Uh, when, I, when I explained that our starting point, did he kind of clarify which floor we were on? He, no, he doesn't say anything no, to that. Just either four or five. I, I think what that probably means is that not all stairs stop at all floors. So depending on which way you came, you either came up four flights or five flights. So somewhere in that vicinity. Um, Winley will uh, say something like, you've been very helpful. Is there anything else you can tell us about safely making our way through this place? Ooh, I mean, what do you want to know? What are you looking for, after all? Well, we're looking for two things, actually. Um, we unfortunately lost one of our friends. Mm. Um, we were able to preserve her body, but we're looking for a way uh, to bring her back. And Strahd any, any uh, Yeah, I say, uh, uh, the, the master of the Mr. castle Grumpy told Pat. us that there, there might be something that could help us bring her back, and if we could find it, it was ours to take. Any advice on what we might be looking for or where it might be located? Mm, well, let's see. Uh, if he's hiding it near the treasury again, I think it's floor down. 
somewhere on the east end. Again, I've never really bothered to poke around, but um, I think it's some, that's somewhere over there. You know, he does keep a number of things down in the crypts, though, so potentially he might have stashed it away inside of somebody's coffin or on somebody or something to that effect. Um, What's the deal with the bone room? place is freaking creepy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, macabre, right? No, uh, oof, I, haven't been there since my I haven't seen them down there since my friends were put in there. Um, oof. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I hate to say it, but, you know, the leftovers. Um, uh, uh, does he say anything about what we might be looking for to help bring Harmony back? Any idea what, what kind of thing it could be? Well, that's a trick. In my life, I used to, to do more of the, the musical magic. I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but uh, it wasn't that variety. Uh, the lord of the place is uh, a rather accomplished wizard sorcerer of some, of some variety, but um, to say what he could do, I don't know that he could do it himself, so I have to imagine it's got to be, I don't know, like a... a scroll or a potion or a wand or something I mean something with the with the power of life not that he's got it right um, I don't know that's probably my would be my guess great that's that's super helpful uh, the second thing we're looking for is a potential captive or, or a captive who um, is a werewolf I don't know how else to say it when they will just say like have you seen anyone like that yeah but there's that simpleton downstairs uh, in the bedchambers. Uh, if, I don't know if she's a werewolf or not. She seems kind of dull, so perhaps not. Um, otherwise, I don't know. If, I mean, if it's a werewolf and it's, it's a real prisoner, not just somebody working here, um, I'd expect someone down in the dungeons or the crypts, most likely. I'm sorry, simpleton? In the bedchambers? You, you know how they are. No offense, miss. But, you know, all, all looks, no brains. Do you happen mm. to know her name? Um, Greta something? Oh, god damn it. <laughs> Mother, platform. We love that. We I love... think the werewolf's name was Emil, right? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, Winley will say, was her name... Do we know a Greta? Gertruda. Was it possibly Gertruda? I have yet guess that that yeah, yeah. great yeah. Awesome. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I, thought. Um, cool. I had her up here once um, couldn't get more than a sentence or two out of her I just it, again all looks and Is she but but bedroom. still alive no oh, yes yes at least last time I saw her that might have been it, goodness how long have I been sitting here and he kind of, kind of looks at the chair, the chair for a moment <laughs> how big a butt print is in there <laughs> a decent one <laughs> know, maybe a couple days. On? Or is she just being kept around as a servant, or...? I, I think being fed on. I don't know. I haven't seen her dusting anything, so I'm guessing that's, so that's what she's here for. <laughs> um, if we were... You said she was in the bedchambers. Where, where exactly is that? So downstairs. Is it's just it a, one flight down? Yeah, yeah. Just a, just a level down. Same so. area as the treasure or anything you mentioned, or...? I mean, again, thereabouts. I just know it's some somewhere down there. It's not okay. not okay. not below ground. At least not that I've seen. Although there are definitely mm. some some nice things down below. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I think we will uh, move on then. All right. Thank you very much for your hospitality. Sure. If you happen to find a way to get me out of here, I would be the most grat grateful for it. Though, just throwing it out there. If uh, something comes to you. Hmm? Our uh, um, main goal is to break curses, so we'll keep you in mind. You're real trauma, you. We will not forget about you, unless we all perish. <laughs> and then, yeah. Well, even then, not necessarily. Uh, uh, Winley will ask him um, something along the lines of, you don't seem particularly happy living this life. Um, if the only way to free you from it is to... End your existence, is that something that you would want us to do? Oh, goodness, no. You know what okay. happens to people when they die here? <laughs> yes! yes! <laughs> We've been told. Winley will say, I mm, have an idea, and kind of look pointedly at Harmony. So, oh, she's out The direction the Harmony hole. ran. So even the... Um, so it sounds, thanks! <laughs> thanks! <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like even the dead can't leave without permission? Is that about the long and short of it? Well, you know, what's, uh, what's that old expression? It's like the Hotel Waterdeep. Once you check in, you can't check out. Yeah. <laughs> Hotel Waterdeep. Welcome. Right. Uh, 
I hate you, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Winley will give him her sincere thanks um, and, and say, you know, if we find a way of removing your curse, we will absolutely do what we can to help you. Well, you have been most gracious and helpful to us. Well, always a pleasure, miss. And again, if you happen to find a way, my eternal gratitude, yada yada. Excellent. Winley will give a polite, like, sort of... I'm really curious what would happen if any of us had detect good and evil would reflect on this guy. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, he's a vampire, so I don't think we should feel like... I respect that you guys, your honor or whatever, you want to break this curse. I don't feel like we should feel too beholden to, uh... Helping out to the vampire lush. He didn't in the immediately tower. try to eat us. So. Nina's trigger fingers <laughs> feeling itchy. I'm just saying, let's not take a quest from the vampire in Strahd. Oh yeah, no, so no. But bad. if we happen to find a way, it's priority Z. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's let's check out this treasury. Oh yeah. Yeah, know. when Lee's ready to to get out of this room before we push our luck with the. Uh, Vampire. Let's not go with the gargoyles on the roof, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, down leads us to Gertruda and to the treasury. And, so. the treasury. And, and Ash, did you check the door? Uh, I did not check the door on the other side of the room, but I kind of kind of want to do that before we move on. Um, does anyone want to just poke their heads into this room with me just so I'm not going in there alone? Uh, I mean, or, sure. Winley will come down with yeah, you. Yeah, no, then you go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to poke my head, and it seems to be maybe a closet? It is a closet. Uh, <laughs> this room has a number of fine cloaks and robes and uh, assorted attire hanging from hooks on the walls, uh, but nothing else to speak of. Cool. Okay, cool. Um, not going to bother with investigation at this point. It's just a closet. Yeah. All right, let's... Probably the best treasure in the entire game is hidden there, but whatever. <laughs> so I think we're going to move on then. We get a down a floor to the treasure. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Grab a screenshot real fast before we move on. Okay. Yep, I'm going to as well. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and gather everybody for okay. uh, floor transportation purposes. Screenshot taken. Yep. Okay. I think that's everybody. Sorry, if it's not, we'll find out. Apps. I have this marked as tower four or five floor. Okay. Uh, and now you are heading downstairs to yonder map of the floor below you. Excellent. So he said the treasury was to the east somewhere, and he didn't specifically say where the like bed chambers would be. Um, so through this door. Only one door. Yeah. Through it we go. Or Winley goes, at least. Same. The rest of you can make your own decisions. Okay. Uh, stepping into this hall, uh, you are witness to two things. First of all, a door of delicately engraved steel stands at the west end of the short hallway. Uh, there are intricate details on the surface of the door. It seemed to shine with the light of its own, untouched by time. Uh, flanking the door are two alcoves of shadow, and a uh, dark, va- vaguely man-shaped figure stands in each alcove. However, uh, filling this particular room, uh, and for the briefest moment, uh, you are presented with a vision of people. Uh, a number of nobles and uh, no- noble men and noble ladies uh, kind of chatting amicably as servants carry about uh, trays and goblets. Uh, for a moment, the room kind of shines with a bright light as if there is a sort of party taking place here before the uh, vision fades and you are presented with the reality of before you. Does that appear identically to Harmony? Yes. Okay. Are we... The initiative sort of faded for me. I don't know if anyone else still has it. Oh, go ahead and crack it and bring it back. Uh, I just mean it's blank. Yeah, yeah it's the same. Well, then the same is as good a time as any to go ahead and re-roll. <laughs> then I'd like to look. I'd like to go ahead and look through that door while we're. Uh, we'll hold on for just a moment. Sure, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Apparently, I am very fast at I'm wasting my twenties on stupid shit. I think a con save is a pretty good thing to get a nat twenty on. I did get a nat twenty on that, didn't I? No. And I don't have a sunny on this uh, map. I'll just sneak around and help Winley out here. You get a nat once. <laughs> well, you know, help is a relative term. 
really bummed that Escher is gonna probably get sicked on us at some point in the future. Hey, he was shame. good. He was good while he lasted, you know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Ash, you have our initiative. Awesome. I uh, will poke my head into a door. Okay. Well, uh, as you approach the door... Uh, well, hold on. Oh, sorry. Uh, as you approach the uh, the door here, the vaguely man-shaped figures in the alcoves on either side uh, tumble into swarms of rats uh, that oh. promptly kind of lurch out and attack you. Uh, but that said, you have the initiative on them. I will swipe my sword down, because I assume I'm not even just putting it away at this point. I'm going to try and attack a swarm of rats. I assume that hits. Sure does. Your god, I hope that hits. <laughs> if it doesn't, you got problems. Okay. And you're attacking the one right next to you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I think that'll be me. Okay. I don't uh, want to waste both blood on rats. Respectable choice. Respectable choice. Doc. Okay, so that was... Um, sorry, I, I actually got a... I put it in the chat. I got a 17. There's no Sunny on this map, but he got a 5. Oh, I apparently missed him in the grab, so let me bring him back into dodge. He just wanted to stay with Asher. <laughs> Who wouldn't, you know? I'm gonna punch some yeah, rats. Yeah. You want me to hold off on rolling until you have all that? Yeah, let me, let me grab... Uh, punch those grab rats sunny real from the other hard floor. Friend. Yep. Ow! Kitty cat, why do you use your claws? Years hey, of evolutionary hey, instinct, mostly. Yeah, probably. Hey, Brent. What? Buttercup, Buttercup has finally gotten to the old age kitty stage where she's cuddly. <laughs> uh, and I'm sorry, what was the uh, initiative for uh, Sunny? Uh, you got a five, and Mina got a 17. Okay. Which is one six, to be precise. In that case, why is uh, Mina... She's got the right number, she's just not in the right spot. Yep. Oh, so in that case it should have been Mina, not goes. me. Yes. So, no yep. punching rats yet. There we go. Uh, so Mina. Can I see rats? Yeah. And they're right, right, right next gonna... to you. <laughs> sure, sure. I just didn't know. Oh, yeah, I see that. <laughs> Those rats. Um, okay, uh... Said. Yeah, I'll shoot at a rat swarm, I guess. Um, just this one right next to me. Okay. Uh, and I'll, I'll sharpshooter. Seems appropriate. And they haven't gone yet, correct? They have not. Okay, so there's the first one. Okay. Uh, and another sharpshooter. Does it 12 hit? It does. Uh, you impale, you know, pro probably several of them between each each set of shots, uh, but the swarms are still fairly substantial. Yeah, uh, and that's me. All right, uh, next up, Doc. Oh boy, here I go punching again. You go punch those rats real good, man. Um, one each, one attack each on the ones in front of me here, so left. Jesus Christ, I think you just obliterated that swarm. Oh. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, you have, that swarm just, like, gets turned into pulp to goo. Neat. Gross. One more for the road. Nope, probably not. Nope, not quite so pulp, but it hits. It does hit with a 12. Okay, good to know. Okay. Anything else, Doc? Nope, that'd be it. Harmony. Ah, uh, well, Harmony will, uh, uh, see the rats doing the rat swarm things and will kind of just, uh, uh, be like, pretend to play the Pipe Piper. Uh, I don't think I can. Um, we'll just be like, uh, <laughs> so many teeth! And, uh, presumably she can't, like, flee. The door's not open, right? Now. It is she not. Able, wasn't able to. Uh, she will, uh, well, she can't really get anywhere, so she's gonna, um, move, just ecto through people and maybe take a listen at the door if if the rest of the uh cacophony of battle isn't too distracting make a perception check sure uh, so did it, like the rats swarm out like while my hand was like on the handle i didn't actually manage to open the door no, just i mean literally just walking forward they suddenly hmm. fell out of the alcoves as you passed you hear oh, nothing cool. 
She, Tommy's just trying to get out. She's really tired of piles of biting things. Respectable. Winley. Um, we're gonna go for some primal savagery. You savage those rats. For the ten uh, head. That was it does. Well, hey. oh, for harmony, really. Thirteen but... acid damage on the one in front of me. Okay. Uh, you melt several uh, several dozen rats in this swarm. Gross. Anything else, Winley? Mm-hmm. Nope. Sunny. Step up next to Winley and eat some rats. How do you grapple just to, with rats? Be, just to be perfectly clear, these rats are not undead or fiend rats. Correct? They're not. <laughs> okay. Well, pack tactics anyway, so there's a bite. Sweet. Ooh. Solid. Uh, Sunny uh, just just hoovers up the, uh, the swarm of rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gross. Uh, uh, Sunny does that dog thing where he tries to roll on them and just crushes the bird. <laughs> yeah, just Monroe yeah. eating the mice. We can play, right? There you um, go. Yeah, and that's it for Sunny. Okay. Uh, the swarms uh, push in on you, uh, and so one of them is attacking you, Mina. Fuck you. Uh, fails, and one of them is attacking you, Doc. Mm-hmm. Uh, woof. Uh, they swarm you viciously and like uh, deal 21 damage. 21? The fuck? <laughs> you got critted by rats, man. <laughs> Ash. That's unfortunate. Doc is probably screaming as he's <laughs> swarmed fuck! by rats. Yeah. Uh, Sucks, um, doesn't it? <laughs> Doc's gonna get a healing word, I think. Uh, cure wounds right, would be... Yeah, cure, cure wounds, <laughs> if I get a vote in the matter. <laughs> you don't. I know. Alright, and I add th- uh, three to that. So, eleven. And I get healing back from that as well now. <clears throat> yeah, it's a pretty fun feature. Not quite as effective as I'd like, but, you know, here we all are. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Ash? Uh, I really can't move much, so I'm just gonna hold the line here, I guess. You know. Alright, um, well, I'll keep shooting the one next to me. Uh. Mm, probably not a six, huh? No, unfortunately not. Okay, second shot. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, 16 damage. Um, and Sunny is not next to either of them, so that's it. Well, that swarm uh, is destroyed, so. Sweet! All right, Doc. Oh boy, here I go punching again. Also, what? with probably a bit more, like, oh, you fucker. <laughs> is that sufficient to kill, or do I need to do my next attack? Uh, that is not sufficient to kill. Well. Mm-hmm. That's a that is sufficient to kill. <laughs> uh, and you pulp the other swarm of rats on that side. But they got you good. They sure did. God damn. Bah. One more yeah, healing. Uh, one more heal would be appreciated. If you yeah. have the slots yep. for it. Yeah, my turn comes around. Mm-hmm. Are we still in combat order here? You are. Well, I'll say now. Now combat is over, but you can keep the uh, the initiative here. Uh, so harmony. Uh well, harmony. Uh. Upon hearing Doc uh, start to get experience the uh, devouring void, um, will kind of, uh, well, she can't really interact with any of the doors in here, uh, but now that it uh, calms down, uh, she's probably like kind of pressed up against the door again, uh, just having another a real whale of a time. Can I get another perception check to try to... Sure. Okay. Now that it's... The sounds of battle are fading. There you go. Uh, you can hear a harp being played beautifully on the other side of the store. She closes her eyes for a moment and reminisces about being alive and playing music and stuff. Uh, and then she turns back to the rest of the party uh, and says, Strange to hear a beautiful sound in such a place as this. Not that strange. <laughs> okay. Let's go in. Winley. Well, we don't really have anywhere else to go, so yeah. my head I poke. Well, there's okay. stairs. 
Uh, looking into this room, uh, you are once again uh, witness to kind of a, a beautiful sight of a kind of a large dinner uh, in, in process. Uh, clearly some sort of celebration amongst the uh, sort of nobles sitting at the table. For the briefest moment, uh, you see three somewhat familiar figures. Uh, a man who looks like the human version of Strahd, looking kind of coldly from the head of the table uh, to your right, uh, seeming to stare all the way across uh, the south end of the table, or a man who looks quite a bit like Strahd <laughs> is sitting and laughing with a woman who looks like Arena. Uh, a moment after you enter, this vision fades. Uh, however, you are now witness to a uh, kind of sweet and pungent scent of decay. Uh, the table is here, the placements are here, however, whatever party you were uh, envisioning for a moment uh, happened many, many years ago, and this seems to be the remnant of the occasion. Uh, now, uh, the only uh, person or being of note in the room uh, is the uh, a woman who looks somewhat shadowy or shady, as uh, Harmony does, uh, who appears to be playing the, uh, the harp in the southwest corner of the room. Um, did that appear to be Strahd's brother and his... That seems a reasonable. Beyonce. Seems a reasonable guess. You might so, infer that. Uh, okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, Winley will go in. Okay. Next up, Sunny. Sunny will follow through the door if he can. Sure. Still chewing on rat bits. Sure. Uh, and ring up rats is just a. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean he'll he'll trot over just around the opposite direction from Winley and. Uh, can I make, can he, can he make a sniff perception check? Yep. Just of the room, just, uh, sniffing around. Okay. <laughs> Distracted by all the food. That'll happen. Yeah. All right. Uh, Ash. All right. I'm going to do the quick heal on my friend. Again, add another uh, three to that. Okay. Eleven back, Doc. Yep. Sorry, I've got other stuff. And then I will uh, use that with my action. I'll just move into the room here. Does the lady react in any way when Winley enters the room? Uh, no. Okay. Not seem to take any notice of you. <clears throat> Mina. Okay. Uh, Mina will go in. And uh, just kind of slides sideways and runs up to this door, and I'm going to listen at that northern All right. door. Let's get that perception goodness. Here. Um, okay, that's something. All right. Uh, you hear the uh, heavy sound of a large crackling fire on the other side of the door. Uh, and you can even now, kind of looking at the door, see glimpses of light flickering uh, from around the corners. All right. Yeah, like, points. Ash is right there. It's fire. <laughs> okay. And, and that's probably it for me, then. All right, Doc. All right. I'll, uh... Oh, shit. Uh, high ten. Uh... You said southwest corner for Yep, there she is. And door Mina was that was up there. And the door on the far side. Um, do we want to investigate fire room, or do we want to see if we're going to go uh, three and three for vampires here? Well, she looked wispy and kind of translucent, like Harmony. You said, right? Correct. Oh, okay. Sorry, I missed that. Um, Let's try and engage her. Maybe she can tell us something. Mm-hmm. Does she look like anyone we've seen before? Like the no. woman from the vision or anything? No. Okay. okay, so one, two, and three for my last moment. Uh, hi, uh, miss. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Hi, miss. Okay. Uh, as soon as Dockrin speaks, the music kind of picks up in volume. All of you make a wisdom save. <sighs> Are we what? included? Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh no. Um, is that a spell save? It is not a spell save. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, same here, Brent. (laughs) Drum roll for Sunny. There it is. All right. Uh, Ash, Doc, Mina, and Sunny, uh, all of you are overcome with enormous sadness 
uh, and kind of are paralyzed uh, with overwhelming kind of a sense of grief. Uh, Winley, Harmony, you feel the same sensation for a moment, but are not uh, entrapped by it. Been there, done that, right, Winley? Mm -hmm. uh, and with that, we will add somebody to the order here. Uh-oh. Perfect. When will you grant the solo this one? You apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ash, you may make another wisdom save. That I will do gladly. <laughs> Cleric wisdom save thyself. You are able to break free of the reverie as you realize that some some sort of uh, enchantment is, is uh, kind of attacking you or attacking your senses. <laughs> Manipulating. it takes up my, my turn. Yes. Manipulating your enormous grief over the loss of your dear friend, Harmony, of course. <laughs> of course. Did you change the initiative order, or did I get skipped? Just added a... Your yeah, initiative is added. nine on the order. Well, yeah, it was Harmony, and then all of a sudden it was, like, way past me. And I, I just fixed okay. the order to descending to start at the top. Okay. Um... All right. The, uh, the music continues to fill the room, uh, and as, uh... As some of you are uh, trying to sort of uh, come come away from it here, uh, give me one second. Uh, there is a sudden snap uh, in the uh, sort of air of the room, uh, and Ash, make a intelligence save. God damn it, I don't wanna. Then you can auto fail, I guess. Yep. And I just don't want to have to. Uh -huh. uh, you feel as if essentially like a sharp and cutting like feel sensation of static just wipes your thoughts clean for a moment. Uh, and you find that your, your mind is sort of under assault. Uh, and you take a cumulative 43 damage. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. Uh, and with that, uh, Mina, uh, you may make a wisdom save. All right. So, do um, we want to leave? Yeah. I mean, we kind of have to go through this room. So. Do we, though? So that was right at the very beginning I mean, of my turn, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> uh, that, that is your turn to over, overcome the I'm effect, just, unfortunately. I'm just kidding. I, I know. Yep. That's Mina. All right, Doc. So, still not a spell save, I assume. Nope. Bummer. Hey! But you are able to overcome your sense of uh, horrific grief. Uh, Harmony, you know a bard when you see one. <laughs> I sure do. Uh, now, she has the same incorporeal nature as Harmony does. Uh, at least visibly appears the same. Okay. It's clearly having an effect on the material world. Um, Harmony is going to use her movement. Let's see, that was five. Oh, oh, sorry, start here. No. There. Start here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. You get to there. Uh, can Harmony. Um, does, does it feel like Harmony can, like. Can, does she react when Harmony comes rushing towards her? Not at all. Okay. Uh. <sighs> I mean, you can attempt to attack her. What's the worst that can happen? Right. I mean, I don't have any magic, and I don't have any weapons, but can I, like... I thought you had your ghostly accoutrement. I don't think I can, like, pull out a ghost sword. I mean, he... Harmony can't do anything that physically affects the world, so uh, I'm assuming... I, I'm that, sorry, I gave an option is, for contributions is, in the chat there. <laughs> uh, is the harp... Uh, does it appear to be physical, or is it also kind of ghost? It is physical. Okay. Uh, Harmony will kind of, like, uh... Break the harp? Well, I don't think I can, but Harmony will kind of, like, it. as she kind of, like, rushes towards her... Um... I can't really take any physical actions. Uh, Harmony will take a dash action, I guess, and, like, if I move into her space, am I able to do that, or is there something preventing me from doing so? No. To take a dash action? No. Yeah, take a dash action. I'm just going to enter her space and attempt to 
if I can, interfere with her incorporeality Seem- with my own. Yeah. Seems to totally ignore your existence. No. Okay. Winley. Um. Winley's unsure what to do with this. Uh, Break the heart, probably. Yeah, I, I, I guess. Uh, Winley will. You have a cool spear. Approach and or an acid try spit. to break the harp. Okay. With, I don't know, what right. looks most effective against harps. Uh, acid. Harps <laughs> are yeah. famously delicate instruments. So, yeah, yeah, I would think right. so. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We're gonna rip it apart with our teeth. Nice. Or miss terribly, we'll see. Hey! You did not miss terribly. Rip the harp! 26 damage to the harp. You just melt the entire thing into (laughs) goop. And then I'll look at her and be like, stop. (laughs) Maybe she'll just let us Does the music continue? I need to move you, uh. Harmony. Oh, I'm sorry. It's alright. Um. Uh, the music does stop, uh, and everybody who's currently under the effect is no longer under the effect. And Ash gets all her health back. Oh, see, nope. Exactly. <laughs> you can dare to dream. Sonny. Uh, so what is the thing, lady, like, ghost thing doing, like, now that the heart is broken? I mean, it's been broken here at the borderline end of the initiative, so nothing yeah. immediately. Uh, okay, um... Sonny's gonna go over and stand okay. next to her. Okay. But he won't attack. That's his turn. Okay. Ash. I'm going to heal myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a big healing spell on myself. Uh. Da 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 da. I'm going to use Cure Wounds at third level. Okay. Oof. I don't oh, you hate to see it. Do it right? 11 plus 5. Oh. Yeah. Plus my 3, I suppose, but yep. actually more because it'll be... Uh, it's worth noting you don't get that one bonus unless you're healing other people. I, oh yeah, I don't get that one, but I still get the core one, which is oh, yeah. the, 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 just the, um, what's it called? The discipline of life or whatever. Disciple of life? Disciple of life. That's me. I'm going to stay back here. That hurt. Ouch. Okay. Um... She, the, the figure kind of stand, stands up and lets out a loud shriek, and the glasses on the table between Winley and Dockrin explode. Uh, make constitution saves, Winley and Dockrin. Sure. Spell save. Uh, constitution save against the spell, uh, so technically. Oh, uh, but I don't have the advantage on all the cons. Fuck me. All right, Winley, you succeed. Uh, Doc, you fail. Uh, Doc, you take 13. Winley, you take 7. All right. Well... Alright, and Mina. Okay, well, we're doing this then. Yeah, I feel like we're committed. <laughs> yeah, uh, moving up there, and uh, uh, she's gonna load up uh, silver bolts for this lady. Just, I don't know, got a feeling, got Feels a right. feeling about ghostiness. Um, and uh, we'll take just a regular shot to start to feel out the AC. Is she undead? Would yes. she qualify for favorite enemy? That's Definitely. what I figured. Yep. Um, alright. Sonny got that good undead sniff going on here. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, there we go. I'm assuming a 27 hits. Definitely hits. Alright. 14 damage, and again, that was a silver bolt. I don't know if that... Does that does it damage? Like, she seems to be wounded by it? She staggers a little bit as the bolt passes through her. Okay, well, that's something. Um, I'll try a regular bolt for my second shot, uh, and I'll, I'll, uh, just a regular shot again in a sharpshooter. Okay. Uh, there we go. Cool. How about that one? Does that still seem to be measure? More or less the same effect. Okay, cool. Uh, and Sonny will bite because he's standing right next to her. And does a 13 hit? Uh, it does. Cool. 
And then that is um, me this turn. Let's see how that strength save goes. Passes the strength save. Okay. Cool. Uh, Doc. I haven't punched a ghost before. Uh, can I occupy the space with the harp on it, or no? You can. Okay. And then I'm going to punch a ghost. <laughs> Is a hell of a sentence. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Just then, so do I connect? Like, what does that look like for me there? Uh, you do, but notably it doesn't seem to have, like, the same weight uh, of clap as it usually does. Okay, fair enough. Okay, well, I get two attacks. I'm going to use two attacks. I don't well, I miss. There you go. Try Unless a nine hits. It does not. <laughs> All right. uh, Harmony. Uh, presumably Harmony isn't able to do anything to disrupt this creature. She can't, uh, even though they're both incorporeal, they're not vibing on the same frequency. Correct. Okay. Well, then Harmony will attempt to make herself useful in other ways. Different kinds of dead. Right, clearly. <laughs> um... And by that, she means uh, going up to this door. Neither of these doors are open, right? No. Okay. Well, I'll just make a little uh, perception check at this door. She's just searching for escape routes at this point. So, perception. Uh, you do not hear anything on the other side of the door. Great. Winley. I will continue with some ripping apart with my teeth. Or try. Solid is. 19 acid damage. Uh, the ghostly specter melts away. Okay. Well, to the, uh, to the next person in the order then, uh, Sunny. There's no more threat. At least no more threat. Uh, okay, yeah, I mean... Sunny will move back over and stand next to me now. Okay. That's it. All right, Ash. Um, so I don't want to spend any smell slots on myself if I don't have to. Do we want to? Mind, does anyone mind taking a short rest? Uh. I, got, I got knocked down to seven hit points there. I healed myself a little bit, but I'm. I mean, I gonna... I, I can give you a cure wounds. But I was hoping not to spend the spell slots, but I can do, I mean, we have full um, hit dice, so we could do some hit dice spending, um, or we can try and carry I, on. I, I think we should try to rest here as little as possible, Yeah, I'm just, I, but... We, the closest well, I thing we have to a safe area is the lounge with the vampire who... Here and hope for the best. How, how is everyone else doing on health and spell I, slots? I'm at about hell, half and haven't used any of my spell slots yet. Left. Okay. I've used one second level slot to give myself dark vision, and I'm good on health. Other than down some bolts, I'm I'm totally full. Okay, I say we press on for at least a little while. I think we. I mean, I. I think finding I a, a defensible spot spot. might be a good priority to have, though. Uh, I mean, Escher's room seemed reasonably safe. There's still a vampire in there. He may be the most chill vampire in the building, but he's still a vampire. Yeah, but it's a short rest, not a long rest. I mean, I, I have my uh, my ten good berries from last night that I cast uh, as part of my nightly... I, I had a spell slot left, so you can have all ten of those. Take a minute and eat ten good berries, Ash. I do also have a potion of healing if necessary. We have several potions of healing. Well, I'm going to give you all ten. I'll just hand you a big old hand. I just shove them all in my mouth. <laughs> this is going to be full. <laughs> yeah, that's ten days worth of... Uh, and Ash food. never needed <laughs> to eat again. <laughs> Does that stack? Is it like llama spread where it stacks? <laughs> no. Yeah, you're going to be a little bloated for the next <laughs> little while. But... Okay, I just eat one then, I guess. No, 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 it doesn't. It, okay. Never eat it just a break of beef jerky. <laughs> Okay. All right, that helps. Chased it with Thank a gallon you. of water. Yeah, yeah. A gallon of milk. No, I have Whole never done milk. that. All right. Um, what next? Uh, Winley would like to listen outside of this door. Okay. Let's see if we can pull yeah. one more combat encounter before the end of the session here. 
You hear the sound of rain. Uh, not not ju- both a combination of kind of the pitter pattering, similar to glass that you you heard in Escher's room, but also on stone, uh, as if it might be actually entering the room next door. I don't remember. So it, it could also be here, going out onto like the cro- uh, walkway. Yeah, it could be like a, a upstairs parapet, kind of called. patio type thing. Yeah, I'll Mina I'll poke will, my head out. Wall. Mina will just throw out there that she heard some kind of a crackling fire beyond this door, and didn't didn't Escher uh, seem to indicate that the treasury like we needed to look to the east somewhere? Like maybe we should yeah. check out that door first. Okay. <laughs> Winley's already poked her head through. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Uh, poking your head into this room, uh, you are looking into a resplendent uh, kind of master bath. Uh, an enormous bathtub dominates the center of the room, in sort of a, a carved alcove uh, that seems to be full of red liquid akin to blood. Uh, there are two large red curtains on the south side of the room, uh, seeming to hide uh, some some other part of the of the chamber. Uh, you can hear the sound of rain coming from that direction. Uh, both the kind of pitter patter and the the louder, like, actually touching side. Uh, and there are large double doors on the north side of the room. Is the temperature any different in here than it was in the previous room? It's pleasant and warm in here. Okay. All right, Winley will report all of that to the party, say there's, you know, something behind some curtains and some more doors to the north. I'll look through this door up here, then. Okay. Poking your head into that room, you get a picture. Very exciting. Picture. Yeah, let's go in here, you guys. <laughs> uh, this room is a very large uh, study. Uh, there's an enormous uh, fireplace oh, no. uh, dominating the east side of the room, along with several, uh, again, kind of, kind of comfortable chairs uh, and lounge chairs, uh, a big table in the center, thousands of books oh, uh, adorned just... bookshelves in this <laughs> chamber. Um, and notably, there is an enormous portrait over the fireplace uh, that bears a incredibly striking resemblance to Arena. God, has nobody in Barovia ever like seen a hot girl before? Everyone's <laughs> obsessed with this lady. Uh, I, I will step back out pretty much immediately and motion over to Doc, who I, I think... <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. We're totally out of order here, so I'm sorry. I think it's Ash's turn. Talk, there's nothing in there! <laughs> Ash, Ash is cramming a bunch of good berries at the moment, technically. <laughs> <laughs> well, then, uh, then... Good berries, can I look through the doors just for mapping purposes? Sure. It takes all your concentration to choke down ten days' worth of sustenance. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll... Yeah, then I'll just kind of indicate to Doc what I saw in there and just... I'd love to search this room. Nerd shit. Uh, and, you know, if you want to check out some of these books. Sure. Okay. Uh, when they make a perception check. Sure. Somebody, see, one has a easy resurrection. Oof. <laughs> Not good. Uh, you still still hear it. You hear a very faint... <clears throat> coming from the bathtub. Oh, God, it's a bubble. Something's in the bathtub. Well, yeah. he doesn't love that. You have to look in, Winley. It's look, a horror if you pull movie. another combat encounter before I have a chance to examine the library, Doc is going to be very <laughs> grumpy look, about it. it seems like a short rest is in order in the library for Doc to... Is, is Anyways. the water, like, moving at all? Any indication that, like, something is or was recently in it? Or is it just bubbling? There's a t- well, there, there's just a single... And the tiny ripple on the surface. Just... And he immediately leaves. <laughs> and quickly says to the rest of the party... Creepy bathtub full of what I think is blood. It's bubbling. Yeah, I'm sure closing the door will do the trick. <laughs> but you never know, man. Oh, well. Okay, <laughs> fair play. <laughs> Winley would also like to cast Detect Magic again. Okay. Since we're now near the treasury and we assume it's something magical. Did uh, Winley's vibrating dagger, did she do anything with that? Or did she just leave it alone? She just looked at it like, the fuck, and then put it away. Okay. It's probably fine. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I talk to it all the time, so it's just weird that it was talking back. It's a one-sided thing. Yeah, usually. Look, I'm used to this being a one-sided conversation, and I'm going to need you to chill the fuck out if you're talking <laughs> yeah. back. Um, so, uh, Winley will ask the party, do we want to deal with whatever's in there, or do we want to check out this library first? Library, li- books, books, books. Do you want to be books, reading books. in the middle of a good book when the yes. bloodbath monster <laughs> I'm going to die, I'm going to die doing what I love. All right, Winley's totally cool. Things. Do both. <laughs> um, I, we're kind of not in order anymore, but Winley would like to head to the library when okay. she leaves the 
death bathroom. Okay. Is everybody going into the library? Yes. Uh, can Harmony... Uh, could Harmony step into the room when Winley opened the door? Was she able to get through? Mm -hmm. Okay. If she, like, stays in here when the rest of the party moves to the library, does she feel the pull again? Of yes. The void? Okay. Then, uh, never mind. Harmony was willing to go poke around in the blood bath, but, uh, uh, is not willing to risk returning to the devouring void. Uh, so which one's the library? Sorry. The oh, I mean, is. if Harmony says that she wants to do that, Hello there, the DM here. We briefly lost the last 60 seconds or so of the last recording session, uh, and so to bridge the gap, uh, Harmony's ghost went to check out the blood-filled bathtub. As she approached, someone suddenly emerged from the uh, beneath the surface, and that is where we pick up. All right, uh, Mina, you see uh, the shape of what appears to be a woman covered in blood sitting up out of the bathtub, uh, and kind of the sound of a, a loud gasp uh, is coming from the bathtub. Well, hang on. So I thought that I was... My understanding is that I was just hanging out out here just to give Harmony the, like... Line of sight. Uh, yep. Reach to, to go scope well, it out in there. Am I... Were yeah. you peeking through the door? Yeah, I mean... I, but looking, I didn't think that I was because I thought I just, like, opened it to let you slip through. That was my... That was understanding. my understanding as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I think then you... I mean, you can hear a, a loud splash in the next room. Okay. Uh, I will continue to await Harmony's, oh. uh, return, I guess. Okay. Uh, Harmony, um, as described. Okay, uh... I'm sorry, not to step on your turn, but are we in, like, combat order? Because if, if so, then already, in, I guess already in action to shoot something if it, it comes through the door, but otherwise nope. that's me. Nope. Also, Doc, you're not in the initiative. Oh, yeah, I didn't have my thing selected uh, when I rolled it. Am I capable Should I just of... Roll it again? Oh, he did get a nat 20. Yeah, I was hoping to let it ride. But uh, so, <clears throat> obviously, can I make yeah, anything I out about this person that, uh, you know, I know she's probably covered in blood. Mm -hmm. Um, In terms of, like, her her demeanor or... I mean, seem, seems, uh, based on your immediate impression, two things. One, she, <laughs> she, like everybody else in this place, doesn't seem to see you or right. uh, acknowledge your presence. Uh, but two, she it was, it was clearly some version of alive as she was uh, apparently maybe hiding or otherwise holding her breath under the surface of the blood uh, as she is kind of ta taking a couple of deep, deep okay. gasping breaths at the moment. But she does not like, well, I guess there wouldn't be any reason to, uh, uh... okay. So she, so from what I can tell, she didn't pop out of the bath in reaction to me. She sure. just ran out of breath. Uh, that would be your best guess. Okay. Vampires need to breathe. Well, he just said she's alive because oh, she's gasping. Right. Oh. So uh, can Harmony her. will retreat to the door and kind of call out uh, Mina. Um, you might want to come in here, but I don't think it's dangerous. Fingers crossed. As you are saying that, you can hear her getting out of the bathtub behind you. Okay. Uh, I'll turn around to kind of see, like... <clears throat> kind of watch her and see, like, what she's, like, doing. Uh, in, in your immediate impression, see, she seems to be, like, getting the blood off of her face and, and kind of, like, shaking the, the looser bits off. Okay. Uh, uh, Winley. Any resemblance to Mad Mary? No. Okay. <laughs> it's like, is it Gertrude? <laughs> is it Gertrude? <laughs> um, I'm just going to investigate this room, look for any magically things. Okay, make an investigation check. I sure will. Can I give myself um, some guidance on that? Sure. We like guidance. I'm definitely gonna do that. I was gonna say, do you want to give me a uh, well, eleven? Giving me a help action probably would have better. <laughs> you can have a help action on your turn if I can do that. Oh, or no, I guess nah, yeah, turn. I don't have to. Um, on my turn, your search of the room, even with the with the power of magic behind you, really just leads you to sort of peruse the bookshelves. Um, there are an enormous number of titles here, everything from theology to history to magic. Um, this is an extensive collection, but nothing glowing. Nothing is glowing. Okay. Um, are these windows or doors on the north side? Those are doors. All right. I will walk over to this door. And Your search is probably the, the thing. Yeah, exactly. The and then I'm going to walk over to that door. <coughs> okay. Doc. Excuse me. Uh, I am going to do the same. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Doc, you are 
yeah. on it. Kid in the candy shop. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. M- many many books here, and you you feel like you've walked into an actual like city's library. That's how extensive this collection oh, damn. is. Okay. Um, walking around the room though, your attention is sort of caught by the fireplace. You, I mean, it's it's huge. It's literally twenty feet wide. Uh, an enormous roaring crackling fire. But you notice that there's sort of a pattern in the smoke. There's sort of a rectangle in the smoke uh, emanating kind of around the center of the fireplace as if uh, there's sort of lines of air pushing the smoke slightly. Okay, but no obvious... So... Okay. But not magic. Because I'd have noticed that. No, it's mechanical. Yeah. Um, I assume investigating that'll be... (laughs) Yeah, I assume investigating that'll be my next turn. Okay. Um, all right, Josh. Or Josh, wow. Well, Ash. <laughs> Josh. Um, Ash is kind of torn because, you know, a couple of her friends are up in the room above and we're sitting here with Harmony. Um, and I don't like us getting split. I know that the group up top isn't in any immediate danger, though. Uh, at least I hope they haven't screamed. So I'm, I'm just kind of stick, sticking here. Um, I'm just being on guard, being ready if anything, like, comes through all, either of these doors. Um, but I do kind of whisper, you know, to Mina and hopefully to Harmony, if Harmony's close enough to hear through the door, that maybe we should uh, uh, leave this door for now and then join the others in the other room. Uh, and that's it. And then you probably hear Harmony go, Mina. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Mina. Okay, and Harmony said to come into this room, correct? Right, but she didn't sound... She said... I mean, she then kind of amended to be like, but it's not, like, dangerous, I don't think. Right. Possibly. Um, not vampiric. No, I have to say to go to the other room. Well, I've, I've nice seen the other room, room so <laughs> if Harvey's, you know, saying that, that could use a little bit of Mina in here, then Mina will oblige. Uh, and I'm gonna slip through this door. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, you see a woman uh, kind, of, kind of presently kind of, you know, trying to slick literal blood off of her. Um, the, she is wearing what looks to be sort of a trench coat of, of sorts, uh, has kind of heavier heavier garments on, long long hair that is currently matted down with all of the blood. Uh, notably, she does have a axe hanging from a belt uh, and a sword and, a, and sort of a scabbard and sling uh, across her back. Uh, and you quickly realize that she also has uh, some sort of prosthetic or wooden leg. Uh, and though this picture is not, uh, not you know, blood-toned appropriately, this is what she looks like. Gotcha. Is her okay. name Esmeralda by chance? Uh, you know, that picture is <laughs> handy in telling you that fact, isn't it? Wow, she's going to be I, really shocked when we just know that. Is it possible for me to make a stealth check to try to enter, like, without her noticing? Sure. Okay. Just didn't even know if that, didn't know if that was even a, a possibility. But if, if so, then I'd like to try. Here's a stealth check. Okay, well, pretty average. Yeah, um, does she seem to notice me? Let's find out. She does not. Okay. Um, then I would like to... What's going on right here? Uh, that is a heavy uh, like satin curtain. Love it. Okay, I'd like to kind of sidestep over here. Oops, sorry, I'm staying on top of Harmony, I think. Yep. Well, um, I'm a ghost, so don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to squeeze into that spot with you for just a second. Uh, and uh, can I just quickly look behind the mm-hmm. curtain? Yep. Pay no attention. Yeah. Uh, looking behind <laughs> the curtain, the range. this is clearly a sort of uh, extended closet. There are a number of gowns, cloaks, robes, uh, and various forms of attire hanging on hooks on the walls. On the south side of the room there, there is a window. Uh, it is currently shut, although there's a huge amount of rain uh, pattering up against the window. Uh, and you can vaguely make out the shape of a walkway outside. Okay, well, I know I'm, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll stop my turn here, but I, I uh, have a little bit of movement left, so I'd like to uh, just, like, slip around the corner here, sure. just not knowing which way she's going to go sure. now that she's out of the bath. Uh, and then Sunny is just going to stay up there and just kind of quietly looks at Ash to see what Ash does. And okay. then that's me. All right, Harmony. Uh, okay, so as a, as a player, I'm making some connections here, obviously, but I have meta-knowledge. Uh, as a ghost... Uh, Harmony's going to kind of float closer to her. Uh, I'll move 15 feet. So can I? Can Harmony make some deductions here? Does this woman look Vistani? Uh, and really difficult to tell with all of right, the Right, all the blood. blood. But like her armaments, anything like... 
Armament's not even that clear. The stun okay. tend to be a little bit ragtag in their their weapon range. Right, that's true. Okay, so there's nothing the harmony can like clock to like be like ah yes. Make an intelligence check. Sure. <laughs> Great at those. The bards are famously good at intelligence checks. Yes, extremely smart. Very uh, clever. <laughs> <laughs> intelligence. Uh, you're not you're not able to make that connection. Okay. No. So as a player, I'm making the connection of like, uh, we were told a woman, um, we, the 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 burgomaster told us a woman. Uh, I don't know if he said Vistani or if he just said a woman headed Ooh. up to Castle Ravenloft to make trouble and asked us to stop. Mm -hmm. uh, we found uh, the note on her wa her exploding okay. wagon that said. Uh, she said, she told Van Richten, I've gone off to, I don't remember exactly what she said she had gone off to do, but, mm -hmm. uh, she said she was going away for some time and said the name was Esmeralda. Did the Burgomaster give us the name Esmeralda? No. Okay. So Harmony can't clock this. Obviously, I have the meta knowledge. Yep. Harmony's not sure? <laughs> no, not, not, not entirely clear. Okay. Uh, well, Harmony, given that, uh, Esmeralda here is not... Um, appears to be unaware of her, is going to stick close to her. And is, in fact, actually going to float... Uh, let's see, I had 15 feet of movement there. Homie's going to actually float past her over here, just kind of check out what's going on. Just to, you know, be able to keep an eye on her if she, like, makes any sudden moves. Sure. You will, uh, notably, you are feeling a little fuzzy over Oh, right. Sure. Okay. Well, then, if she starts to feel fuzzy, she'll probably stop, like, here. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm like, like, you can just, like, feel the, ed okay. the okay. edge okay. of your ability to, right. to move around right. there. So. Got it. Wait, wait. Um, I just want to listen outside of these doors. I might, okay, I might have uh, pointed out the fireplace fireplace thing. <clears throat> I'm going to listen outside of this one door <laughs> and then go back out the fireplace. <laughs> okay. uh, make a perception check. Yep. With some guidance. Winley rolls her eyes. <laughs> 16. Oh, yeah, I know operational security and <laughs> making sure no one can sneak nope. up. Sorry. So uh, outside of this door, you don't hear anything. Okay, cool. And then I'll walk over and uh, are you going to investigate it on your turn? Do you yeah, probably if I could. Okay. Yeah. But... And then I'll I'll help him. With that. Looks like a fireplace. Okay. So is that a, is it a perception check on the fireplace it's itself then? Or... Yes. Okay. Uh, you can, kind of examining the pattern of the smoke, you can see the very faint cracks uh, of a door behind the fire. Okay. Um, it is clearly worked into the stone fairly well, but there's some sort of passage hidden there. Okay, is the fireplace... It's a real fire, It's yes. a real fire. Okay. <laughs> well, better, fi better stick your hand in it. No, down. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> okay, but no obvious mechanism for opening said door or anything like that? No. This is the Skyrim exit to something else. Maybe. Ash. Um, well, so now I'm very torn because I know that there's a creepy lady in here because Harmony reported such. That's safe-ish, and my friend disappeared in there, but we also have half the party up here, so... To be fair, we also haven't indicated that we in any way need help or that we found anything. It's true i just don't like the fact that we're splitting and i don't want to leave my party behind my people behind to go and tell you guys so i'm just gonna stay here i'm gonna i'm gonna delay my action i think and tell um let's see who's i'm gonna delay my action until after uh uh uh, me, uh mina um not really something you can do because you're at the bottom of the order yeah, I got, okay. Um, then I guess I'll just hold ready in action to fight anything that comes through the door, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Mina. Okay. Um, so you said this is kind of like a closet. There's lots of I mean, various things in there. Cl clearly an enormous closet. Again, the number of clo cloaks, robes, gowns, and other, other forms of attire hanging on the hooks. Okay. Um... Just gonna peek around this corner. Uh, I'd like to investigate, I guess, while I'm in here, see if I find anything valuable or anything um, that seems unique or of note or that might tell me more about who this person is. Sure. Can I do that? Go ahead. All right. Because mm, I'm very good at investigate. Well, that I keep getting myself into these situations. Uh, well, it's something. Okay. <laughs> 
Um, I mean, you, you see clothing that looks similar to what you've seen Strahd wearing. You also see women's clothing here. There's a, a fairly large variety. Okay. Um, but nothing nothing that seems particularly valuable or anything like that? No, not unless you want to wear the finery of a count. <laughs> Uh, well, unfortunate that Harmony's not around. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I might, I might grab a if there's a nice ascot or something sitting there, I might snag it. But no, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, that's probably me because I'm, I'm trying to do all that slowly and carefully, so I'm still stealthy while I'm doing it. Uh, obviously, if I see her walk in, just let me know because Mina will probably want to, you know, do something. But yeah, that's my turn. I mean, it's only been about 20 seconds or so, so she's still quite in, quite in, in the process of getting herself cleaned off. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, and I asked in the chat, but does she not have a turn in the initiative? Is she still just cleaning herself off? Yep. Okay. Uh, well, given that this is the edge of my... Is there... There's no, like, window. There's no windows here. What's in this corner? Or can I not see? Is it void? Uh, in the corner where you are right now. Yeah, and There's yeah. The, a curtain that presumably leads back into the same large closet room that Mina's in. I see. Okay. Uh, and then up here, are these doors or windows? Doors. Okay. Uh, well, I will move up, assuming it doesn't push my, uh, can I get up there with my... You are absolutely at the limit of your okay. ability to move. So, with my, my previous experiences with this void thing or the limits i can't see or hear anything past nope. okay. nothing exists past so then that point there's too. no point to doing a perception check because i'm at the limit okay and i am just gonna stick to esmeralda here i'm gonna kind of float close to her can i do another in- no nah, i already did it i was gonna ask if i could do another check to see if harmony can figure out what i figured out uh, about her getting close can i i don't know is there anything no, I can- your, your intelligence check is not magically getting better okay <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, no, sorry. I'm sorry. Winley. Um, noticing this door, uh, Winley will kind of turn to Doc and, and ask what we want to do about it. Um, I mean, that's a really big fire. I do have Tidal Wave as a spell I took, that, so I could put the fire like out over with a third fire. level spell. Please, please <laughs> that's what I've got. <laughs> what was that, Tom? I'm just saying there's mundane means to put out fire. Like, yeah, I know, well, like, that's just the first thing that comes to Winley's mind is like, water? We could do that. <laughs> um... Or, okay, fine, yeah, we could probably put it out without using a third-level spell slot. (laughs) Um, Is there, like, a thick, heavy blanket or something around that we could start, like, Like, putting the fire out with? Does it have a mechanism for dousing the fire? Yeah. No, I mean, there's not, like, a heavy blanket or something. Uh, Honestly, this room is quite flammable when you look at it. A lot lot of books, a lot of furniture. Yeah. (laughs) Um, All right, well, looking now for something to set... set this fire out with that makes fucking sense <laughs> to put this fire out with uh winley will let's, let's do the other rooms, go back yeah go back into this hallway here <clears throat> to kind of join up with the rest of the party and see what they want to do or if anyone has just a large quantity of water that's not a third level spell okay doc um okay so we're meeting up with the party because doc will totally just live in this room forever yeah i mean winley winley will have said to doc huh we need to find something to put that out with let's go see if i would assume that one of the rooms elsewhere one of these other rooms would have something yeah i just didn't want to get too far away from the party yeah okay fine well doc is in his happy place so the uh he's he's actually just gonna fully stay here and continue investigating i know i got a really good investigation last time but he's just even even if it mechanically doesn't do anything he's just gonna geek out until given a reason to do otherwise okay uh seeing when we (laughs) come into the room i'll just kind of appraise her on the situation that uh uh, harmony says there's a person there she thinks she's safe we're not sure mina snuck in there um and hasn't kind of set in any alarm so i'm just kind of waiting for something to happen great Okay. I'll go in there on uh, my next turn, Winley totally says, um, if nothing happens until then. Okay. Uh, the woman appears to have gotten off as much blood as she intends to. Obviously still still quite damp, but uh, not necessarily dripping actively. Uh, she makes her way over to this door and seems to be giving a listen at it. Uh, okay. Sorry. And Mina. 
Okay. Um, well, not knowing... Could that. Harmony have call out, or is that, like... I mean, I don't know if I could have readied an action to, like... You did not, so no. That's true. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I'm still just naturally a bit curious about what she's doing, so I'll walk over to this curtain over here, because I assume that's the same curtain yep. type thing. Correct. All right, and I'll peek out there to see what she's up to. Okay. Hey, look, she's over at that door. Um, okay. Yes, she is. Um... If you're referring to Mina, Mina is being stealthy. I meant the woman, but... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, Um, both of you are. (laughs) Oh, is is she being stealthy as well? Yes. I mean, you can see, you can clearly see her across the room, but she's clearly approaching (laughs) approaching the door with some some level of caution. Gotcha. Uh, Alright, I think for now I'm going to continue moving stealthily, so I'll just go 5, 10, 15. I want to kind of get back here behind the the blood bath. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, and, uh, I mean, that's that's a couple of movements, so I'd like to look around the, the bath area quickly, but that's probably my whole turn. So, you know, Mina's just kind of crouched there waiting to see what the lady does. Sure. Uh, Mina, you do notice as you're kind of making that circuit that coming up to the bath, there were also wet boot prints leading up to the bath that are sort of now diluted with the blood that's clearly come out with her as she got out. Harmony. Okay, uh, Harmony is sort of frustratedly watching these two ladies creep around <laughs> this room without paying attention to each other, and will uh, just sort of um, say loudly in exasperation, uh, "She can't hear me, Mina, but somebody could should probably stop her from uh, jumping the rest of the party, <laughs> either from jumping them or from creeping off alone." Are you saying this loudly enough that we could hear it on the other side sure, of the Sure, Harmony's sort of <laughs> yelling. resigned to the fact that oh, for God's the sake. party's the only one that can hear her, so she's not feeling particularly necessary to be stealthy. Uh, or at the very least, she might blow our... Well, we don't really have cover. Anyways, uh, Harmony's gonna kind of, like, watch Mina sort of creep up to the tub musically, maybe, like, walk over to this door and just be like, could we please talk about this? <laughs> Those of you still tied to the mortal realm... <laughs> okay, Winley. Uh, Winley will go into the room. All right, is Winley being stealthy? Nah. Okay. It's not like really it's Winley stabbed still. by the vampire. So she's hunter. just gonna pop through and um, be like, "Oh yes, a woman. <clears throat> she must have been in that creepy bathtub because she wasn't in here when I came in here earlier." Gross. Um, and Winley will just greet her. It's like not being stealthy at all. Just like, hello. Okay. Uh, her response is violent and immediate, and she throws a hand axe at you. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured something like that would happen. Uh, you take nine damage. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, that's you go ahead and roll, roll her in at this point. Well, that went well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the, like, sort yeah. of the reaction that Winley expected, but at the same time, meh. Um... Yeah. I mean, at that point, Winley will say something, obviously. Where, where you, you are at least at the moment in combat, so. Uh, okay. Uh, Mina, you, you have the initiative. Oh, and we're just using, we're sticking with these numbers? Yep. Okay. Um, well, and she threw that axe immediately and as if she wanted it to just kill Winley. Like, was there any, like, she went absolutely for the throat right away? Uh, like. I mean, was was essentially startled by the the hello and just seems to re- mm. reflexively have hucked this axe at Winley, quite effectively. Okay, well, can't say that I probably wouldn't have done the same in this context, so I guess I don't hold that against her too much. Mina will stand up from hiding and step over here, and uh, with her crossbow leveled. Um, Say something along. Say uh, she'll say uh, it doesn't have to go this way. Let's talk. Okay. Uh, make a uh, persuasion check. Okay. Or intimidate your choice. <laughs> uh, it was more persuasion flavored. I have the same bonus, but uh, yeah, we'll say persuasion. Okay. So. Nah. Okay. Uh, harmony. Uh. 
Harmony will kind of wince apologetically as Winley <laughs> steps through the door at her urging and immediately catches an axe to the fine. Winley's fine. torso. She's fine. Uh, and we'll just... Um, she'll kind of step through here and just kind of say to... Uh, uh, Do- well, Doc's in the library. Doc's she'll say library. to Ash, um, woman in there definitely has her hackles up, but... Uh, Hopefully, she's not, she doesn't appear to be one of Strahd's, so we should try to resolve this peacefully. Winley's probably oh. under her breath so much for not dangerous. <laughs> okay. Anything else, Harmony? Um, I will ready an action to call for Doc if it sounds like things are I mean, I heard, I assume Doc heard something like, hey, what? <laughs> well, I don't know if Winley yelled the hello, so. I mean, for, to, to the rules of, of HP and realism, it's probably more like the axe just went right past your face. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, she draws uh, a short sword um, and kind of hold, holds it out kind of in a defensive posture and kind of uh, watches Mina as, as Mina kind of comes out from the, the bathtub. Who are you? Oh, that's a Who is she talking accent. to? I mean, she's just speaking to both of you, presumably. I don't really want to get there, don't <laughs> you? Uh, Winley will say, my name is Winley. Uh, this is my companion, Mina. Our other friends are in the other room. Just being, like, very open. Um, <laughs> uh, we, we were brought here by the master of this godforsaken place. Um you know, one of our friends has died, and we have reason to believe that there's something here that can bring her back. What are you doing here? And who are you? Okay. Doc, uh, you, you've heard sort of a, a loud metallic yep. something hitting. Something hitting okay, clang, clang, fine. Clang. I'll stop being a nerd about it. And... <laughs> no, you won't. In my mind, Doc, like, will... thinks about it real hard. Like, mm, fine. <laughs> Uh, and it's that's the the bottom left door in the great hall here, yeah, right? Yeah, this one. Yep. 35, 50. So double move, and I'm more or less here at this point. Okay, Ash. Um, yeah, at this point I'm going to step into the room, and I'm going to make a persuasion check saying, um, as long as you mean us no harm, we mean you no harm. Uh, we're simply here trying to find out more about the curse and to help our friend. And that is a persuasion. Might have on the way by. I already did an action, but hey, your leg looks really cool. <laughs> oh, she's gonna kill you for that. Gonna... <laughs> oh, oh, I'm getting that leg. <laughs> uh, Mina. Mina. Oh, sorry. Um, <clears throat> so, did that uh do I notice any response to Ash's attempts to persuade, or will that have to wait? Happen on her turn, I suppose. That, that, that'll happen on her turn. Okay, well, she just drew her sword and didn't come charging toward us on her last turn, so I'm gonna kind of assume that we're heading in the right direction here. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, I don't want to, like, make another check and, and screw up that 20. So, yep, that's what I'm thinking. Thank you. I'm not ready in action. Uh, just to, I'll, I'm just going to shoot her if she attacks me or my comrades. Okay. That's my ready action. That's Har- Harmony. Uh, okay, so Harmony will sort of, like, spend a sec filling Doc in. Like, uh, there's a woman hiding in the bathtub, uh, well-armed. Cool leg. I mean, I can see her from where I'm at now. Oh, okay. So, I didn't know the door. Like I said, cool I might have actually gone, oh, that's okay. a cool leg. I yes. really want uh, to Harmony's going to kind of float back into the room, since that's where the action is. And um, let's just go. Yeah, she'll kind of float right up to the lady, kind of like... I mean, she can't interfere in any way, the woman. Mm. Not, but she's just kind of like observing her. Does the does the accent trigger anything to... You can make another intelligence check. Great. <laughs> this is gonna go great i have a it's a full-on just pure dice roll out of curiosity can harmony's dead self be affected by things such as guidance i know obviously you're not getting it right now but you haven't tried so okay mm. uh yes you you are now able to make the connection upon your okay voice. harmony will kind of like uh kind of float up to her and like observe her and then be like oh esmeralda uh harmony will like uh 
I mean, I don't know how much turn I have left, but like, uh, yeah, we'll yeah, kind of like blow you turn off? to the rest of the party. Like, uh, pretty sure this is the woman the burgomaster asked us to find. And uh, also, it turns to me to like the exploding wagon outside Van Richten's tower. Uh, Tommy's like making connections here. <laughs> here. <laughs> okay. Uh, she, she she seems to kind of, you know, still has the sword in her hand, but seems to sort of uh, relax at least a little bit of what Ash is saying um, and, and kind of is, is glancing back and forth between Ash, Winley, and, and Mina. Uh, still seems to be sort of weighing the option of, of potentially kind of darting through this door behind her, but um, it, it seem, seems comfortable with the, the present level of standoff um, and, and sort of lo- looks at Ash having having said the, the most or perhaps the most persuasive thing. Why would you come here, hmm? Well, because the devil invited us, and we felt like if we refused him, it would cause us more problems than actually coming. It's um, Winley's turn. <laughs> oh, I, but I thought she was talking directly to me, so I thought we were kind of breaking the order. Sorry. Um, after Harmony kind of clues us into who she is, uh, Winley will somewhat try to use that without being super creepy and being like, I know your name. Um, but she'll be like, I think we're here for somewhat of the same reasons um, and then she'll say the, uh, the burgomaster, what the hell is his name? Does that Baron. Mean? Whatever the fuck his name is, Winley would know, I Ruthless. don't remember. Um, uh, asked us to look for someone who might be you, um, and then we'll say, is your name Esmeralda? Okay. Uh, Doc. <laughs> Not carrying the slightest for the social, uh, social aspect of it, we'll go, Oh, are you the one that set that exploding wagon? That was so cool. What'd you use for that? Like, just basically trying to... <laughs> I, at best, he's looking to uh, bond on the basis of uh, explosive... Uh, <laughs> I'm imagining like, pull out a little notebook, like, ready to okay, take notes. Okay, what'd you do? What'd you do, though? So, <laughs> you do I get, so maybe pers- persuasion on that to try you to... if you want. Yeah, sure. What's the nerd out skill? Oh, no. <laughs> it does not go well. Yeah, fair enough. I use this! <laughs> Ash. I answer a question. I basically say exactly what I did. Uh, um, the devil, Strahd, invited us here, and we felt like it would cause us more trouble if, he, if we refused. Um, and he gave us a way to potentially help um, our friend, although... Uh, so far, we have not had a good time in this castle. Okay. Mina. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to watch this conversation play out, so for the time being, I'll just keep my ready to action to shoot. Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll shift from her, because it feels like we're kind of circling towards peace with her. Uh, my ready to action is if anything bursts into the room, I'm going to shoot it in the face. Okay. Harmony. Similar to what she did to me. Uh, when I burst into the room. <laughs> yes, exactly, exactly. Harmony will uh, kind of be well. Okay, now that Harmony's able to um, uh, move her range a little further, she'll make a perception check at this door since she's actually imparted somewhat useful information to the party. Okay. Uh, oh no, uh, she's probably distracted. She hears nothing. Right, and. Uh, Char- Harmony spends uh, a moment, like, thinking, like, uh, she'll kind of turn to the party and say, did anyone happen to bring the note that was, uh, I kind of assumed all notes and papers and shit that we've collected are in the back holding. We could find that to just to prove we're, like, on the level here. Unless the note was on Harmony's person. Well, you didn't, we, I assumed you cleaned out, I don't, like, I, useful I, possessions. Willie didn't, Willie didn't do anything with Harmony's stuff. Bag, I, yeah. okay. I bet it's in there somewhere. Harmony okay. had it. She might have put it in her bag. I bet she put it in her bag. Yeah, because okay. we took the gold off her person and stuff. Yeah, and I know back. somebody went through her stuff, but I don't know. Aside from two copper for gentle repose, them? of course. Okay. Uh, well, with with hearing nothing on the other side of the door, she seems to finally relax and kind of lo- lowers the sword. But it seems we have found ourselves in a very dangerous place together, no? Uh, we, and we can we can leave initiative for the remainder of the con- okay. conversation. Uh, Winley will kind of dig through the bag of holding and see if she can find the note. Okay. Um, and then I say it looks I'll, like Ash said that Doc it. has the axe. He got to crawl in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I say if if you'll give me the axe, I'll take the note and the axe to her. 
Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of walked by that general area, so if you want to say that I grabbed it on yeah. the way by and just kind of offer it to you hilt first cool. or whatever. I'll, <laughs> I'll grab the axe, and if I can find the note in the bag of holding, take it as well. And, and you know, kind of hands up, be like, I think you probably want this back, and give her the axe, and then say, and here, as, as well, We I believe this is your note. Okay. Uh, she takes uh, takes the axe from you and kind of ex- examines the note and gives a bit of a smile. Ah, so you found the, found my wagon. Still in one piece, I hope. Um, Harmony. And then we'll kind of <laughs> chuckle. Well, I mean, not so much. Sorry, you said that it exploded, so. Yeah, uh, she 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 kind of nerves her eyes. What did you do? <laughs> <laughs> Harmony will uh, kind of remember back to being alive and feeling pain. Well, she still feels pain. I'm just be like, I suppose you could say our curiosity got the better of us. Yeah, Winley will at right. this point also say, by the way, our friend who's died is right there. <laughs> and just kind of like motion. Be like, I know you can't see or hear her, but if we're talking to what appears to be nothing or nobody, we're not all crazy. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm sorry to uh, uh, interrupt here, but just before we get too cozy, uh, what were you doing in the bath of blood? I just come in through the window when I heard the commotion in the next room. I thought perhaps some of uh, the vampires were coming, so I tried to hide. There's a closet, like, right there. Why did you default <laughs> to the bathtub of blood? <laughs> So when you got in, when you came in here, there was just a bath of a bathtub full of blood sitting here. Not the first I've seen, but yes. <laughs> Not the first. What <laughs> the <laughs> fuck, man? <laughs> when they will at this. Find, uh, oh, sorry, it, go ahead. It, it, for for it to be anywhere, it makes sense for it to be here. I mean, uh, yeah, here but. <laughs> uh, Winley will ask her, "Is this?" Did you just get to the castle? Do you know, you know, anything else about this level of the castle or, or what is contained here? She shakes her head. I've, I've been here for two days uh, trying to make my way around. Suffice to say, this place is a maze, perhaps the, the greatest I've ever encountered in the lair of an elder vampire. Um, Winley will kind of tell her, we talked to a vampire who was surprisingly amicable and friendly towards us. Um, and he said that both the treasury and a girl that we are looking for would be on this level. Um, so we're, we're obviously exploring this level. We did also find there's a, a secret door and she's kind of now, uh, addressing the entire group, a secret door behind the fireplace in the, the library. Um, worth checking out, I think. She kind of smirks at the friendly vampire thing uh, in sort of a disdainful I way. He, I think he was just too well, bored. To, I think he was just too bored to be evil at yeah, that at I the think, moment. Without him. It, when we say friendly, I think he's just like he wanted us to be able to end the curse. I don't think he wants to be a vampire anymore. I don't think he wants to be dead either. But I think he's tired of this existence. That he's he didn't in. immediately try to eat us, is what Winley was getting at. That's I mean, that's I was just saying. Yeah, like, surprisingly amicable. Harmony <laughs> shudders. <laughs> um, through, the, through the fireplace, which was on the uh, Mina Taps or, or innate sense of direction, the, the east side of the room, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and the, vi- the vampire uh, <coughs> might find what we were looking for on the eastern reaches of this level. Yep. Um, I'll look over to um, Esmeralda and I'll be like, so if if you're amenable to it, uh, traveling in numbers would probably be a good idea. You're welcome to come with us if you'd like. Uh, she seems to consider that offer. Make a persuasion check. Alright, then. Okay. Nice. Wow. Um, she, she gives a bit of thought and then nods. At least for now, it seems we are strange bedfellows, but uh, on the same side, nonetheless. I don't think she said. Uh, I, she just okay. said she was going, I mean, in the note, if I remember. Sorry to interrupt, Dan. I was re- answer, it was Wendley's, because I was thinking about the same thing. Yeah. I believe the note she just said she was going to deal with it, okay. or deal with him, or uh, something like Wendley that. will ask her, if we're going to travel together, we should probably know... What are you looking for or trying to accomplish so we can help each other as much as possible? She uh, she kind of contemplates that for a moment for what, uh, with what they said and then uh, seems to decide that she can share uh, more. Well, I came here to find the coffin of the beast. 
Uh, after all, you can't kill one unless you've managed to find where it sleeps. Unfortunately, I have not had uh, much success with this. I've searched <laughs> most of the towers, uh, but I have found no evidence of such. Uh, Windley will also, um, now that we've learned a little bit, a little bit more about killing vampires, um, ask her if she has the means to kill a vampire once she finds its coffin. And if not, when they will offer her one of the stakes that she has. She shakes her head and kind of uh, li- lifts up the, the coat a little bit and has uh, Is it three, just three like separate nothing? stakes in there. <laughs> uh, Excellent. Harmony will sort of like <laughs> yeah, the old man tap on her that. ghostly chin and just say something like, um, didn't Van Richten's tower have a map of the ca- what we thought was the castle and it had Beautiful often light. spots indicated? Winley will. <laughs> can, I, can I do an intelligence like, check? Didn't Doc, 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 Doc take a sketch? Or oh something? yeah, I did take yeah, sketches we, of that. I say, yes, yeah. there was. I, say, I took a sketch of the Doc go leaping through your... constellations, but uh, Winley will play medium and, and ask, um, or, or say Well, Doc will literally pull out a sketch of the, yeah. of the beautiful mind board, and if yeah. it has the coffin locations and stuff, we'll like, hmm? does this look about right? Like, based on... Yes, because I drew it. <laughs> oh, well. This was simply my best guesses of where it might be. Oh, okay, that was an actual scout. Hard, hard to reach, difficult places to find. Uh, again, as I said, and as I'm sure as you've seen, this place is a maze. Uh, it took me a full day just to reach the top of each tower. Did we ask the other vampire where Strahd sleeps? Why do I feel like that's a thing that we should have done if we didn't? We probably well, didn't. didn't. We didn't want to push our luck and <laughs> yeah, piss that's him off. Fair. All right, uh, well, Winley will say, well, uh, should we go through the fire door we you know we have reason to believe like mina said that what we're looking for is east mina's on our way there already okay yep <laughs> and winley will head that way after saying that if we want to find what Strahd doesn't want to be found secret passages are a good place to check i mean to be fair he basically welcomed us to take what we need so well he said take what you need not what you want so i think well, if we find other swag he might get might take it personally if we leave yeah. with it at least I felt like that was the implication. Yeah. yeah. Well, coming back to the uh, the study here, for those of you who have not been in here uh, before, it is a very, very large, grandiose room uh, full of bookshelves uh, with literally thousands of tomes on them, several comfortable uh, sort of chase lounge chairs, a large table in the center, and a couple of recliners in front of an enormous fireplace. We got to put this bitch out. Oh, and we will we'll return to the, uh, to the order here, so Mina. Well, okay, so... I mean, just looking at the fire more closely now, I'm assuming now that somebody, has somebody pointed out, like, that's where the secret door is back there or something like that? Yeah, Winley said it was behind the fireplace in this room, so. Okay. So, I mean, just looking at the the way the fire actually kind of fills the space in there and, and how big it is. Uh, it, does Mina think, is there any way she could jump and move quickly around it and without, like, just, you know, obviously killing herself? Uh, or would that be, you know, just total suicide? What's that look like? It, it would look, it looks like total suicide. The entire uh, space in here is, is literally filled with, uh, you know, lumber and, and fires pretty much filling that entire space. And just for my, as a player knowledge, are these 10 foot squares? Because you said the, the no, fire fine. was 12. They're five. Okay, so the opening is ten foot, and then it extends an additional five feet. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't have any means. Harmony's suggestion of dumping blood all over this thing is honestly the best reason, best real uh, answer that's, you know, in my toolkit right now, because I don't have any way to, to create a massive amount of water. So uh, I guess... Mina will convey that and, you know, with probably a, a twinge of frustration because I really want to see what's behind that secret door. Uh, but then she'll just kind of quickly run over here. I think you listened at all these doors, uh, Winley. Maybe. I, I only listened to what, the one on the far west. Okay, well, I'll, I'll just quickly listen at this yeah. door uh, and then I'll, I'll pass. Can I make a perception there? You sure can. Sweet. 21. All right. Uh, you hear what sounds just like uh, maybe a breeze or something. It's not outside, uh, but clearly there's some some large space or significant airflow coming through from beyond. Okay, then I'll just watch to see what you know what the other party members think of this uh, fire situation. Okay. Uh, Harmony. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm just sort Fetching of coffee. trailing 
be on the party. I mean, uh, I'm sort of happy to just hang out and. Sorry, I'll get there in a second. Armory, uh, do you need help? Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I got you. Walk back there. So no. look at the door. Uh, Unless the fire hurts you. I doubt it, but I can go check it out. Go stand on the fire. Let's do science. Yeah, so sure. Up. I love science. Uh, we are up here, right? No. Okay, yeah, Harmony is happy to put her incorporeality to good use and stand in the fire. Does anything happen? Uh, yes, you feel burned alive for a moment. Jesus and... Christ! <laughs> Harmony, will... <laughs> uh, Harmony will instant... Well, okay. You poof back into existence about ten feet away from the fire. Uh, Harmony... <laughs> you were lit on fire for a uh, moment. Harmony, um kind of probably pops, probably screams and pops back into existence, still screaming. And is like, uh, kind of just, she probably, I mean, to be honest, can't real, she probably can't gasp anything out more than it hurts. <laughs> uh, and will kind of like just recoil and kind of curl up and like, uh, tend to her psychological wounds. And I guess actual wounds. Oh. So that'll be her turn. Okay. Um, Esmeralda will look at the, uh, the fire for a moment, uh, and kind of, kind of examine it and kind of looks, looks at the place where you've probably indicated there's, you know, the, the secret passage. Um, we'll sort of give a, a bit of a moment of, co of contemplation and then we'll, uh, kind of cast a, uh, cast a spell and literally a gust of wind, uh, just kind of flashes through the, the fireplace and the fire is now just embers. Oh, well, fine. Do that boring way. <laughs> see? No. Winley. Hope that was uh, not higher than the third level spell. <laughs> um, Winley will go up to the door okay. and have a listen. Okay. With some guidance. Damn, I can't roll for shit today. You 11, hear, I hear nothing. You hear nothing on the other side. Doc. Um, as I said in the chat there, just once we're back in the library, like if a bunch of other people are already clearly addressing the fireplace issue, just... Just th thumbing through books, and like I said, he it will require direct intervention from someone to break him out of it. <laughs> okay. Ash. I will also go and take a listen at said door. Okay. Doo -doo. Okay. Uh, you hear nothing from beyond. I try and open it. Okay. Uh, just giving a push on the stones. The stones are uh, are very hot to the touch, given that they've just been in, in you know next week fire. Uh, but that said, you know, with, with your kind of mailed gauntlets on and whatnot, you're able to just sort of push push the wall back. Uh, it slips back about an inch or so, and then seems to be on some something kind of roll it side to side. Uh, and pushing it to the side, you are able to see a small chamber. Uh, this small chamber is about 10 feet deep and about 20 feet wide. Uh, this room is also sort of uh, filled with smoke from the fireplace. Apparently some of the, that air pressure was, was leaking through. Uh, but you find that this room has a uh, chest uh, in, the, in the southern side. Uh, mm -hmm. along with a uh, number of kind of piles of gold, silver, and copper coins. Uh, the fittings and clawed feet on the chest are evidence of great worksmanship. Uh, attached on the wall next to you, there are two torch sconces. Uh, one holds a torch with an intricate metal base, and the other one is empty. Uh, notably, a skeleton in broken plate armor lies against the wall. Uh, the skeleton's right hand is on its throat, and its left hand holds the matching torch from the empty sconce. Well, we're putting that broken plate armor into the bag of holding. <laughs> yep. Um, I know it's not Winley's turn, but I'm about to take the puppy out. On Winley's turn, she will reiterate that Strahd said we should only take what we need. And I we need shouldn't take anything else. Armor. <laughs> we should avoid yeah. pissing him off and just look for ways to save Harmony. Slash. Mad Mary I did then say that we had many needs, and he didn't. He didn't have to test that. that. Okay. Well, Mina, yeah. it, it is your turn. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of far away there. I don't really feel like I'm just going to, like, sprint across the room just to be like, <laughs> gimme it. Uh, Sunny will run over there, mainly so I can just have, like, eyes over in that area. Uh, and Sunny will sniff around in there. Um, so can I throw a, a perception check for sniffing Sunny? Sure. Okay. Uh, I mean, Sun Sunny is obviously picking up the dead guy in here, um, yeah. but also notices that there is a set, uh, kind of a whiff of air passing through a, the, uh, cor the kind of the northeast corner. Uh, it's much similar to the fireplace. 
Okay. Well, uh, good to know. Uh, and Mina will just uh, pop over and just quickly listen at this door, and then that's enough for me, I'm sure. Here's a perception. No, I don't hear no. much. Yep, you hear nothing on the other side. Harmony. All right. Uh... Harmony will try not to take too personally the fact that she just burned alive as a ghost and nobody seemed to have even reacted in the slightest. Um, yeah, oh yeah, that sucks. I probably did a there there as I passed by. Yeah, just keep, keep it. <laughs> Go get your treasure. Uh, Harmony will, upon seeing the rest of the group pass through the embers, um, will... She's going to withdraw from the fire and uh, hmm, she's going to go up to this which door Winley has bo- have both doors been listened at we've checked the double door and we've checked that door okay. somebody's listened to every door at this point okay, okay. uh harmony is just gonna try to like kind of float over here away from the fire and keep kind of a listen out if she can and if she hears anything coming do you say anything about the ooh treasure chest or something like that uh no okay, okay fair enough uh, Esmeralda sort of watches your plumbing the depths of the Yon Fireplace secret passage uh, and just sort of sort of peers in after all of you. Uh, she she kind of gives a, a frown at the dead guy, um, but then otherwise uh, sort of leaves you to your devices. And yeah. uh, we then come to Winley, who is uh, going about what she was going about, so Doc. Okay, if I hear something about the fireplace and treasure, it's like, okay, fine, I'll go over and take a look, so. Ooh, fight mail. I was going to say, so I guess I'll do a perception ch- check around the chest to check for traps or what have you, since our uh, resident okay. B&E okay. specialist is unavailable at the moment. Okay. Uh, looking at the chest, uh, you get sort of an uneasy feeling about it. It's very well made, um, but some something is rubbing you the wrong way about the chest. Oh god, it's a mimic, isn't it? Do we see teeth? Yeah, teeth or a tongue or No, no you do not. Ash. Does it have a lot of little legs? No, nope, just the four four clawed feet. Ash, it is your turn. Alright, um uh, Doc, do you want me to try and open it? I mean, do we have like a six foot pole or something like that? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I also want to point out, uh, that we probably don't want to get a bunch of people in this room. Um, the skeleton might be a, a, uh, suggestion that it can't be opened from the inside, so it might seal itself if too many people go inside and we might be trapped. Um, but, Well, you said there was a, we said we saw another passage or something. Can we check that real quick? It was like, yeah, there's air coming up from over here. I'll go over there and investigate that. That's a good idea. Okay. Make an investigation check. Investigation? Okay. Uh, not good at domestication. Eh, not a bad roll, though. You can tell there's another door, uh, just like the one you came through uh, in this corner, heading to the uh, east. Can I try and push at it like I did with the fireplace? Go ahead and make a strength check. Sure thing. I'm fairly good at those. Uh, you are not able to open it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I uh, let Doc know that there is a passage here, and I'm kind of... Oh, yeah, you're asking me for a strength check, man. You've well, come to I'm the wrong place. I'm just it there, okay? <laughs> All right, Mina. Um, yeah, I don't really want to crowd into that little room. Um, but I also don't love just, like, sitting here doing nothing, so... I'm just gonna go over here and just, you know, while nobody's nobody's watching me and I'm just a curious little cat, so I'm gonna poke my head into that little door right there. Okay. Can I? Is it unlocked? Can I? It is unlocked. Okay. Uh, there is a stone passage leading up about 20 feet or so, and it seems to branch off to the right and to the left. Uh, the sound of wind seems to be coming from sort of a, a cross section there, coming from from east to west. Okay, I'll just kind of... That was uh, this door? Yeah. yeah. Uh, moving stealthily, I'll just <laughs> pop down to the intersection there, and I don't want to actually move into this space, but can I go there just to keep my head around the corner? Yep. All right, I'm just going to kind of look around the corner. Ash, okay. if you're not actually going there, don't move. I was trying to get the map. I'm mapping for people. I, I know, but if you're not going there, don't move. Oh, Okay. 
Right. Does this sound like anything, or does this look oh. like anything? Yes, it does. Uh, you are looking into an enormous uh, tower with a large winding staircase running around the sides of it. Uh, quite notably, as you are kind of looking, uh, looking up and down that space, uh, you can see that this tower goes up for hundreds of feet and descends uh, probably about 100 feet or so from here. Uh, this is not a perfect perspective, but this should give you an idea of what that looks like. Well, oh, that's a promising name. I should probably go up there by myself, right? Just Definitely. Definitely. Um, Great idea. <laughs> uh, okay, that, I'm sure that's uh, that's more than enough for me. I'll she'll uh, Mina will stay out in this hall, but I'll jog back over the door. All right, Harmony. Uh, Harmony still probably um, drawing, shuddering, gasping breaths from the sensation of being burned alive. Uh, is probably going to be, I mean, she'll kind of watch Mina a little warily, um, but she will mostly kind of focus her attention on Esmeralda, just kind of seeing what she's doing, uh, you know, kind of trying to size her up a little bit. She seems to be sort of letting the group uh, sort, of, sort of do the dirty work here. She's sort yeah, of watch, watching them go about this this room. She kind of, kind of is occasionally throwing a glance over her shoulder at the doors behind her. Uh, but seems sort of content to watch the group uh, go about what they're doing. Uh, and that is actually what she's doing on her turn, Lindley. Uh, looking into this room, is anything glowing magically? Uh, no, not in this room, except for the chest. Great. Uh, what have we tried on the chest? We haven't tried anything yet. We've been uh, kind of sizing it up. We might. Um, I suspect we'll probably... Um, oh, the, the thing I missed in our little whispered recap there was... Um, uh, Ash tried the other passage and got a kind of abysmal strength check there, as you can see, so we might want to... I, I, I suggest we probably want to open that before we do anything with the chest so we have an extra escape route if There's, one ends up being required. Where is there another passage? Uh, northeast corner. Okay. Uh, Winley will give that a shot. All right. Take, make strength check. Yeah, I'm not good at those. <sighs> give myself some guidance on this. Combined strength, maybe we can... Huzzah! Uh, it's not a... Not Fine. A doesn't That's matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, you're able to to push it aside, uh, and do it in doing so, uh, you open up a view into a very long, uh, dark room or, or chamber or passage here. Um, looking into it, uh, it runs about uh, 40 feet deep, 20 feet wide, uh, and is covered in cobwebs, uh, except very large, thick cobwebs, not like, you know, tiny, tiny oh, spider yeah. cobwebs. Oh. Uh, the ceiling also extends up probably a, a solid 30 or 40 feet uh, although you're, you know, with your light and, and dark vision and whatnot, already can see that there doesn't appear to be anything lurking up there. Are we uh, talking like shelob sized? Yeah. or like yep. great, great. Uh, there's a set of double doors on the far side of the room. All right, uh, I'll walk to the doors on the far side of the room, and that's probably my turn. Okay, Doc. Um, <laughs> I should check it out. Um, so you went into the big room, or yeah, I went to the end of the cobwebby room. Winley doesn't particularly mind spiders. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Druid and all. So is the, you said the uh, plate armor on the skeleton was kind of busted up. Like, is it recoverable to my it's eye? It's pretty or? busted, but make a uh, intelligence check. Remember when appraisal was a skill? That was before my time. Oof. Uh, it doesn't look recoverable to you, no. Damn it all hell. Okay. Take it anyway. <laughs> Winley will reiterate what we need only. <laughs> okay, so are we leaving the chest alone then? or? Cause, well, I we mean, don't know what's in the chest. What's in the chest could be something that could bring Harmony back, so we should at least open it and see what's in it. I don't think we should take any of the loose coins or gold or I anything. Say, I might... So does anyone have, like, a stick we can poke this thing with to potentially derail any traps that may pop up. I have up. that spear. Okay. Oh, um, by the way, what kind of magic was coming from the chest? Uh, enchantment. Winley will tell you that as well. Gotcha. Okay. Um, maybe, it, can I, I know I already did a check on my turn here. Can I do an arcana check to see what, well, what kind of check would be on the enchantment, but yeah. In that case, I'm going to duck out this side of the room here and say, yeah, tell Ash to poke it with a stick. Okay. Ash, it's your turn. All right, I um, request the spear out of the bag of holding, and I'm just going to assume it doesn't take too long, because that would suck if it did, and I'm going to poke it. Okay, uh, nothing happens when you poke the chest. 
I will open the chest. Oh god. All right, everybody in the room make a constitution save. Oh, I am god. technically I am technically no longer in the room. Is that You are yeah, you're not one in the room. Sunny oh, and Ash. Sunny. Oh god. Oh, not Sunny. Woof. Yeah. Uh, Glad I did that on a whim. All right. <laughs> uh, as you open the uh, the chest, a huge uh, kind of poof uh, cloud of green gas floats into the chamber, filling it rather quickly, uh, and you both pass out. Does it dissipate after it fills the chamber? Not immediately. Uh, I mean, I assume it would eventually go out the know. chimney, but. All right, well, I promise I was thinking this before. Mina wants to go back and check on <laughs> check on how people are doing. Uh, just not, not wise to venture too far out here. Uh, so is the door to the secret chamber still open? Like, did Doc just watch that happen? Or? Yeah, yeah, it, it just filled filled that room. Uh, but okay. the, the, the amount that's kind of leaking into the fireplace here is just drifting up the chimney. All right. Uh, well, that is a move for me. Um, so, uh, for the moment, and, and we just kind of see Ash and Sunny passed out there. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna, can I hold my breath, even though it kind of looks like it's fading, uh, and even though I won't have an action, Mina's not just gonna, like, stand there while they're going through it so i'm gonna i'm gonna run over to <clears throat> excuse me to ash and uh you just let me know if i need to make a con save uh no not a, not immediately given that you actually have the the wherewithal to not uh not be breathing at the moment <laughs> yeah, that the so, cloud so hits you yeah. yep uh and what are you doing well that was more than one move so okay that's kind of a turn for me all right harmony uh well harmony will um Hmm. Interesting. Uh, can she see like what happened in the room, like Ash and Sunny passing out? Uh, yes. Okay. She will somewhat hesitantly, given what happened last time, make her way. If she approaches like the embers of the fire, mm -hmm. is the sensation still hot to her? No. Okay. She will reluctantly step onto it. Nothing happens. Great. And then that's. Uh, she'll just do a double move, so she'll kind of come in here, kind of like assess, so that's 40 feet. Uh, is the guest, so presumably Mina's tending to Sunny, Ash is still passed out. Uh, is the chest open? Yes. Can Harmony see what's in it? Nothing. Yeah, that sounds about right. Cool. Fuck you, Strahd. Uh, Harmony will, I mean, she wants, she can't really do anything for Ash unless possession's a thing in this game. Nope. Uh, uh, and we'll continue. She has 20 feet of movement left. She'll move here. Uh, can she see up the passage? Uh, is anyone in there? Finally. I'm in there. Okay. And that's... I'll move another 10 feet just into here to kind of, like, hang out with Winley and just see if anything's <laughs> coming while we try to revive our wayward party members. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda kind of uh, ru runs in, seeing people people falling down, and we'll grab Sunny and drag Sunny back out into the study. Oh, sure. Save the dog first. I mean, everybody likes I mean, I love, I love Sonny, but... <laughs> Winley. Sonny didn't open the chest. He's an innocent bystander. <laughs> uh, is there any, like, noise or indication that this <laughs> happened? If I, if I turn around, is there, like, gas coming into this room? Uh, you can see some sort of drifting along, uh, up into the, like, out of okay. the small room and up into the higher ceilings. It's apparently lighter than air. Okay. Winley will, um, oh, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Um, awesome. come to the door, seeing that Ash is passed out still, hold her breath, and, uh, drag Ash out. Make an athletic trick. Uh, athletics, uh, uh Okay. I do also have uh, the Furbolg. My ability to drag things is. You are able to drag Ash up. So, I'll... <laughs> sorry, Ash, through the embers. Picking Ash up as much as possible <laughs> to get Ash out of there. Done. Our puppies. And if I if I glance in the chest or at the chest, both on my way out, do I see anything, or is there still empty. any indication of magic? Still empty, and the magic is the gas floating on the ceiling. Okay. Doc. All right. And so you said the room, the gas is lifted. Yes. 
Okay. So literally everyone's on the far side here now at this point? No, no we all side. came back. Oh, we all went yeah. through there. Okay, yeah. gotcha. I was saying, Esmeralda dragged Sunny <laughs> out, and Winley well, dragged out. Well, let's not go trigger the obvious spider trap. Um, and so the this door was the one that went out to that T intersection in the tower, right? Correct. Yeah. I mean, Winley fully intends there's, to go back into the spider room and check it out. There's someone to slap me? Yeah, I was just saying, I'll go over and... <laughs> Ash, you are awakened by a gnome smacking you across the face. <laughs> Guys, I found magic gas. <laughs> Good news, everyone. Wendley rolls her eyes. <laughs> Ash, you have just been awoken. You are laying in a corner of the study. I see I'm laying next to the dog, so I will try and wake up the dog. The dog is easily woken. Yay. Everyone's alive, guys. Excellent work. Uh, um. Well. I'll... Everyone who was alive when we entered Castle Ravenloft is still alive. <laughs> Uh, Winley will also, I know it's not really my turn, but as she's dragging Ash out, tell the rest of the party what was through that room so they can decide appropriately where they want to go. Okay. Mina. Yeah, Mina will do basically the same thing. I'll relay the crazy uh, tower that I saw up here and the T intersection through this door. Um, And then, yeah, wait to see what we want to do. Okay. Harmony. Uh, okay. As everybody has retreated, you're feeling uncomfortable in this room. Oh, I'm feeling uncomfortable in general, really. Uh, <laughs> Harmony will, upon feeling the encroaching void, will uh, retreat back into the library because uh, she can't really scout apart from the rest of the group. So she will, well, okay, she'll hang out kind of, well, not on the fire. She'll stop here and just kind of, um... Look around, see what everyone else is doing. Um, maybe okay. So Mina told people about the tower. Um, yeah, and and just since all I did was talk on my turn, if I could also just say, Mina will probably say like we should finish. Perhaps we should finish searching this treasury area before we move on. But but yeah, I, she pointed out the tower. Did Harmony? Oh, Harmony didn't see anything. Lindley didn't see in that room beyond the gas room, right? Nope. Okay. Cool. Didn't feel herself being eaten alive by spiders. <laughs> No, just the general eating alive sensation. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Harmony will just kind of hang out around the rest of the group, um, kind of waiting for their next move. Okay. Uh, seeing that Sunny and uh, Ash have been recovered and, and awoken, Esmeralda will sort of shake her head. You have to be careful. Vampires play games. They leave traps. They are the most dangerous of prey. I mean, that's why I had my friends around me to help them, and no one else was in the room. Why except I ducked out. I poked it with a spear first, and you guys got me out. So I thought we were being very careful. <laughs> she gives Ash a bit of a patronizing look. I mean, how would it... Okay, fine. How would it, you have opened the chest, then? Simple. Don't. <laughs> okay, fair. well, then how will we ever find what we're looking for if we don't open things? Winley, your turn. Uh, That's why I thought. <laughs> uh, Win- Winley will say to the rest of the group, Strahd, or not Strahd, uh, the other vampire, you know, said that the treasury was this floor and this would be a good place to look. I don't necessarily think we should, you know, take stairs up or down until we search this place a little more thoroughly. Um, so I'm going back into the spider room. And- yeah, plus that, that trap felt like it was like the false... You know, you get back there and you think that's the treasure that the secret door was hiding, but it's just a treasure. You know, I, yeah. I feel like there's more. Yeah. You gotta dig a little deeper back there. And so Winley will. It's gonna take a double move, but I can get to the back to the yes, door. Thank you. And then I'll do a listen. Okay. Listen well, Winley. She does. She listens well. Uh, you hear nothing on the other side, but you get you. It's not a sound so much as a feeling of like a lot of like tiny movement like it's the feeling you'd get if you could physically feel the sensation of watching an ant colony i bet it's ants hmm. does it does it feel like it's spiders uh, it, does not, <laughs> it does, does not feel explicitly like spiders no okay druids have spider <laughs> spi- think spidery thoughts yeah. oh, well okay if we're committing to that door then you know I'll head over that way and prepare to fight off a swarm of spiders Hypothetically. Maybe spiders will be uh, 35 and... more prone to listening to me than the bats were. So that's where a double move gets me there. 
Can I? Yeah, I'll do a perception check in the, like the upper area. No spiders hanging from the ceiling Thank or something you. waiting to kill us. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, no, no big spiders uh, hanging from the ceiling went ready to kill you. But you can now see that the webs above you are are like trembling slightly under the weight of thousands of tiny spiders. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Almost as bad. Yep. Uh, Ash, sorry, I just skipped over you. Um, I am going to come back into gas room. Is the gas dissipated enough that we can hang out in there? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure before I just stood there. Um, I'm going to actually do a quick investigation check to see if I can determine what killed this guy, whether it was just starvation or whether he slept to death. Do an death, check you know. to see if the plate is recoverable. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also just going to pack up the plate into the bag of holding. Again, Winley yeah. says. <laughs> I, 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 will, I will note that the plate, at least by Dockrin's an analysis, is completely ruined. Okay, fine. Winley also has the bag of holding, just FYI, if you want to put things in it. Winley's also in the spider room. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> FYI, I feel some kind of way about. Yeah. Sorry, what was that, Mina? Uh, can I give a help yeah. on that investigation? Uh, well, you, I would say it wouldn't be an investigation check to determine why somebody died. It'd be a medicine check. Oh. I thought he was... Sorry, go ahead. Well, then I will do a medicine check instead. Yep. But yes, you can give a, a help action on that if you'd like. Take advantage. Okay. Uh, you're guessing he suffocated, quite possibly from the gas that uh, triggered on you guys. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Were they like a- actively suffocating as we dragged them out of there? Uh, no, because the doors were open and the gas was oh, coming okay. out. But presumably, this room just filled with gas for however sure. many minutes or sure. hours while somebody was unconscious. Yeah. 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 Uh, anything else, Mina? Um, I mean, if I can, after I help, if I can just kind of move in here because hmm? this is where we're getting off to next, and then Sunny will also kind of just slip through here and join up with Mina there, and then that's it. Okay, and then it is Harmony. Yes, Harmony, uh, not particularly concerned about the spiders, um, on account of, boy, if, if fire and spiders are the only things that can physically interact with Harmony, this is the worst uh, <laughs> form of haunting. Uh, but she will move, let's see, that's 15, 25... That's four, uh, I can move up to 60, so I will move there if nothing stops me. Nothing stops you. Great. Uh, beyond the spiders, uh, anything else that she notices in this room that's worth noticing? Make a perception check. Okay. I would love to. Okay. Uh, nothing, nothing of note. Uh, Esmeralda follows you all into the chamber, and as you've seen before, seems content to sort of uh, stay stay at the back and watch as you all uh, go about your dungeoneering activities. Winley. Um, Winley will relay to the rest of the party that's come into this room that she's relatively certain there are a lot more spiders on the other side of the door. Gets cool with me opening dog, it? Dog will kind of do... Yeah, Winley will look up and be like, ah, okay, should I open it? I'm opening it. Okay. Can we can we clear the spiders in this room first, maybe? How high are the ceilings? About forty feet. Um, and these are just like normal spiders. Yeah, just normal, normal everyday, you know, Thousands fingernail size. Just tell them to ch- spiders. Just tell them to chill. I could try to tell them to chill, because I assume they count I was only as a partially beast of it. some sort. I can also cast flaming sphere and just try yeah. to burn them. Yeah, it's a second level spell. Guys. Telling them to chill doesn't expend spell it's slots. True. Um, they can't talk back, though, is the problem. So I don't know if they'll listen to me or not. Well, you're a druid, aren't you? Yeah. So. I mean, can they charades? <laughs> like, I have limited ability to understand beasts. Probably but they can friend. understand me. <laughs> I can chat with them to a limited extent as well. I feel like we could, you know, try to parlay with the spiders. I will. Okay, I will try to persuade the spiders with my speech of beast and leaf to leave us alone. Okay, I can persuasion check. And I get um, advantage on that. Is that something I can give myself guidance on? No. Okay. Concentration spell, you already have magic. Uh, you already have detect magic on. That's true. Wait. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you talk at the spiders who do not seem to respond to you. 
Um, just watching Winley interact in this way. So I do have the ability uh, to read their basic emotional state, is what this says. Um, <laughs> oh my god, Jesus <laughs> Christ, d <D&D. laughs> I can read, uh, or I can tell what actions I can take, if any, uh, to persuade a creature not to attack. Okay. So just Are spiders creatures. Well, yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, <laughs> they probably count as a beast, which is specifically what I have the ability yes, to. Yes, me too. Beasts me too. and fucking plants. <laughs> well, Doc, that's awesome. Or spiders, plants. <laughs> I would say not, but beasts. Yeah, um, I, I think they're beasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna hold hold action for the uh, well. Actually, where's the door again? Like, I'm standing I, right in front of it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I don't. There's not a good. Uh... Yeah, Willie's going through the door on her. Turn. Okay, right. I'm I'm going to ready action for the inevitable swarm of spiders <laughs> to come out the door I here. Say, if no one else goes in the door before me, I'm going in the door. <laughs> can we get can we get an inside check on the spiders? <laughs> to... Okay, Ash. Yeah, I'm comfy right here. Uh, I'm maybe I'll move up to here. So does Ash hate spiders yeah. as much as Tom I'm does? I'm hold my action to chop any spidery eight-legged creature that comes anywhere near me, whether it be normal-sized or giant. Okay. Sure, Bahamut's intent for the silvered sword that you were entrusted with was uh, as a spider <laughs> deterrent. Spider, spider. Yep. Um, um, I hate spiders. Oh, all right, Mina. Well, uh, Sunny's gonna jog over here to be next to Winley, because it looks like she's about to go through this door, maybe. Um, is the only source of light still Ash's light spell? Uh, Ash, yeah. At present. Okay. Can I cast uh, that on multiple objects? No. Is light a concentration so. spell? No, it's not. No, it's a cantrip, spell. I thought. Put the well, description in the chat. Cantrip's gonna be concentration. Uh, like guidance. Yeah, like guidance, yeah. 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 Uh, if you target... Uh... No, it's just, no, a one, it's just a one hour spell. I guess you can do more than one. Wow, so you could theoretically, you could just make all of your objects... Okay. Um, well, can you, uh, can you cast light on something for me, then? I will cast light on whatever you guys want me to. Uh, I... Hold up, uh, like my crossbow. Can you make my crossbow light? <laughs> sure. Okay, thank you. Uh, and then I'll ready an action to shoot anything that attacks us. Okay. Get Harmony. Uh, well, Harmony is not particularly bothered by the spiders. Um, are we looking through another door, uh, Winley, or? Is I that... have not opened it. Okay. Well, Harmony will, uh, given the lack of things to interest her in this room, will make a perception check at the door, <laughs> if that's all right. <laughs> uh, and I assume that the door's not open, so Harmony... I have not opened it. Um, no. I just told everyone, sounds like there's a bunch of spiders behind this door. Okay. Does Harmony also get that... Uh, no, just... Oh, okay. I don't know what Winley's talking about, guys. There was no spiders back there. <laughs> um, <laughs> Homie spends a moment contemplating, given Strahd's proclivities, she probably would be able to experience being devoured by millions of spiders because this ghost thing is all drawbacks and no benefits. <laughs> okay. Uh, Esmeralda will sort of uh, make her way out, at least halfway across the room, kind of watching as you, you start to work on the door. Winley. Um, I need a DM ruling on something. Okay. So Flaming sp- Sphere mm-hmm. specifically says that they take damage if they end their turn within five feet. Mm. It doesn't say anything about moving through it. Mm. I mean, it's a Flaming Sphere. I would assume if oh, they tried to move through it. I actually had a session last week with a different group that I DM for where we had Flaming Sphere. And I think it's a physical object, so you can't move through its space. Okay. Kind of like how you can't with like... Yeah, it requires an unoccupied space when you yeah. summon it, so let's see. So you can't pass through it. Unlike the flaming wall, which is something you could go through. 
Yeah, I mean, also note it says as a bonus action you can move the sphere up to 30 feet. If you ram the sphere into a creature, it has to make the save. Well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. If a creature runs into the sphere. Presumably they're dumb for doing so. And they well, take spiders are not particularly smart. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, so they would take damage. Okay, I, that's, I, what, I that's what I was getting at. If they tried to move too close to it or through it, would they take the damage? Yes. The same damage as me moving it into yes. them. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and open the door. Okay. Uh, opening this uh, this door, you find another uh, chamber full of spider webs. Uh, you can hear the rain and thunder outside, uh, and the room here, the air here is cold and damp. Uh, there are veils and curtains webbing filling this room, making it hard to gauge its width and depth, although you can just see on the map. Um, a single narrow path uh, through the spider webs leads to the center of the room, uh, where a rope dangles from high above. Uh, quite notably as well, there is uh, what appears to be some scroll of parchment tied up in the rope. Magic? Yes. Of what variety? Uh, it appears to be uh, abjuration. Okay. Uh, Winley will go up to the rope and tell the spiders in this room as well, you know, stay where you Bitch are, cool. blah, 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 whatever. Um, Sorry, necromancy, not abjuration. Okay. Listen to me, spiders. Um, how high up the rope? Uh, like at, at, like, eye level. I for, for a normal I, person. It's like chest level. Saying, I level for Doc, I level for Winley. Yeah, che- like chest level for Winley. <laughs> Above Doc's head, around chest level for Winley. Um, I'll wait until some of the rest of the group is closer before grabbing it. Okay, Doc. I'm just imagining the alternate universe version of this party that's all gnomes or something. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I look up, can I see where the rope leads? Uh, it looks vaguely like it might be leading up to a bell tower. It appears to be a belfry. Okay, cool. Um, and just notably, it is, like, right here. Like here? Here. Okay. I'm going to stand by the rope, but not touch it until, you know, other members of the party are a little closer, should something terrible happen to me. Okay. Um, so, sorry, back to my turn here. Are the... Did the wiggling of the spiders slow in any meaningful way when Winley said chill in here, or...? Nope, they seem to have not cared very much. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, okay, do we want just everyone in the bell tower here when we kick this thing off? So, mm-hmm. or, yay, nay. I would also suggest, like, just cutting the rope in one swipe if we can help it, just to avoid pulling on the rope of the bell tower. Seems unwise. Um, but either way, I'll go to the door, wherever that is along here, and... Oh yeah, this is this is definitely ending well. I will hold the door in that case, and I'll so hold action for first spider to come start coming down here. Okay, Ash. All right. Well, I guess it's my time to move through the creepy spiders. So I take a step. That's five. Uh, I'm just gonna have to. I think that's a double move to get to the door here. I'm not standing on anyone here, am I? No. Okay. okay. So that's me. I'll. That's me. Okay. Uh, Mina. Okay. Um. Move 10, 20. To be up there behind Ash. Sunny will. I, where is the. Sorry, where is the room? I can't. On the east side of the of the. Yeah. Room. Okay. I just didn't want to jump into the wrong wall for something. Um, that's what I thought. Um, uh, Sunny will follow in there, and we'll go stay next to uh, Winley. Um, and yeah, then just ready to actions again to attack anything uh, that comes within our range. Okay. For both uh, Sunny and. Harmony. Uh, well, Harmony will uh, pass through into the Belfry as well, Free. Uh, uh, Unacceptable. Negative one inspiration. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm just piling it up now. Uh, she'll kind of like... Harmony hasn't... Presumably, she's tried this, being a ghost. She can't, like, fly, right? Nope. Okay. Of course not. Uh, she kind of like uh, will kind of look around the towers, look up at the scroll. Uh, 
uh, curiously odd thing to do with the scroll. Um, and uh, we'll just sort of, uh, you know, make a perception check, I guess, to see if there's anything that didn't get noticed already. <clears throat> Uh, you don't see anything that uh, Winley hasn't seen. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda is sort of content to, to sit back and watch Winley. Um, okay, I would see. actually have said the don't pull on that rope. Yeah, Winley's not going to pull on it, uh, but now that the rest of the party is here, she's going to kind of turn and say, you know, be prepared for anything, and then reach out and untie the scroll. Um, spiders. I'm being prepared Make for a dec- spiders. A, uh, dexterity check. I mean, my, is it a thick rope? It is. Okay, so cutting through probably wouldn't have been a particularly... Uh... 11. That's not great. Uh, yeah, in the process of attempting to uh, untangle it, you, um, had, you had one job from above. Mm-hmm. What do I take? Like 8,000? Uh, no, you did not take 8,000. <laughs> no, that, that was the dinner bell. No. Oh, oh I, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. However, we're, we're going to have two things here. Number one, I'm going to need a roll of initiative from everybody, and then uh, the two of you that had ready to tax are going to be able to make your attacks. Yay. Against what? The spiders are cool. So far. <laughs> I mean, I did get a 20 on my persuasion to tell him to stay the fuck away from us. But my 20 persuasion probably does not overrule Strahd's bell of Jesus. eat everyone. <laughs> uh, is this like an immediate we're attacked and swarmed? Yep. Or, okay, so I don't have time to look at the scroll. You. Yep. But you also because you haven't actually gotten in loose yet. You're like in the process of trying to pull it out and have yanked the rope accidentally. Okay. Ugh. Do I still get, like, an action on my turn, or, like... On your turn. Well, I mean, it. I'm the one pulling on the rope. On your turn. Okay. You have rang the bell. This is, this the, is the, the action was ringing the bell, I think, <laughs> is the implication. You can't bell. unring that bell. Well, I'm just saying, to get a free object interaction, so do I also get an action? And the answer is apparently no, which is on fine. On your turn. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. It, nope. It is my turn. <laughs> no, it's not. It's Armin's turn. Doc will be like, you had one job. <laughs> That's uh, why he's so long the initiative is he's too busy saying one moment so. to, to finish setting the, uh, setting the board here. But. Okay. I don't think Esmeralda's going to want to dungeon delve with us anymore after this because we are clearly incompetent. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I'd say, how could we have done it any better? Someone better. whose dex is higher than mine? <laughs> Know who has a high dex? I mean, you I also would've... know who can't interact with physical objects. <laughs> <laughs> Harmony. She could have given. The... Oh wow! God damn it, she lob. Oh god, multiple she lobs. Oh. Uh, descending from the belfry are an enormous uh, coalesced swarms of spiders that have taken the shape of enormous spiders, as you can see. Mm. Uh, Harmony, you have the initiative. Harmony reaches deep within her ghostly self and attempts to find some hereto unfortapped power that lets her affect spiders in any way. Does not find that. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, uh, the people with reactions yeah, the are asking about the ready to action. Yep. I can read the chat, guys. Mm, okay. I don't need you to read the chat to me. Thank you. Um. So, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, because I have advantage against uh, creatures who haven't gone yet. Does that trigger in this instance, or? I would say yes, because you prepared the prepared the reaction. Okay. All right. I just wasn't sure about that. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a shot at the closest one, obviously, and this will be a sharpshooter because why not? And I have advantage. So there's Minas. Does a 16 hit? Uh, yes, it does. Sweet. So that is 15 damage for uh, this guy. And then Sunny, I guess, is getting squished by this one. So he will bite at the one that is squishing him. Uh, and he also gets advantage. Thank you, Pack Tactics. Unless, are, do these happen to be fiends or undead? Uh, no, they are neither. All right. Well, that's... But they're not spider fiends. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good, actually. Uh, does a 14 hit? It does. Huzzah! Oh, All right, so nine damage and... If it can be pulled down, then he tries to pull it down, and then those are those are our uh, reactions. Terrific. Well, I I had a reaction. Um, oh, sorry. So sorry. I get I get two attacks um, when I'm doing an attack action. Does that count as no, the not same? reaction? Okay. Reaction's explicitly not an attack action. Okay, and we did it, so it's just plus one with flanking now, since I'm flanking with Sunny. Well, uh, we, do, I don't think, we, we don't need to change, change the flanking rules. No. Okay, we, I, I did not. Up to... Yeah, we have not we have not okay. finalized that debate. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, 
In okay. that case, I assume a 23 hits if a 14 did. Sure does. <laughs> okay. Uh, your The thunder gauntlets clap in, in great timing with a flash of lightning outside. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> all right. uh, they descend quite rapidly down upon all of you uh, and are it's attacking as one might expect them to. Technically still Harmony's turn, right? Uh, you said... You, you well, yeah, but thing. then the reaction attacks happen. Um, yep. Harmony is basically just, I mean, you know, she doesn't have secret spider powers. Are these, sorry, did you say they were actual giant spiders or like swarms of they spiders? Are enormous swarms of spiders coalesced into giant spiders. Gross. Uh, Harmony <laughs> will uh, vacate the premises, basically kind of step out here and just say like, well, she'll sit, she'll kind of say like, big spiders, uh, and we'll <laughs> double move. Well, okay, she can't, she'll... She'll, she'll stay within uh, range of the rest of the party, but she's basically trying to watch the backs, like, see if anything tries to come through, like, here. Make a perception check. Okay. A lot of very small teeth. Mm-hmm. A lot of very tiny teeth, yes. Mm-hmm. We, we established she's not a big fan of... Uh, she is not a big fan of uh, teeth right now. So. Uh, well, fortunately, that actually goes quite well for you. Uh, you can see in the far side of the chamber here that uh, it appears a very familiar vampire is sticking his head through a, pa- a hitherto unnoticed passage. Uh, in the south wall, watch it, watching all of you with a gleeful expression. Uh, as in Strahd or Airsats? Uh, as in Doru. Oh, Doru. Fuck's oh, sake. Fuck off. <laughs> you probably just hear <laughs> Harmony. You probably hear <laughs> Harmony go like, oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, they we do are... really hate that guy. <laughs> uh, everybody who is in the Belfry, which is this actual room here, go ahead and make a strength save. Oh, good. We love those. Yeah, we do. Let's go strength. Ooh, yeah. Excellent work, Winley. <laughs> Party's got to work out more. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, Dockrin and Winley, you have been uh, cast cast over in enormous sticky uh, spider webs. Uh, Sunny is able to rip rip through the webs uh, that are cast Ooh. over Sunny. Uh, and then that said, you are all all under attack. What do the webs functionally do? Uh, you cannot move away, and your uh, AC is... Uh, sorry, no, your AC is not affected you, but you cannot move. Okay. That's fine. Winley doesn't need to move. Yep. Fuck uh, And then, Winley, you take uh, 13 as uh, the spider descending on you get, uh, takes a bite out of you. Uh, also make a constitution save. Great. Uh, Sunny Ooh. also takes 19 as a spider bites him, and Ooh. Doc, you take uh, 18 as one bites you. Hell. Uh, and then they are sort of sort of crawl crawl swarming uh, closer to all of you. I'm not looking super great, guys. By the way, uh, gonna need that con save from Sunny and Doc as well. Yep. Oh, sorry. Is okay. 17 good enough? It was good enough. Winley's also not doing particularly great on the health, but still we're around half. No, and actually I apologize. Those those damages were overstated. Uh, Winley, you take sorry, you took nine. Uh, Sunny took. Seven and Doc, you took nine. Sorry, I added, added in the, the failed save damage, but uh, nobody failed. So, all right. Uh, and with that, it is Mina. I'm doing slightly better, but still not great. <laughs> okay. Um, I have healing spells. If you get to it, need help. Did that crossbow bolt seem to injure this thing? Since they're weird giant swarms, uh, did it seem to? like not react or what's what's my take on that it seems sort of shudder as the bolt passed through it and several hundred spiders fell out of it okay that's i'll take that um so yeah let's toss a hunter's mark bonus action on this one the closest one and uh i'll shoot it with my crossbow okay uh shocking i know uh shark shoot uh to be exact and oof Nah, no good. Uh, and yeah, I Hunter's Marked. That was my bonus action. So uh, Sunny will coordinate strike. Sunny, the one that's... oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, the one that's on top of him. Uh, and pack tactics. Thank you. Okay, there's something. Solid hit. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's me. Can you knock a swarm? I was gonna from... say, how does one grapple a swarm of spiders? <laughs> If I can, if Sonny can, do it. <laughs> he's fucking doing it. Yeah, it was. Uh, it I'm was imagining nice... Sonny just like crunching mouthfuls of spiders. That's so gross. 
Uh, Esmeralda kind of uh, wh whips her hand around and fires a bolt of magical fire into the closest one. Uh, several hundred spiders going to fall fall out of it uh, aflame. And with that, it is Sunny's turn. And just so you know, I, I made the joke, but it is, was Harmony's intention to warn Esmeralda about Dora? Um, I got skipped. I was supposed to go after Mino before Esmeralda. Uh, weird. No, go ahead. <laughs> you don't get a turn. I don't get a turn. No turn for you. Um, all right. So does Doc need like a healing immediately? Um, if I take that full damage, it would put me in a pretty uh, spicy place here. But if I can, might be, I could probably survive one more turn. Okay. <laughs> Do the spider. I got heals. Okay, cool. Yeah, so um, let the healer do the healing for now. I will try to yell at them again because why the fuck not? Um, <laughs> I said chill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so gonna gonna try to persuade them to again leave us the fuck alone. Do they seem to react at all? No. What kind of druid are you? <laughs> Apparently, the kind that can't talk to vampire spiders. It's fine, whatever. Um, Vampires. And then. For my action, I will, since I'm in melee range, uh, go for some primal savagery on this one. So am I flanking with Sunny? Yes. Okay. Eight acid damage on that guy. It, that, that particular cluster of spiders falls to individual pieces. Fucking perfect. And then with my bonus action, I'll go ahead and go into my archer form. I'm now not in melee range, so I'll take a shot. You are in melee range of three of them. Well, shit, I sure couldn't see those guys. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize there were like four more behind me. I'm looking directly uh, at you, so I can follow <laughs> confused why you thought so too but then i realized from your perspective yeah you probably couldn't see all anything. i could see was like the two that i'm not next to <laughs> great great so <laughs> all right so that was an action i am still gonna go ahead and go into my archer form and take a shot at disadvantage um at the one that's been getting hit 14 to hit uh yeah, that is it I mean, you say the one who's being hit, that several have been hit. So okay, this one. this the one, one this one in front of Doc. Okay. Yep, you hit. Nine radiant damage. Uh, it bursts into the one, one in front of Doc. Spiders. The one in front of Doc. Okay, that was not the one that was that, pinged. Well, that's what I. <laughs> so, I think someone else pinged that okay. one. Up. That was me. I'm sorry. Yep. No, you should attack right. that one. It bursts. That one does not, bur does not well, burst. Well, I was trying to help Doc, and that is what I said. So. Right. Sunny. All right, uh, Sunny will bite that one in front of Doc, seeing Winley uh, shooting at it. So here's a bite. Uh, and 19. That was a hit. Sweet. So there you have it. Tries to pull it down. Uh, just just crunches, you know, probably dozens of them with a, with a snap. <laughs> yeah, that's Sunny. And, all right, Ash. I'm going to um, take a five foot step over here, and I'm going to touch my friend on the shoulder and cast Cure Wounds. Neat. Appreciate it. And what the hell, I'll do it at second level. Hey. So that's what the seventy-nine, hell? plus I think you get an additional four, but let me do the math that's there. That's about right for your level. But... Spell level. Uh, as that yeah, is. additional four on that. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that'll be it for me. I think I don't have any bonus actions at the moment I want to do. Okay. Uh, as, as Esmeralda is sort of responding to Harmony's warning, uh, Doru scampers across the room and takes a, uh, a swipe and a snap at her. Shit, I kind of forgot that was happening. Does he seem Fuck. to see me? Uh, no, but you're also on the other side of her. All right. I'm also going to ask you not to ask that question every single time. <laughs> Nobody sees no you. No one sees you. <laughs> no one hears you. You don't exist. Just want to know. Except to the party. <laughs> we all just want to be seen. <laughs> just want to insult him. <laughs> you got any, any zingers you want to lay on us so we can pass them along for you? <laughs> it's just, just not the same. <laughs> it's an understandable limita limitation, though. <clears throat> Winley is very upset that none of these beasts seem to give a fuck about her. Okay. I mean, the ones that are uh, he, he takes a swipe at her and doesn't succeed, manages to bite her, uh, and she lets out a scream of pain at that. Uh, and then Doc. Uh, so you said I can't move. I assume the strength check required to free me would be in place of an attack? Yes, it would. Damn. 
That one in front of you is almost definitely on its last leg. Yeah, I know, but I get two attacks, and it seems like a waste to... Makes it even more impressive if it's on its last it's one. It's on its last one. <laughs> you can target yeah. different creatures with... Yeah, but I only have that one in range yeah. from where I'm at right now. You but. can move after attacking. Uh, but he's I got the spider web. Yeah, the spider yeah, yeah. He can either use his action to break out of the web or... <laughs> yeah, I'll just one murder the shit attacks. out of this one swarm of spiders and then... Uh, well, that was a, a very, very solid hit. Uh, and it absolutely explodes into bits of tiny spiders. Yep. And I can't do my second attack, so I will bonus action to turn on my defensive field, which I should have done earlier. But. Okay. Harmony. God, I'm really not pleased with the number of spiders behind me that I didn't know about. Uh, Harmony will... Um, uh, I mean, she can't really do anything to help Esmeralda. She can't provide flanking or anything. She's just going to kind of, like, float back into the spider room and uh, just kind of call out in more character-ish, but she'll just kind of be like, um, not, I know you guys are busy, but the fucking priest's kid is back, uh, for round three. Doru. But she'll say it in a less, like, blasé way, just more like, um, you know, he's out here as well, when you have a moment to kill him again. <laughs> All right. Uh, the spiders continue their assaults, respectively. I thought you said respectfully for a second. <laughs> well, at uh, least they're being respectful as they try least. to beat me. Yep. Harmony, uh, you take... Or not Harmony, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Winley, you take seven and make constitution save. Ooh, seven's uh, much better than Sunny expected. takes ten and make a constitution save. Doc, uh, this one moved over to you. I was going to say, yep. Uh, okay. But was not successful in Harmony. Huzzah. Cool, 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 cool. You are successful, Winley. Praise. And Sunny is also successful. And then it is Mina. Okay, uh, well, not psyched about Vampire Dude being back, but I still have a Hunter's Mark going on over here, so I'm going to shoot, uh, shoot the spider, the, the giant spider of spiders, uh, and we'll make this a, uh, this is just going to be a regular shot, I really want to hit it, and I feel like I can maybe polish it off, so... Uh, there we go. That is a solid and hit. Uh, so 13 total with the Hunter's Mark. It is slain. Would you like to oh, move it? And then I will use my bonus action to pop the Hunter's Mark over here onto this asshole, uh, Doru. And, yeah, I mean, I guess, sure, I'll jog around five, uh, and help, help her flank. Uh, because Esmeralda's swinging a sword or something, right? Yep, she's got a silvered sword, sword, short yep. sword. Yep. Uh, cool. And I guess, like, with whatever whatever object interaction I have left or anything, I'll, I'll load up. Oh, wait, no, silver crossbow bolts didn't help. That's my turn. I'm done. Okay. Winley. Winley's gonna channel her inner dock here and cast Thunder Wave. Uh, so a constitution saving throw from these two spiders, yeah, It's going to be please. loud. Oh, yeah, time. I don't care. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Recognizing <laughs> we literally already rang that yeah. bell. One fails. Okay, so the one that fails takes 12 thunder damage, and the one that succeeds takes half. Okay. Um, and then it says... Uh, the one that fails is also pushed away from me, if possible. Nope. Okay, I figured. But um, unsecured objects are also pushed away from me, if possible. I assume there probably aren't any. Many webs are blasted. Well, up yeah, walls. great. Um, and then I will, at its advantage, take my archer attack on the one that looks <clears throat> more beat up. That would be the one that failed, which is the Well, one. yeah, but I mean, Winley wouldn't necessarily know that. No, this one was more effective. Okay. 11 to hit, probably nope. not. Yeah, that's cool. Nope. 14 is the <laughs> established yeah, minimum yeah. so far. <laughs> okay. No one's rolled a 13. Uh, Esmeralda kind of wheels around, having just been uh, been bitten rather nastily by Doru. And... Bu -bu 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 -bu. Does not have a spell that I want to use for her here. Uh, so she will go ahead and swing the, uh, the sword. Uh, she actually seems quite proficient with it and gives him uh, two, two vicious slashes. Um, and then it is Sunny's turn. Um, well, Sunny really wants to get 
back there to Doru, but I guess not badly enough that he'll take a opportunity. I'll go ahead and just bite this spider right next to him. Um, so, yeah, nice. 14 damage and a strength save. Okay. Uh, passes on the strength, but he rips the hell out of that thing. Uh, I, you know, we, we can say, you know, murder several hundred spiders, probably just smashing his body into it and snapping wildly. But it's still, it's still, uh, thrashing? Correct. Okay, yep, stays there. That's it. Right. Ash. Um, I'm gonna turn and I'm going to, uh, uh, use, um, uh, a sacred flame on Doru. Okay. Fuck you! Okay. Let's see how that save goes. Uh, he succeeds. Fuck you! Sorry. That's me. <laughs> Fuck you. Um, and with that, uh, you notice that the slashes Esmeralda just gave him seem to already already be closing up. Uh, and he, seeing Mina kind of come behind him, uh, lets out a snarl and gives uh, Mina a, a claw and a bite. Uh, so let's see. Uh, claws connect for seven, uh, and the bite misses. And with that, it is Doc's turn. Oh, I'm sorry, he, he also scoots a little bit. And uh, with that, it is Doc's turn. Okay. Um, in that case, uh, you said strength check to uh, deweb myself here. Yep. Save or check? Uh, check. I guess it's the same mod for me, regardless. But still. Okay. And you are able to rip yourself free of the webs. Huzzah! All right. Um, Winley, you good? Yep. All right. Cool. Five. Wow, that web on me just got 15. way larger. 25. There's a better web icon I found. Alright. And I used my action to de-web myself, so yep. here we are. <clears throat> Doc waves cheerfully at Doru. <laughs> Alright, Harmony. Uh, Normie does want to watch this kid bite it again, but... Uh, as entertaining as that sounds. She's gonna kind of... She's. I mean, she's doing basically what she can to... So, okay, actually... Can she see the door he came out of? Was it like a passage down here? Yes. Okay. Can she move over to that? And mm -hmm. is it possible to see through it? Yeah, he, he did not close it behind him. Okay. Harmony's going to check that out. I can't see unless I'm looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> there you go. Oh, great. Okay. Uh, and let's see. I will move into it. Okay. Uh, you are standing in a room with sort of a, uh, a deep passage running down the center. In front of you, there's a very, very large chain. Uh, and you can see kind of open space to the south there. Okay. Uh, I think that's about... And it goes, sorry, it goes up and yep. down. And presumably the void encroaches fairly yep. closely. I say you are on the fringe of my vision. So. Yeah, uh, but it's. I think it's just whoever's nearest in the actual party, so Mina's slightly closer. Yep. But you can I, see about five feet up and down, though. Great. Uh, okay, well, I'll stay here to kind of keep a lookout in case Dora brought me friends with him. All right. Uh, the spiders continue to, to snip snap. Uh, this time they're both going for Winley. Yeah, that sounds right. They both miss. Uh, one hits you for nine, and make a constitution save. It's not a miss. Fine. <laughs> I'm feeling very lied to by Winley, because she told me that none of them hit her, and then the DM says they did, so... I was just, just trying. Who can you believe? And I'm Mina, just it's gonna be you. Oof, only a 10. Oof, you take another 7 damage as uh, poison begins to course through your veins. Not looking so great in here, Ash! You said you were fine! You told Doc to go! <laughs> I'm still fine, but not looking great. Okay. Uh, Mina. Okay, uh, well, Mina will just sidestep to get back into flanking for Esmeralda, and then I'm gonna... Shoot this guy. Uh, I will sharpshoot him. And this motherfucker's undead, so let's see how this goes. Oof, not great. <laughs> not great. Uh, okay, well, uh, bonus action to shoot again. I'm going to sharpshoot again. There we go. That'll give him something to think about. Indeed. I assume a 22 hits. It sure does. All right, so he's also my hunter's mark. Oh wow, okay. Well, You're better using than nothing. Van Richten's uh, silver-tipped useless crossbow bolts. 
Well, I'm not using silver bolts because uh, they didn't seem to have any greater effect last time uh, we fought this guy it's in, for the, the, in the uh, church. It's for the uh, werewolves, I guess. And it's, yeah. yeah. Really. Uh, so yeah, that's a total of 21 damage, and uh, Sonny gets to make a bite because he sees Mina going crazy on Dory back there, so biting the spider right next to him. That is a hit, and he kills it. Fuck yeah. Woohoo! All right, uh, yeah, that's Mina. Winley. How beat up is this thing looking? Uh, about, we'll, we'll say halfway. <laughs> halfway beat up? <laughs> Damn, I wish it was a little more beat up looking. That's all right. I'm going to take a spear at it. Hiya! That is a hit. <laughs> Excellent! Uh, One piercing damage. Spears? Yes. You oh. kill exactly one spider. I mean, it would be great if yeah. it died. You, you literally like skewer yeah, like a, a like handful of spiders. Fine, fine. I'll also bonus attack with my archer at disadvantage because I'm within melee range. God damn it. Oof. No. Winley's very upset. Understandably <laughs> so. Uh, Esmeralda draws out a rapier she, uh, that hitherto has been un- unnoticed uh, and then proceeds to uh, hack at this vampire spawn quite uh, viciously. Uh, she's apparently quite uh, quite proficient with both blades uh, and literally stabs him multiple times with these. Nice. Nice. I like her. Uh, it seems like she might have done this before. Uh, Sunny. Goddamn <laughs> 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 harmony. <laughs> um, well, Sunny would feel bad leaving Winley alone with the spider, so Sunny will move over there and keep... Uh, Getting spidery. Uh, so here's a bite. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, having lots of fun with crits. So uh, that's rips yeah, this one to pieces. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, then he'll use the rest of his movement to go. Uh, that's as far as you can get. All right. Ash. All right. I'm going to move in. To support my comrade here, I'm going to touch her on the shoulder, and Waylene will get back some points of healing. <laughs> this is also at second level, so you get an additional plus four back from that. So 18? 12. You said an additional four. Eight plus eight four. plus six plus four, so eighteen. Oh, okay. We got multi. multi- yeah, I was multi- like, multi- I'm pretty sure I can math. Yeah, sorry. That I, just, well. I, read, I read the top as attacks and the bottom as results. So I was like, so six yeah, to hit, that you, checks out. When you roll the healing at higher level, it splits yeah. it up for some reason instead yeah. of just giving you one number, which is I think is stupid, but whatever. So. Well, it's just probably easier to macro like cast the spell at the base level and then yeah. add in the extra math. Anything else, Ash? Uh, no, that's that's for me. Actually, one, okay. one quick thing for Ash. So, Ash, say when. When. Say Lee. That's what I said. When you we... absolutely did not <laughs> say that. Yeah, 100% you said Wei Lee. You say Wei Lee every time. <laughs> I said Wei. You absolutely did not. <laughs> oh, um, Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyway, uh, Mina, Doru still seems still seems to be focusing. Ever again. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Doru is focusing on you, Mina, still, uh, and claws and bites you for a cumulative uh, nineteen damage. Uh, your maximum scary. HP is also reduced by six. Okay. And Doc, um, I took a swing on my reaction for the thing, okay. but okay. I assume a twelve misses. It does miss. But it's your turn, so more. It punching. is, yes. So, oh boy, here I go punching again. That's a solid clock. Ooh. Also a solid clock. So, cumulative twenty thunder damage there. Uh, your punches, as always, seem to be quite effective. Yep. Um, okay. Quick question. Yeah. Um, in the past, when we killed vampires, you said they kind of dissipated in the mist. The mm-hmm. mist appeared to be going in a specific direction. Like if we, in the past, yes, yeah. it seemed to be heading heading off to the east. Right. So I guess I guess in point of, out of curiosity, if we missed him here, will we theoretically be able to follow the mist? You have no idea. Fair Nothing enough. To base that on. Okay. Harmony. Uh well. Doesn't sound like... I mean, I guess I can't... Nothing comes lunging through the encroaching void. Nope. Okay. 
Uh, well, Armie is happy to focus all her attention on... I mean, she'll kind of keep an eye, since probably, presumably, the rest of the party's a bit distracted. She'll kind of straddle the door. I mean, she'll look through... She'll keep an eye both on here and, like, the entrance we came through to the fireplace. Uh, just to try to make sure nothing sneaks up on the party from either direction. Readying an action to just give a warning. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, and the spiders are done, so Mina. Okay. Um, yeah, well, it's a pretty simple equation here. Gonna shoot this guy in the face. Um, sharpshooter. Uh, okay, well. Woof. Nope. Yeah, uh, let's try that again. A bigger wolf. Uh, and literal wolf, because Sunny is not adjacent, so can't attack. So yeah, that's me now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, cool. it, it goes that way sometimes. That'd do. All right, Winley. Um, I will use one of my guiding bolts. God damn. No, no I won't. <laughs> and then yeah. bonus attack, Archer arrow also just across the room when like quits <laughs> anything else with me uh, i can't move so no <laughs> all right uh esmeralda continues uh her vicious hack and slash routine here uh a little less effectively this time but still gets in uh two hits so is she currently using a rapier and a short sword yep cool and uh sun Okay, so I will close the distance here, run around to flank with Doc, uh, and bite. With advantage. Oh yeah. Solid hit. Right. Yep, uh, there you go. And tries to pull him down, as always, and that's it for Sunny. Okay. Uh, succeeds in pulling him down, actually. <clears throat> Holy shit. Woohoo! Yeah. Um, Alright, and then it is Ash's turn. All right, maybe I can actually do some good here now that I'm not healing everyone. No, I'm just kidding. And I do want to apologize. I was kind of a jerk on that. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> it was a little mean though, so I feel a little. I feel bad. Um, and makes the save. He's very dexterous for being okay. pun. Okay. For being by prone. A... <laughs> oh. Yeah. Right. Anything else, Ash? Nope, that's me. Okay. Uh, well, he will leap back up to his feet uh, with vampiric nimbleness uh, and will take a bite at Mina and a slash at Sunny. Um, he takes disadvantage on the first one of those because of the Thunder Gauntlets. Noted. Uh, oof. That still still worked out just fine for him. Damn it. Um, Mina, you take f- uh, 11 damage and your maximum so- HP is reduced by 7. So quick yeah. quick question, since he's getting multi-attack here. If, if I... Hit with this reaction attack on the first one. Does he then get disadvantage on the second one? Uh, that is an excellent question. And actually, post, I... post the post the note for the disadvantage. Sure. Um, does that hit, or should I do? I need to roll again for my advantage. Uh, that does hit. Okay. Um, but and... roll again in case you crit. Oh yeah, good point. He's right. You know. <laughs> no, no, it's, that's a valid. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) A very wise board of wisdom from Harmony. (laughs) Okay, I get. I accept the I told you so. Harmony just looks at Doc and is like, you can swing harder than that. Put the language in the chat. Yeah, 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 sure. I'm pointing it out. The second attack misses regardless. Um, Sure. And then it is Doc's turn. Uh, One second, I'm pulling up the thingy. Actually, I'll just do the attacks real quick and then. Come on, do the thing. Nope. And of course, Rule 20 is lagging out on me. It's grumpy. I'm trying to do multiple things at once. How dare you? I know, right? How dare I try to attack and look up Arata at the same time? Rule 20 is oh, great. Oh, Arata. Uh, uh, you punch him into mist. <laughs> okay. Um, and sorry. I'm pulling up the thing. Oh, no, he would have maintained that on both of them regardless of whether I'd hit with the reaction yeah, attack. It's it looks not like. yep. attack specific. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay, good to know for future. I was misreading that this whole time. So for your reference, the mist uh, immediately uh, kind of 
goes becomes gaseous and zips past Harmony and seems to head down the uh, Can pit. I grapple the mist as a ghost? No. <laughs> <laughs> it probably flies through you. I, I choose to believe Harmony tries to like, get over here, you fucker! <laughs> Okay, uh, we are out of combat. Uh, follow that mist, <laughs> or is uh, it yeah, moving too fast? Let's not blunder into the coffin but zone. To... Very quickly. Uh, Mina, your hunter's mark seems to have lost its hold. Okay, fair enough. I need to break out of this uh, web. Make a strength check. Sure, it's going to go poorly. Strength is not my... Uh, I mean, I mean it was 14. You were able to rip out. I was okay, going to say, it's I'm not sorry. a high roll. I'm just um, like, yeah. What's on this uh, scroll? Better have it fucking been worth it. Uh, make an arcana check. Sure. I'm decent at those. Scroll of Banish. Can I give myself guidance on this now Summon that spiders. I... Do you want to drop your Detect Magic? Hasn't it been ten minutes no. at this point? Oh, oh. okay, well then no. Okay. Uh, it is a powerful scroll of necromantic magic, but you are not able to determine what it does. Necromantic? We'll, we'll talk later. Right. Yeah, I'll uh, stow money. it in the bag of holding for the moment. Big money? Um, hey. and, and come out and... I don't know who else might be better at this than Winley, but we'll just say. As a note, you do f- still feel sickenly poisoned. Great. Love it. Um, hey, Ash. Um, I kind of feel poisoned. Any help? <laughs> I, I think I have a spell for that. <laughs> feel kind of like maybe I'm dying slowly. <laughs> if you could make that step. Would be awesome. What is anybody else doing? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I would say, do we want to try to, like, be following this thing? Uh, <laughs> Harmony will call out now that there's not a fight to distract people from. Just kind of like, uh, he came through here. I think he went through there, too. I mean, personally, Winley is in favor of sticking to our mission of finding something to bring Harmony back and finding uh, Gertruda rather than... Well, put... I don't want to fight that fucker again, okay? <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> but who knows what else we might bump into if we go down to where the vampires sleep. I mean, we can at least go in that general direction. And... Sure, sure. I really want eh. I mean, like, How fast is the mist moving, by the way? It was very quick. Oh, okay. Like, not... We so lost we... it. Okay, if we lost it, then I'm not, like... Okay. I mean, I'm you know not... which way it went, but, yeah, you can't see it. Oh, but, yeah. I mean, even if we saw its first turn, we then have no idea I afterwards. Mean, uh, I would look to Esmeralda actually as like, well, I mean, it's going towards the coffins. That's what you came here for, right? Like, how, There's how strongly do you feel about that? I doubt Strahd shares his coffin room with Probably the... not, but it would at least be helpful. Am right? I no longer poisoned? Uh, correct. Great. That was my last third level spell, guys. Thanks, Ash. That was sorry, a second, second level, level spell. My last second level spell, sorry. Okay. okay. We can panic like that, man. <laughs> I, I, I upcast it just in case, you know. Yeah. Anyway, yes, asking Esmeralda what her opinion on that is. Uh, she she kind of considers it. She'll also kind of walk over to the uh, the pit uh, and kind of look, look down um, in contemplation. Well, it would uh, perhaps have retreated to its coffin. In fact, it must have. Whether it is near the beast's uh, personal lair is uncertain, but it would make sense for them to all keep close. I mean, yeah, it would, I'm more saying from the perspective of uh, more for saying from the perspective of how strongly do you feel about trying to follow that in terms of all that? Or uh, oh no, it's a deep ass pit. Okay, sorry. Harmony. I didn't, know, will, I didn't realize what we were working. Harmony will speak up and just sort of say, um, "Personally, can't recommend uh, disturbing vampires where they sleep. Didn't go great. I mean, I for me, they not, also aren't asleep right now. Out of curiosity, you know they're all over the castle." Is this room still full of many spiders? Yes. Great. Well, maybe you succeeded with these at least. I don't know. My roll was higher in the other room. But... <laughs> okay. We'll go ahead and, uh, and, and work from uh, initiative here again. So, Harmony. Uh, well, Doc coming over, does that uh, help me see further into the... Mm-hmm. Uh, depths of this room. You can see down about 30 feet the chains and see up about 30 mm-hmm. feet the chain seems to keep going both directions. Could I make out just as it whizzed past me whether it went whether the mist went down or up? Down. Yeah. Presumably. That makes sense. Uh, nothing to see or hear in that 30 feet presumably. No. Okay. Uh, Harmony is going to uh, maybe say just sort of offhandedly so was the scroll worth it? 
We don't know. I mean, when they will say, not... hard to say, it's, it's powerful it's... necromantic magic, but beyond my ability to... <laughs> Sometimes really necromancy is. is good for raising. If you want to hand it off to Doc on your on, yeah. so I can look at it on my turn with a help action and or guidance, that'd probably be yeah. pretty dope. What's your mod for okay. Arcana? Mina. Better than yours. I mean, I'm sure, <laughs> but just out of curiosity. Uh, I get a plus eight on that okay. and and a double proficiency on uh, checks related to magical items. Nice. So, uh, cool. I mean, Mina is very interested in finding out what this thing is that we found, so... I'm, I'm not looking to sprint off in a new direction until, you know, Doc's had a chance to look at the, uh, you know, the nerdy piece of paper. But, uh, <laughs> okay. uh, so anyway, so yeah, Mina will, you know, do her usual ready in action. Sonny will... Recover stay... your bolts? What's Already, that? He did that. Oh, okay. I missed that. Sorry. Uh, Sonny will stand by the door here just to ready in action if anything comes through that door to attack it, and Mina will ready in action to shoot anything that, if anything attacks them. That's it. Winley. Uh, Winley will come over, give the scroll to Doc, and then give Doc a help action. Can't give you guidance because I still have my magic going. Of course. For a couple more minutes, but... Okay. Uh, Esmeralda st- seems to be still kind of contemplating the chain and, and whether the pursuit is, uh, is worthwhile. Is worth it, yeah. Ash. I'm just going to hang out for right now. Um, I'm interested in the scroll as well. Do you have any, like, spare healing? Uh, yeah, I can heal you a little bit. Um, I'm getting low on health spell slots, so if I yeah. want to save that for combat, maybe we could take a short rest somewhere. Um, yeah. I could also, if we wanted to, while we're sitting here, uh, use a third level spell to give us... Um, a maximum of... Is that spirit thing? Yeah, the aura of vitality. The spiritual weapon, but for healing instead. It lasts nice. up to one minute, and it just says you can use a bonus action to cause one creature in the aura to regain 2d6 hit points. So however many bonus actions in one minute. So yeah. ten. Right. I'd say save it. I, so, I'm moderately wounded, but nothing that, like, we can hold off until the next, until we see what happens. I'm at around half. Do we want to take a short rest and spend some hit dice? I'm vehemently against doing any kind of resting in this place. Yeah, I mean, I still have all three of my third level spell slots. So I could use one of those and still have two left and give us a total of ten 2d6s. I'm at full spell slots still. Up to the party, but that's an offer that Winley makes. I think it's it's kind of contingent on what the scroll is, so... uh... Also, like, because yeah, if, like, if we have what we came for, then I suspect our. Winley also very only... much wants to find Gertruda. Just throwing that out there. That's true. And yes. the the werewolf guy, if we can. Yeah, yeah. Still a yeah, couple we... things we would like to accomplish okay. here, if possible. Mission number one is figuring out how to yeah. bring Harmony back, of course. Are you talking about healing spirit, by the way? No. No. Oh, it's something different. Okay, just curious. Oh, was I thinking uh, of something else then? Or? I thought it was healing spirit. So did I? Or I also I also that. have healing spirit. But it is a maximum of, I think, my spell um, modifier. One yeah. plus your spell casting ability mod. I gotcha. This uh, one just says as a bonus action for the duration. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. I, I mean, up to you, Winley, if you want to do that. I agree. I don't think we should take a short rest yet. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm down 30, so I could definitely use some healing one way or another. Ash. But not my turn. So. I mean, my vote is to do a short rest. I think we can barricade a door somewhere and, and be relatively safe while we take an hour rest. But that's just me. I'll go with the group. Did they put that on the duck? Druid yeah. spell list? Mm-hmm. Um, so this is with an additional plus three for the, mm-hmm. uh, no much, for the artificer stuff. Okay, you are... On yep. <laughs> it. I know exactly what this thing is. This is a scroll of Ray's Dead. Okay, this is what we came for. That's what we came for. Yep. Cool, cast it! <laughs> yeah. Do you need the body for it? Yes, we yeah. sure do. You do need a body for it. Oh, what does it take to actually cast that? Isn't, like, it, isn't it like a fifth level spell? It is a fifth level spell. Yeah, but so... That's what the value of the scroll is. Nothing that we can do. Well, again, you still need the body. That's well, yeah, but I, as far as who can cast it... leg in the bag of holding. Ugh. Uh, no, you did not. <laughs> you need the whole body. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, and then it is back to Harmony. 
Uh, well, Harmony brightens somewhat um, upon uh, hearing, assuming Doc says it out loud. Yep. Uh, and then sort of darkens a bit and is like, do we know anyone who's capable of casting that powerful of magic? Probably not, but we'll figure it out. Esmeralda? Or Harmony will be <laughs> like, some does she? Or does she know anyone who's capable of it? But that, I mean, Harmony's just going to kind of like... Uh, contemplate being freed from the shackles of death and for her turn. Yeah. Okay. Mina. Um, yeah, very pleased with having found what we came here for. Um, Mina is now... I mean, we're all, we're all still kind of standing here milling around a little bit trying to decide what to do. I mean, Mina is um, very pro- trying to find a way out now like i mean as as fun as it is to wander around in this deadly castle you know <laughs> wondering what we might find i kind of feel like our top priority now is to get out so uh, i guess like she spends her turn kind of fielding that out there like do we what are we thinking uh winley does not want to leave without at least trying to find gertruda and she is as far as we know, on this floor. Yeah. Yeah. Winley thinks we should at least finish exploring this floor, and then if we want to get out, fine. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, okay. I mean, I, I don't have any uh particular inclination as to like where she might be now so i guess do you guys want to follow in the direction towards the coffins here or i mean it's a sheer drop isn't it so yeah that's what i thought well then uh, then mina will suggest okay then i saw like lots of stuff back this direction let's maybe let's go that way there's also a door here and door here and a door here yep Presumably, okay. well, then, guys go to the same place, but then since I have to do something, Mina will spend her turn walking back out here. Okay, uh, and that's me. Okay, Winley. Um, oh, sorry, I was checking something. Um, yeah, Winley is firmly in camp. Finish exploring this floor and then get the fuck out if we need to. She does not want to follow the chain down into the potential doom dungeon. Um, so she's, I mean, she's basically just going to say that to the rest of the party. You know, we should finish exploring this floor, see if we can find Gertruda, and then get out. And then we'll head back into the library area. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda uh, seems to kind of get, noticing everybody else is going a different way, gives up on the chain, and we'll follow you all back into the study. Uh, and then it is Ash. Okay, I'm going to move into the study as well. I'm just going to double move to about here. Uh, I think do one more. There we go. I'll be here. Okay. That's me for now. And Doc. All right. Study, I guess. Okay. Harmony. Uh, yeah, Harmony will obviously stick with the rest of the group, um, kind of casting one last glance before her void vision fades to make sure no vampires are creeping up the chain. Uh, but we'll uh, kind of follow back with the rest of the group. She, um, I mean, can't make any sounds as far as, like, tapping her feet, but uh, now that she has a way out of... Or thinks she does. Doc seems fairly sure that she has a way Doc out. Is she certain. Thank uh, you very much. She seems uh, kind of antsy. Um, she, her body language is definitely shifted to like, all right, come on, we got to get out of here before anybody else dies. Uh, but she's so she seems um, raring to go in terms of like leaving. But when if. When Winley mentions, or if someone mentions Gertrude, she'll be like, oh yeah, we did promise that poor woman that we'd check. Yeah, it, it would also be great to find the werewolf guy, but mm, that's kind of low on the priority list. <laughs> I think we need to get, I think, I think getting Harmony back, honestly, I'm, I'm worried every minute that we spend in here, I'm worried we're just going to get annihilated. So well, if we find I him on the way out. Gertrude, because we're, we're already here and we don't know a way out. 
So, uh, but I, I mean, do think, I don't know. We have a pretty good idea of way out. Uh, we don't do even we? really know what floor we're on unless we yeah. want to just yeah, jump off the roof. I mean, there, <laughs> there was the tower that led to right. the roof, which right. we could a, like, potentially so jump far, onto. And if we go down the spiral staircase that we came down from, if we keep going down, I'm pretty sure that meets up with the main hall at, at some floor. And I, then the front door is right there. Honestly, I'd almost prefer just going back to the blood bathroom and climbing out the window, uh, following back the way as Prelda came in. But yes, I see what you're saying that we could we could go down that way too. Yeah, Winley is also in favor of getting out of the castle as quickly as possible once we decide to leave. So probably out the window is going to be Winley's preference. Doc's got Featherfall, right? Yep. <clears throat> for himself or for multiple people? I have enough spot slots for everyone so far. Okay. I mean, that's most of my slots. I, well, can't, of you, can't, can't you upcast I, it on multiple people? Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. I would okay. prefer not to jump off of a roof. Oh, well, climb! I, was saying, I trust Doc, but... See, I can, see I what we do is we cast Featherfall on the cleric, and the rest of us jump, and then he heals someone us from... Like, someone was like, hey, Tom, I have magic, and I can make it so you can safely fall off this bridge... I still wouldn't be able to force myself oh, yeah, off also that don't bridge. Know I would, bridge. My instinct would not be yeah. to do it. It's Even if that. I saw it happen in real life. I, I, me as a character, I prefer to go downstairs. Well, yeah. Fair enough. Um, um, the hurling well, ourselves out the window is a uh, plan B, C. Um, my, my character feels like her skin is crawling the entire time she's been in this place, and I'm not a great climber either, but if Esmeralda came in through the window... I'm, I'd at least want to go look and see, you know, if we just tie a rope, I have rope, you know, if we just yeah. tie a rope and, but anyway, I want to go look through this door. Okay. Uh, peeking through that door, you see a grandiose bed chamber. Uh, mm -hmm. The room is de uh, ador adorned and decorated with many fineries. Uh, a sweet smell is wafting from this delicately lit room. Uh, there's a grand arch window on the west wall, which seems to look out towards the front gates of the castle. Uh, and a heavy uh, four-poster bed uh, sits on the north side, uh, canopied by uh, scarlet silk curtains, uh, and sits with a headboard against the north wall. Carved into the headboard with great skill is a very large Z. Uh, and laying amid the velvet and satin sheets and bedclothes is a young woman in a nightgown who seems to be unconscious. Hey guys, is it what Gertruda? Does Gertruda look, what does Gertruda look like? Uh, like like her mom. I mean, we could just wake her up and ask, but yeah, I think or I it's know, a vampire. And we now, what does Z stand for? We'll we'll move in there, Sunny and Mina, and then just we'll wait to let Sorry. the rest of the party. You know, do, do stuff. Winley. Uh, did you need healing, Mina? I am going to go ahead and cast Aura of Vitality. I mean, if you're doing that, then yeah, I'll well, hang out. Maybe wait to see if this woman needs healing. Yeah, you could include should, her. We'd need to retcon that a little bit. I mean, it, like yeah, Aura of Vitality lasts for a minute, so I can cast it, then we can wake her up, you know, and be healing other people during those rounds. Well, why don't you, on your round, your on your turn, your cast head. it, and we'll just, since we're acting in order anyway, we can kind of do that real time, because I'm not sure, like, what round I'll be close enough to you or whatever. Yeah. I don't know where you are. Uh, so I'll, I'll go ahead and cast Aura Vitality. Okay, um, there's, that should be going into the chat. Who is the most injured? Me. Well, you're dead. <laughs> Or if I tell him, I'll bring you back. Sorry. <laughs> All right, I'll use the I'll use the first bonus action on myself and take two d six. Okay. So that's one. So I get ten of these total. Does our vitality bring me back to life? No. Damn. <laughs> and I'll I'll keep track of how many like win the rounds. Okay. When that ends. Group hug. Group hug, Willie. Really. Uh, Esmeralda seems to be more more or less fine uh, and kind of ma makes her way over to the door as well to uh, to see what man is up to. Ash. Um, I guess if we're just doing this in rounds, I'll take my turn with the orb. Is that how that works? Or is right now the orb being used up by... I don't know how the orb works. Or the aura, aura, the aura of vitality. Aura. Uh, so on my turn, I can use a bonus action to heal one. Okay, so one I, creature. Like I need to go over and take my turn at the aura or, aura or anything. No, it's a fifteen okay. or thirty foot radius radiating from me. So whenever well, you then, want healing, you just have to be within thirty feet of me on my turn. 
On your turn. Okay, yeah. well, I'm, I'm just going to go through the door here. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll obviously move with the party. Okay, Doc. Um, I mean, I'll head over to the door. I, I'm at about two-thirds health, um, so, I mean, I don't have an urgent need, but I wouldn't say no either, you know, so. Yeah, I figure between ten of these, yeah. you know, everyone will get some healing. Yeah, over to ye oldie door. God damn it, Dan. Okay. And Harmony. Uh, Harmony will kind of follow the rest of the party. They went, you went the wrong way. Oh, I'm so sorry. Double door. Double door. Well, Harmony wanders off. Uh, Walks into the screaming <laughs> void and is devoured. Yeah. <laughs> Again. Old the Langoliers got him. Uh, we Har- got the scroll. Har- Harmony will kind of float. Yeah, I can do whatever. <laughs> Harmony will float into the room. Uh, is the woman, does she, is she awake? She okay. seems to be quite unconscious. All right. Uh, Do we as a group know how old Gertruda is? No. We just know it was Mad Mary's. Yeah, that's that's information we probably should have found yeah, out. Yeah, well. <laughs> okay, that's about as far as Harmony right. can get. So can she's just going to kind of, again, while the rest of the party interacts with the mortal world, <laughs> uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on the exits and see if any for Doro comes back for another round. Okay. She doesn't know the timing on these things. Uh, yeah, that'll be Harmony's turn. Already in action for a warning. Just okay. assume, I guess. Sure. Mina. Okay, uh, well, since it got back around to me before anyone else did this, Mina will walk over to the bed and crossbow drawn, very careful. Um, uh, she'll just say in kind of a low voice, Hey, Hey, you on you on the bed? <laughs> I don't know. Hey, lady. <laughs> yeah, uh, she sort of stirs but does not awake. Uh, oh. Okay. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll go uh, wake I'll, her up I'll, I'll, if you want. It's, this can be my turn, but I'll like cough loudly or like do something even louder. Like, hey. Okay. Winley. Uh, Winley will. Take a double move to get, well, it'll only be one to get to where I can see where the bed is. Okay. Uh, does Gertruda, <laughs> we're assuming, does the person look like she's not waking because she's unconscious and needs healing? Or does she just look like she's in a very deep sleep? A very deep sleep. Okay. Uh, Mina, go ahead and bonus action. Take 2d6 healing. Oh, thank you. Yep. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda sort of uh, follow, follows you all in and looks at her um, and kind of cocks her head. Do you think perhaps she's been enchanted? Well, we'll have to find that out. Ash. I say, and then I step towards the body and try and wake her up. I think I'm standing on. Me That's yep. me. That's yep. right. I'll just come to the other side of the bed. Okay. That's easier. I'm going to kind of shake her awake. Okay. Uh, with, with kind mm-hmm. of your, your shaking, she, she blinks uh, and kind of... T- it takes a, a very grandiose, almost cat-like uh, stretch and yawn, um, and sets, sets up, sits up and goes, Good, uh, Goodness, uh, who, who all are you? Are you Gert... Uh, I can't talk. Are you... Gertruda. Thank you. I say that. <laughs> fuck me. Well, yes, I am. And she looks like this. Oh, oh my. She looks like a creepy Victorian doll. And no... I. It, I, my eyes are immediately drawn to the coverings on her neck. Is that just shadow, or does she actually have coverings on her neck? She has some sort of neck scarf on. God damn it. I mean, uh, we already know that strad has been feeding on her. Yeah, but we also need to figure out if she's been turned, for sure. Do I feel like... Do I feel like if I attacked her, I would get favored? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't metagaming! <laughs> She, uh, she, at the, at the present moment seems very alive. <laughs> God damn it, man. Right when I took a drink, too. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. That one, it's, I'm, it's not even my turn. You sense undead within a mile. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> hmm. Can't well, imagine why. I finally honed senses. I could try and do a turn and see if she ran out the room. <laughs> Yes, these, these are good uses of our re- limited resources. We could resources. also just check her teeth. <laughs> or her pulse. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> Maybe should have done that before we woke her up. God damn it, dude. Doc. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, so that door to the south goes over to the uh, bath uh, to the bathroom there. Uh, I'm just going to hold the door. 
Okay. Uh, Harmony. Uh, Harmony, upon hearing her respond in the affirmative that she's Gertruda, will kind of uh, remember that side quest and kind of flow over to regard her. Yeah, yeah, I can see the resemblance a little bit. Um, so Harmony is kind of like mentally checking off the check boxes and will kind of like regard the party and be like, have we, I know we're trying to find an exit strategy. Do we know if Esmeralda's coming with us? And that'll be her turn. And she'll ready in action again to, I mean, call out a warning if anything catches her attention that the rest of the party's distracted by. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I was going to ask her, um, Esmeralda, I mean, uh, you know, just registering that this is Gertruda, probably, right? I mean, we have no reason to think she's lying or whatever. Uh, Mina will turn and looking at Esmeralda, uh, do you think that we could get back out the way that you came in? Or do you, uh, what's, what was your plan for leaving the castle? Um, Esmeralda sort of contemplates the, the question from a moment. Now, to be perfectly clear, I had not considered how to escape just yet, although it seems we perhaps have found a good time to do so. Um, there are many staircases le leading up and down the castle. Presumably one could get us to the grounds. I do have rope, uh, although with the storm outside, I don't know how safe it would be to simply climb. Wasn't it... How long ago did you... Wasn't it stormy when you got here? She says she's been here for a couple days. Yeah, no, here. oh, yeah. that's, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, I remember. Of course. No. Um, okay. Uh, well, knowing that Ash was sort of inclined to find an interior way out anyway. I uh, think they you know, know a way out. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm, from the maps I've been keeping, I'm pretty sure if we just take the spiral staircase that we've already gone to this floor on, just down, yeah. and up, we will find the main hall. How far up okay, we um, well, Mina's going to then try to just gather Gertruda, like, and get her moving, like, off the bed, and, uh, Gertruda, we need to leave. She seems kind of confused by that, and, and kind of, you know, if Mina's kind of, like, beckoning or something, kind of, like, waves her hand. Why would I leave? No, I mean, Mina, uh, sure, I'm not gonna, like, uh, grapple with her or anything, I guess, but Mina was, like, kind of putting an arm around her and like pulling her kind of out of the bed but uh if she if she seems resistant and asks that uh it's not it's really really not safe here gertruda and we want to get you home um she she sort of frowns and then scoffs as as mina finishes speaking home How, you think home is safer than here no no it's not yeah that bitch has kept me locked up in that house for over 20 years what do you think is going to happen to you here? Nothing. Everything's fine here. Okay, well, see. Hmm, as well, might be right about that enchantment. Yeah, your home might not be great, and we can deal with that uh, when we're back in Barovia, but uh, we we simply can't stay here. You'll you'll die here. And then I'm sure that's my turn. Okay, good. Um, who needs the next healing? I mean, who's still I low? will take healing. I don't need it per se. And I would also, if you actually asked Ash, she would say you'll heal others first. I would, I would want to be last, if at all. Okay, I don't know what anyone's health is at. So I'm at forty-two out of sixty. Okay, Mina, what are you at? Uh, I'm at forty-three out of fifty-nine right now, and there's Sunny. Okay, uh, so you said Doc, you're at forty. Uh, forty-two. But forty-two. Yes. Okay, Doc, take. 2d6. Thank you. I know Esmeralda um, took some damage in that fight. And then Winley will kind of turn to Ash and I don't know where Ash is. Uh, somewhere. I'm on the other side of the bed here. Oh, okay, there you are. Uh, Winley will step over there and, and kind of whisper to Ash, you know, maybe Esmeralda you know, was onto something when she asked if uh, Gertrude was perhaps enchanted. Mm -hmm. Any way you could check or, you know, fix that? I mean, um... I you can't don't... concentrate on two spells at once. You use asking my... answering my question. Oh. Uh, I don't think I have any way of breaking enchantments that I know of. Okay. Um, I'm also kind of low on squads, so even if I did have something, I don't think I'd want to use it right now. Maybe we should actually just try diplomacy. You know, try and make a persuasion for it to come out. 
Because it might not be enchantment. It might just be just stubbornness, not wanting to go home to mom. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if she's being actively fed on by a vampire, she wouldn't yeah, just be like, it's great here. She she could be being treated like a princess. I mean, look at this room. I mean, the feast downstairs, they obviously have human food, you know. Yeah. So. Winley is Choice from suspect. being on, but being pampered or being locked in your mother's house and never let out because your mom's paranoid? What yeah, would you choose? Yeah. Hard to say. Um, well, that's that's Winley's turn. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda uh, kind of make, makes her way over to the bed and uh, with very little ceremony uh, grabs the, the scarf around her neck and yanks it down. Uh, you can all see quite clearly that she's been bit Easily a dozen times on each side of her neck. Yep. Uh, Ash. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and try the persuasion and just, uh, like, tactics saying, you know, look, look at yourself, you know, if there's any mirrors, I might gesture toward the mirror and just be like, look at those bites on your neck. This is obviously not a good place. If you don't want to return home, then we can find something else for you, but you shouldn't stay here. And I'm gonna try a persuasion. Okay. If I can find it. Not performance, persuasion. There we go. Normal roll. Okay. Um, she she kind of gives a sigh and rolls her eyes. Ugh, fine. Where are we going? Oh, so she's just a brat. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Done. I mean, that uh, might not be the enchantment part. <laughs> I do also feel the need to point out that she pretty clearly falls under the category of things we want, not need. So I feel like... Like, I'm not, yeah. not saying that should stop us from doing what we're doing. I just am going to point that out. And then, uh... But she's a quest marker, I, right? We can't leave the quest marker behind. I understand we can't <laughs> leave the... <laughs> person who you were I mean, is Strad going to be happy that we're taking his, like, perpetual Strad dinner? Us, no, know, and but... That his, his kids would try and kill us if we went through, but we could do whatever we wanted, so... If Strahd gets mad at us and he, he confronts us about it, I'm just going to go with that excuse, being like, hey, you invited us here and didn't give us any restrictions other than your kids would try and eat us. All right, so we so we wanted to head back to the store, the stairs in kind of the southeast corner here, yeah? Winley yeah. is very much in favor of at least checking to see if we could climb down first because going every every movement through the castle is more potential to bump into more vampires, whereas I feel like the chance of them just, like, hanging but, out on the outside of the castle are lower. We, we, but we, we have seen out windows. This is a torrential downpour, right, man? Yes. Like, it's a heavy storm. It's yep. dark, it's stormy, yep. it's really bad. It's like hurricane right out there. Yeah, and also okay. the, uh, the, dude, well. the dude did mention something about gargoyles being up on the roof. I don't know if that's just the tower that he was talking about, but there's... A non-zero chance that there's something yeah, on the fair. roof too. So we're like, checking. That and also taking a non-adventurer out a window in a torrent oh, via a rope in a torrential yeah, downpour is probably uh, yeah. yeah. So I guess I'll start heading towards at the door here. I, you want me to keep to normal move speed? I take it. So I'll just double check the crack the door here and make sure there's no one through here before I just go barging in. Uh, no, there is no one there. No one down there. Alright, so I'm gonna use the last, what, like, 15 feet of my move to just be at this door and maybe crack that door, too, if you'll let me. Yeah. Did you see my chat, The right? room beyond is empty. Uh, we uh, were checking to see if she was whammied, uh, similar right. to Eastmark earlier. Uh, okay. So, is the plan to retrace our steps on the way out of here? We're not... Presumably, we're not pushing any further, right? We're heading well, for the so exits right we now. We can't retrace our steps exactly because we got to this floor from the elevator. And we right, don't know right. But character. we're not, like, pushing forward into the weird tower Mina found exactly. or anything exactly. else. Exactly. Yeah. We're going back to the stairs, and if, if I'm correct on my mapping, this stairwell should lead down, um, if not all the way, at least to a way to get to the bottom floor, the first floor. And I, I made it here on my move, by the way. Yep. Just I'm going to double move as well. Uh, that's as far as I can get with 60 feet. So, assuming the doors are open and I'm capable of passing through them, unless Doc yep. was kicking them closed behind him, I'm just sort of following with Doc. Harmony kind of like is like... That'd be, 
That'd be such a dick move. It's like, all right, guys, let's all move out. Kicks door closed behind himself as he moves through. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Harmony will keep her ears. She, she's she's letting herself uh, hope again of, like, actually returning. She kind of mentally was like, oh, this is just some sick game. Strahd's playing with us. He's not, would have actually given us away back. But now she's kind of like, the, 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 the uh, it's close enough now that she's starting to get pretty antsy about it. Okay. Mina. All right. Um, Mina will move double time. Well, who's, uh, I guess, who's going to be escorting Gertruda? Like, what, what turn will she, does she have her own turn? Uh, she'll just be going on Esmeralda's turn. Okay. Um, Ash, since you go right after them, do you want to kind of be their rear, like, rear escort, sort of? Okay. I just want to, I didn't want to go sprinting out of the room and <laughs> leaving, leaving them behind. Uh, so I'll go, uh, five, thirty, uh, and I'll double move. Brings me to that. Oh, hey, Doc. <laughs> Uh, I'll go on the other side of Doc. You could say, uh, what's up, Doc? I'm surprised I've made it uh, yeah, that's making me. that joke. <laughs> uh, does Esmeralda need any healing? Uh, I mean, she, she took a couple of hits in that fight. You can heal yourself, Is she right? more or less injured than anyone else? She did not seem particularly beat up, although it's hard to tell with all the blood still covering her clothes and whatnot. I mean, yeah, that's I would give her at least one just in case. Um, let's see, who else is still around? I was going to give, okay, I'll, I'll walk over and give the next one to Sunny. So Sunny, take 2d6. Okay. And then I'll continue my move. Uh, did you guys go back into the murder yeah. music room? Yeah. Okay. Let me measure out how far I can actually get here. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, cool. I can get into the. Recognizing now is probably not the time. Do you think all the blood in the bathtub is hers? No, I doubt it. She just climbed in. Oh, you mean Gertrude? Yeah. I thought you meant Esmeralda. Uh -huh. Oh, God, I hope she didn't go in that with an open wound. Oh, I God. doubt it. Um, yep. Okay. You know, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, I think Sonny, I, I forgot that he goes on Mina's turn. So, Dan, if you don't want to yep. do that, because he would have been out of range of uh, Winley's... Well, I'm in the music room now, so... Works either way. Okay. He, he's he's within okay. thirty feet at this point, so. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Uh, Esmeralda and Gertruda kind of uh, follow follow Mina through as they're going. Uh, Gertruda is kind of in, in almost a, a teenageish sort of whiny way, going, "Ugh, where are we going?" <laughs> just Esmeralda, just <laughs> tell her the twenty. She said, "Yeah, very bad." Uh, Ash. All right, I'm taking a rear. Regard. Boop. 30. Okay. I'll be here. I like how all of you to a man, woman, and child walked through a wall. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I, didn't. I, I forgot the door was way over here. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't. I Look, didn't. I'm a ghost, okay? I, watched, I watched your, your angle, angles. Most of you walked through a wall. I, <laughs> I forgot the door was way over the part. I measured to the door and then over. Yeah, I, I am merely amused. <laughs> I, say, I explicitly went to the door and said I was checking the door. Yeah, Doc. I will end my turn here. <laughs> Doc. Yeah, um, well, I guess I'll take point and because I, I already said I cracked this door, so through yonder door to the stairs. Okay, and as, as you saw earlier, the stairs that you came down still lead up, and there's still a set of stairs leading down. Well, I will start heading down. Well, they didn't change. Okay. Does anybody want to do anything else on this floor? Uh, no. Okay, then I'm just going to consolidate all of you for the purposes yep. of... You don't uh, want us all to use our turns to get to the stairs now? Nope. <laughs> Are we effectively using a turn to get this to the stairs? Yes. Okay, give Esmeralda 2d6. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I'm moving you all on to the next floor. Uh, you should have vision roughly around the same part of the map you had before. <clears throat> Good call, Joe. Looks like a staircase. Alright, harmony. Uh, well, presumably that door is not open. 
Uh, do we not? Well, but Harmony will spend her action listening. Okay. Booga boogity. You hear the same faint sound of scratching like a quill on paper. Uh, okay. Harmony Keep will <laughs> Harmony will quietly uh, mention to the rest of the party. Sounds like someone might be writhing. One of my people <laughs> barges through door. No, not actually, but okay. Yeah. I concur. <laughs> Uh, Mina will, uh, well, I don't know, I, uh, kind of quickly look to Ash, like, since Ash kind of has been keeping track. Okay, yeah, I, I'm gonna, like, keep going down. And, yeah. Okay, when we do that. Uh, just trying to determine who needs the next healing. No one speak. I will take a healing since everyone else has gotten to go. What about you, Winley? <laughs> I gave myself one. Okay. Uh, okay. Ash, 2d6 for you. And you get 2d6 healing. And you get 2d6 <laughs> yeah. healing. Twinly, are you continuing on the stairs? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll follow. Okay. Uh, Esmeralda nice. does, not, does not stop at the door and continues her way down uh, with Gertruda and Ash. I continue down. Okay. Uh, Doc? Doc briefly looks longingly at the door and then continues down. Harmony shakes her head. Okay. <laughs> this ain't it, Chief. Uh, Harmony will also continue down. Uh, uh, presumably nothing distinctive about the writing uh, just sound. Just scr- scratchy, scratchy. Okay. Uh, Chief contemplates yelling nerd through the door, but doesn't do it. And just continues. <laughs> How dare you disparage my people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, then with that, uh, you all descend uh, another 50 feet or so to a familiar-looking hall. Hey! Uh-huh. 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 Now are we going to... We're not trying our luck to uh, check the dungeons for Emil, presumably? Say, hey, yeah, I was going to say, is the uh, dining room door actually there yes. on this side? Yep. Huh. Well, the door was there. You know, guys, I'm still kind of hungry. We could just go back in there and just help ourselves a little bit before we go. Okay. Either way, Harmony. Uh, Harmony will kind of... I mean, she doesn't know what the rest of the party's gonna do, but she is going to step out into the... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, interesting increments there. Um, she's going to step out, uh, take 30 feet, I guess, and just kind of, like, uh, look around, and that could involve a perception check. I think I see someone. Yep. Uh, is that the guy who brought us here? Yes, uh, it appears that Rohayden is standing by a pillar. Um, he uh, actually does look directly at Harmony as Harmony comes around the corner. Uh, Harmony, oh wow. Uh, do I notice anything else with my super good perception roll? Nothing you didn't see on your... Oh, okay. Well, I guess you, didn't, you haven't actually been in this room. Uh, so this room is a large, grandiose uh, kind of entry hall with a number of columns. There's a huge staircase off to the north, uh, large ornate double doors to the left and right, and uh, gargoyle statues up on the kind of plinths uh, about 20 feet up off the floor. Uh, how? So does he? is he just looking straight at me? Yes. And he it, wasn't? Like, like, his eyes literally follow you as you walk around the corner. Harmony will kind of... Um, a little startled. She's like, kind of cocks her head. It's like... Wait, you can see me? He just give, gives a bit of a smirk at that question, but doesn't reply. Okay. Mina. And Harmony will kind of like Mina. call him. So, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um. Well, I mean, now that we're back in familiar territory, I kind of am like, should we poke our head down the stairs? I mean, he gave us all night to look around. Um, and again, only because now we, we have a way out. Uh... Did Harmony indicate anything from where where she's standing over there? Um, she walked out. You can probably still see her. She probably reacted in like a she kind of like like a double take sort of way, where she's clearly like looking off towards the entrance. And you probably heard her say because I don't think she said it very quietly. Like, wait, you can see me. So she's addressing someone, not the party that okay. apparently can see her. All right, then Mina's going to walk around the corner to see what's going on over there. Okay. Uh, looking to the north, you see what you see, including uh, Rahayden standing by one of the columns there. Winley. Uh, I will, um, I suppose, step up here. Okay. Don't forget and... the healings. No, we cast the rest of them. Okay. Yeah, we finished uh, that. And that's it. Okay. 
Uh, Esmeralda kind of kind of cautiously come. I'm sorry, I've got to, I've still got the stack here. I gotta dig through all of you yep, for a moment. Yep. Uh, Esmeralda uh, kind of cut, creep, creeps up to the uh, the corner here by Mina, uh, and with Gertruda kind of dutifully following at her heels. Um, <coughs> he peeks the corner, but doesn't like you know jump out and be open in the same way that uh, Harmony has. Uh, gosh. To be fair, I will I follow around the corner <laughs> here. Yeah, sorry for blowing our stealth there, guys. I didn't. The, the Dan told me to stop asking if people could see me right before we met the guy who could see me. <laughs> Typical. Doing anything else, Ash? Uh, uh, no, I'm just gonna, okay. gonna come around and hold. Because Harmony doesn't know who this guy is, right? Nope, has not met him. Yep. Uh, Doc. <clears throat> Alright, are uh, we uh, go continuing down or are we heading out? I mean, I guess, we, I guess we should just try to get out since we need to go get Harmony, and we have Gertruda with us. Well, it might be now or never for Emil. Well, that might be Emil's problem. <laughs> Woof. I, I mean, we're right next to the egg. I don't know. I don't know. We also probably don't have that much time to, act, to really talk about this. Yeah. Has anyone else revealed themselves to Rahayden? I mean, Mina and I are around the corner at this point, yeah, so really assume he sees the two of us at the very least. Okay. Uh, well, Harmony. Uh, Harmony will kind of... Um, uh, I mean, she's more curious than she is afraid. We'll kind of, like, walk towards him. He didn't do anything on whatever turn he got, right? No. He just, just seems to be watching those of you who've come around okay. the corner. Hermione will uh, kind of like... a bit of an amused smile. Hermione will kind of like walk towards him, uh, kind of like addressing him, just in like... She, and she kind of, like, as she approaches him, she tries to start off diplomatically, but it becomes more like an insistent, and like... It's like, <laughs> who are you? What happened to me? What is going on? Can what does Strahd want? <laughs> get him to look the other way so we can sneak the people that aren't. Uh, I mean, yeah, out. she's just kind of like floating, walking ghostly towards him and just kind of like peppering him with questions in an increasingly desperate, desperate sort of way. Okay. Uh, make a persuasion check. Oh! Oh! Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> Probably a little bit of agitation in the voice as well. Yeah. 17. Okay. Um, he, he kind of regards Harmony as Harmony's walking towards him, uh, and, and kind of, t- kind of continues his amused smile. The master's business is his own, and certainly none of yours, dead woman. He looks to, uh, Ash and Mina and Doc, uh, kind of down the hall. Have you found what you're looking for, or are you still chasing your tails, hmm? Do not care for that attitude. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What is it to you? Mina. Mina. <laughs> oh, um, what is it to you? <laughs> <laughs> walk into that, I suppose. Uh, no, no, Mina will, uh, walk up. Um, we were just looking for the door, actually. Hmm. Well, it seems you found, uh, found your way out. But, as the Master did grant you permission to explore, you're certainly welcome to stay. In fact, I would quite invite it. And he gives you a, certainly a bit of a creepy smile. It's not ominous at all. No, not at all. Maybe you could just give us some kind of, a, you know, rain check. <laughs> he, he gives a bit of a smirk. I'm afraid that is beyond my permission to grant. Winley. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to hold my action... Um, my action being casting a guiding bolt if we get attacked. <laughs> okay. Uh, Esmeralda is still kind of hiding around the corner, clearly not interested in, in giving away the, the fact that she is sure. here. Uh, Gertruda is kind of like tapping her foot impatiently. <laughs> uh, clearly not aware of the danger or cognizant of the danger or thinking herself not in danger. Ash. Um. Yeah, I'm going to just kind of move forward here. Ah, Jesus. Hold on. i got to zoom in a little bit here. Get a better idea of the squares I can be in. Yeah, I'll be right here. Um, And I'm just going to kind of set myself in between him and and kind of the party. Um, 
And yeah, I'll, I'll just say, you know, if, if we decide to stay or leave, I don't see what business is of yours unless you're going to try and hinder us one way or the other. It is his house, technically. Doc. Like... <clears throat> All right. Um, so we've, we've established that we're leaving the werewolf here. Is what we've landed on, yes? I don't think so. He, I mean, we're sort of <clears throat> dealing with this guy, at the, seeing how much of a hindrance he's going to be. Fair but enough. he did sort of insist slash encourage yeah. us to look around the, the, a little the more. Biggest, the biggest problem we have with this guy right now is we can't, we're, we're hoping that, we're assuming that he shouldn't see Gertruda or um, um, Esmeralda. Um, Esmeralda. Because we have the open invitation to explore, Esmeralda does not. Right. And so... And he would probably not be particularly happy with us being like, and we're taking Gertruda. Yeah, exactly. Probably not giving you guys a ride back with our uh, yeah, extra. Yeah, probably not. Let's try and convince this guy to, like, leave. Like, go away. To just yeah. fuck off? Leave us to our business. I mean, I would say as a backup plan, we could pull back, go up to that other, the story we kind of skipped on the way up, and see if we can rope slash feather fall our way out from there and not have to deal with him at all. We could also try and figure out how the uh, 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 the elevator works, but... Might be a way out through the dungeons. Okay. Um, either way, I'm going to stay back with the, uh, civil the, the red shirt and the civilian <laughs> here. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, just so that we're not, yeah, leaving them unattended. Okay. So, so I'm going to more or less chill here and Ready action for if something comes from behind or something like that. Okay. Harmony. Uh, Harmony will bristle at his dismissiveness. Um, and she's not in the best mental state anyways. Does the whispering sound any louder or anything like you can that? Hear it. Or, okay. uh, is this guy pretty obviously <laughs> vampiric? No. He's not. Okay. Well, he, he was walking around in the daytime, oh, wasn't right. he? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Harmony will kind of like stalk right up to him. Uh, presuming he doesn't do anything to like affect her. Uh, uh, and she, she just kind of like, uh, will say kind of in a lower tone to him, I will not be dead for much longer and I will remember what your master has done to me. Uh, he, he kind of seems to, to be ignoring Harmony at this point, although he seems again, so aware of what she's saying and, and that she's there uh, and kind of looks to the rest of you. So what will it be then? Are you going to stay and continue to amuse the residents, or will you take your leave? And that out of out of out of the initiative order here, open open response. Okay, uh, my response would be immediately to just be again like, what is it to you? Why do you care if we come and go? Why don't you leave us to our business and just leave us alone? I'm gonna try and persuade him to leave. Like, go away. Unless he has a response to I mean, say I why think, he's waiting in here. I think the suggestion is that he's technically our ride out. Yeah, but I want mm -hmm. him to say that. I, I don't want to assume okay, that. Okay, fair enough. So I want him to either respond or I want to have that be a persuade action to have him go away. I mean, are, are you... Well, so I mean, just, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'll roll the dice. I'm going to click on it here. Uh, right there it is. God damn it. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find that. Um, he, he kind of, kind of gives a bit of a smirk and does not seem particularly, uh, persuaded to leave, uh, and fix his ash with the gaze. Because I can either let you out now, or I can call some of the residents to continue the entertainment of the evening. Well, I'll let you guys respond to that. What do you guys want to do? Do we want to try and fight, or are we going to accept our way out? fight if we can avoid it, but... Yeah. Can Gertruda yeah, and Esmeralda both fit in the bag of holding? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for however long the air lasts. It's ten minutes, right? Technically, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Ten minutes. I would say it's five minutes each in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's still long enough to walk out the door. <laughs> if we decide, and I'm directing this question to him, if we decide to leave now, would you guarantee our current party's safe passage? Of course. The master was quite insistent that you be allowed to leave as you like. Do you swear that our current party would be able to leave unharmed? I don't I want think he's you to swear it. That level of lawful. I make no oaths to fools such as yourselves. I follow the master's wishes. Well, I tried. Yeah, you did. I mean, our options at this point are pick a direction and go up or down the stairs or try to get out. 
Well, it and, sounds like if we don't choose to go out now, he's going to call residents to come and yeah. hurt us right here, right now, and fight. Uh, I think we should. I think we should leave. Uh, I mean, we don't even know where in the castle for sure this Emil is. I, I, I think we should go. We need to get Harmony back. We have other reasons not to stay here longer, other reasons with, that we don't need to talk about right now. Yeah, so. I, th I think the bigger concern is whether or not he's just going to let us leave with Esmeralda and Gertruda. Yeah. Well, I, th I think we should just start walking and, like, go. This is as close as we are. I mean, he's not going to... He's not going to just, like... If he's standing here, what, are we trying to convince him to leave and, like, let us walk out without him watching? I think That's what Ash was doing, yeah. Well... Yeah, it didn't go very well. Well, we yeah, don't want to just walk out into the storm was, anyways. It's my, torrential. My other plan was to hoping that uh, we could convince him to swear that our current party would be safe. Yeah, no, I, uh, they're not <laughs> neck. They're not lawful. Yeah. So I guess now I'll be like, all right, fine, we'll leave. And I'll just through the door and like, after you. I mean, so Winley will really we'll fully offer the around. bag of holding. <laughs> if they want to climb it. marks. I was only asked to bring you here, but... If you're leaving, he gestures towards the double doors on the uh, west side of the hallway, and the they both both sets, both the immediate set here and the set leading outside, s slam open uh, at his gesture. Uh, the torrential downpour is coming down outside. Well, <laughs> well, I have cold weather, dear. Yeah, I don't think Gertruda in her nightgown does, unfortunately. Wrapper in a cloak. Yeah, it's either that or try to find another way out. Yeah, and I mean, whatever, whatever way out we find, underneath. it's still going to be raining. So. Unless it tunnels. <laughs> yeah, well, I suppose. And how long would it take to get to, uh, I think, is Wallachie still the closest civilization? Yep. Uh, in the carriage, it took you about five or six hours to get here. Jeez. Okay, so it'd be a while. Yeah. Um, we'd be risking death of exposure. I don't know if we want to just blunder off into the night. Was it Harmony that could cast the hut, or did someone it else? It was have Harmony. It? God damn it. <laughs> well, I mean, logic, like, we're, we're kind of between a rock and a hard place here. Like, would, my, would our characters really be like, no, instead, let's fight whatever horrific monsters are in this castle? I mean, I still feel like I'm like, I, I want to leave. We, we yeah, I mean, Winley's a druid. Like, she's cool with nature. You know, like, not that nature won't kill her, but she's like, I would much rather face that than fucking vampires. Right, I mean, and, and I am concerned that our Gertruda might not, you know, be as cozy during the trip, but... Uh... Winley will also give Gertruda her warm weather gear if necessary. Yeah, and we have the extra set from Harmony in the bag of clothing holding that we can probably fluff around her if we need to. Okay. Yeah, when uh, Willie's all for leaving. So like I mean again, I don't think we can really confer about this. Well, I mean, who's I don't I, my initiative tracker got fucked up. I don't know whose turn it's supposed to be. It's uh, just open right yeah, now. Yeah, Dan said we could discuss out of initiative. So, I think we're at the point where we just need to walk out the door and see if he's going to try and stop us when he sees El Esmeralda and stuff. And if it's a fight at that point, it's a fight at that point. Or if we can try and well, do almost check. Try to put him in the bag of holding right. until we're clear. That's what I said. You guys can get in the bag of holding. We can get outside. I we can get you out in five minutes. The bag, the bag of holding. What? The person, I think I Dan said we could do it. Yeah, well, Dan said are, we could. There's rules in the description for people being. Yeah, it was it was up to ten minutes of oxygen if the bag is closed, so we can assume five minutes per person. If we can get them, if they both fit, five minutes is plenty of time to walk out the doors. All right. Well, then, like if they're amicable to climbing into the bag of holding, Winley is actually offering that as a solution to get them out without being seen. Esmeralda will, will like nod at that uh, if if Winley's kind of like being like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and like she'll explain she'll be like there's only so much air in here but it's enough to get you out of the castle without being seen maybe it's our best bet she nods but you don't kill us <laughs> I'll open the bag before opinion you of the bag. Doesn't uh, Esmeralda don't and stuff her in there in. All right, Esmeralda and Gertruda are in the bag of holding. All right, holding. let's get out of here. Winley <laughs> will immediately walk out and be like alright we're going and head out yeah, the doors thank you we're leaving thank you Okay. He makes no move to, to stop you or block you or anything like that. Uh, Harmony will spend however... Does she still feel that if people cross the threshold mm -hmm. to start, since she's less than 30 feet from the doors, does Harmony still feel the pull? 
Yes, uh, and and notably, I, I assume Harmony follows to not. She yep. would if the alternative was the void. Yeah, yep. uh, she's able to follow them to the last set of doors and sort of feels an invisible force between her and the outside. Uh, Harmony will kind of, as the rest of the party passes through, it will say, "I think this is as far as I go." See you soon. Oh. Uh, Rahaden kind of step, steps up by and Tarmy and says, mm, yes, of course. But I do look forward to having you all back. Uh, and then get, gives a bit of a smile. And Harmony, you feel a sudden pain as a uh, blade is shoved through your back and you oh, dissolve into nothingness. 